Why, hello. I hate daylight savings time. All my homies hate daylight savings time. God damn it. Oh, it's the worst, dude. I am almost awake. I'm gonna go get some water and we'll get started. One sec.
Alrighty then. You guys ready? You guys ready? Hmm? Yeah, I sleep five hours a day. The issue today is that it's daylight savings time. And daylight savings is shit. We hate daylight savings time. Man, I gotta start uploading all of my, uh... I gotta start uploading all of my, uh... Shorts to Instagram as well. Somebody's stealing all the shorts and putting them on Instagram. And their Instagram has twice as many followers as mine now. Because <laughs> I didn't notice that they were doing this. Oh, god damn it. Why is it gotta be this way, chat? Why is it why is it gotta be like that? Yeah, they pirated pirate software, dude. Which clever, to be honest with you. How the mushrooms? Dude, I actually had to close down the mushroom farm for now because I just don't have enough time. Got too much shit going on. I think when we move, that'll probably turn back on again because then I can actually handle it, you know? But for now, no, it's not enough time in the day. What time is it for me? 12.21 a.m. So it is currently due to DST. It is currently the right time. Let's start the stream. I hate DST. All my homies hate DST. But we've started up, which is good. All right, I think we're good. I had to fix some stuff on the block game server. Look, it's me. I exist. Yeah. Oh, man. We did it. We did it. It's funny. He's ignoring the hype train. I'm not ignoring the hype train. Chat blows one up at the beginning of every stream, and I can't keep up with it. Here. Have your hype train music. You goblin. I built an entire plugin so that it would show the hype train on stream. Look at it. Up there. See that? I built that for you. How dare you. Literal goblins. Every one of you.
You panicked while building it for us? Because it broke constantly. It was great. Plugin is too big? You're too big. Now what? How's, how are you going to handle this? Someone took you and they scaled you up in Blender. It's true. Can't even fit in your own house now. Unfortunate. Yeah, it's working. The Hype Train plugin is working. It's good. Am I T-posing? Yes. You are. You're too scaled and you're T-posing. Yeah. 37 months, my god. I can hear the grogginess in your voice. Yeah, because I just woke up. It would have been fine. It would have been fine. But, unfortunately, DST is a thing, and I hate DST. I hate it. Daylight savings time is stupid. So I found a bug. It's a bug with Townie. I need to find a way to fix this. Which sucks. It is ungood. Do I know how to use an abacus? Yes. Do I need to use an abacus? No. We have computers for that. Yeah. The hype train is not over yet. As you can see. The tool is perfect, because it taps right into the API. Also, thank you. Thank you for getting it to level 7. Actually, level 7 achieved, which means it's actually level 8. Fantastic. Thank you for that. Yeah, the hype train. It's going right now. You can see it. You can see it at the top of the stream. That's what that is. As of Sunday, good. Waiting for the Monday. The Monday is terrifying. Monday is where everything has to get done. Mm, let's see here. There has to be a thing in here for special characters. There has to be. I just don't know where. Goddamn townie. It's not in here. I don't know where it is. I'm going to have to search their entire code base. Great. <laughs> Great! Yeah, for some reason... For some reason... Their special characters are a huge problem. And I don't know why... But basically, they can't handle special characters injected into the database for some insane reason. It's really odd. It says SQL, ORN SQL, data can truncation incorrect string value for column name at row one. Wrapping column, prepared statement, replacing the towny towns. Yeah, they literally cannot handle... Oh, dear God. <laughs> so, Jake recently implemented all of the emotes off of stream into block game. So if you type in, like, Yar Rabid in-game, it actually puts Yar Rabid in-game, in chat, which is hilarious. It's actually great. It's, it's from a data pack. It's fantastic. Actually, I think it's a server-side resource pack. It's good. It's really good. However, people started naming their towns these symbols, and in reality, it's actually a Chinese character that's been changed into an emote. That's how he managed to do it. And because of that, every time somebody does one of these, it blows up the server... Because for some reason, Townie doesn't handle special characters injected into the database. I don't know why, but it doesn't. And then it starts shitting itself. Which, even if they change the town name back, which is the worst. 
So I gotta fix this somehow, which is great. How do you get Notepad++ customizations? Go into settings, go into style configurator, and change it yourself. Also, Percy Gabriel, thank you for the $50 to the moderators. That's incredibly nice of you. That's super, super nice of you, dude. Goddamn. Can you just sanitize name inputs? I don't develop Townie. I'm not the one developing Townie. I need to make a pull request from their code base and be like, stop it. Ugh. Let me see all the different updates they have. So this is actually Townie, and I need to see what updates they actually have in place, because we've got... What version do we have? We're on some version. Let me look. Excuse me? There we are. So the version that we're on, if we go look at this, should be under plugins. Should be Townie 1010. Oh dear god. They've made so many subversions since then. See, they've got all these pre-release versions. Pre-release versions are generally unstable as shit. So I haven't installed those. Here we go. So since then... They've done a ton of refactoring. Like a massive amount of refactor. Okay. Let's go all the way to the latest, and we're going to see what's up here. Okay. Sanction Towns Hover Component to Nation Status Screen. I forgot we can sanction towns. Nations can actually sanction towns, which is kind of neat. Got to dig that. First time on stream, what is happening here? You making your own game or something? Yeah, I make video games. I make video games and I teach other people how to do the same. So if you want to know anything, let me know. Risk with Tiny Minecraft? Yeah, that's exactly what it is. In this case, it's a Minecraft server that we work on on the weekends. So Saturday and Sunday, I do Minecraft. Where do you normally post your games? Steam. Heartbound is usually where, like, what I work on. There. Is C++ good for making video games? Any languages. Any language is good for making video games. Yeah. You're the dude from the Reels? God damn it. Okay, so, the dude who's posting my stuff on Reels is not me. I need to fix that. That's the other thing I'm doing today. I need to figure out how to post the Reel, dude. Here's the problem. I hate... I hate Reels. Here's, here's the problem I have with Reels. Look at this. Why does it make you do this? Why is it cropped like this? What kind of boomer shit is this? What is this? Why? When I upload this, is it square? Like, what the hell is this? But on the left? Oh, thanks, shit. God, what an awful experience. Why would it ever default to that shit? Nobody wants to upload a square video. What is this? YouTube 2007? Like, are you kidding me? Nobody wants to upload a square video. No no human being ever in the history of time wants a square video, dude. Four by three, get out. No. No. Insane shit. Alright. You know what's even better? I can't change the cover photo. Oh, you have to drag it? You can't just click? Who designed this UI? I hate you. You see this? Why can't I just... You have to drag this. What? Who wants that? No human being wants that. 
What's the matter with you? I can't just click this. You have to drag this? You're a lizard person. Whoever designed this, you're a lizard person. You know that, right? Go use the internet. What is the matter with you? What the hell? It's so weird. It's so weird, chat. Oh god, I have to add accessibility and captions for this? Blah. Okay. Let's fix it. I gotta go to my Yubituba. I'm gonna pull them all up. What is that? Evil notion with a rating party of 66. How's it going? I woke up and I'm mad. Not mad. <laughs> I'm putting things on Instagram because someone keeps saying that they're me on Instagram, which is great. It's it's the best. It's my favorite part of the day. All right, we're, let me see if my shorts are set up. They are. All right, shorts are good. Shorts are good. Now I gotta go back to Instagram. Dude, I gotta automate this shit. This shit sucks. What was this one called? Bad manager. Uh, I need like a copy pasta to put in here. There we go, found it. Hey, do hashtags actually work on Instagram? They do, don't they? Nice. I hate Instagram. I never use Instagram because I hate it. Like, legit. Hashtag buy the demo is not real. No, the demo is free. It's free. You can just click it. It's free. I hate social media in general. Dude, the problem that I have with social media is that everybody's doing the same shit, but they all have slightly different UI. You're all doing the same shit. Every platform is doing the exact same shit, but their UI is just like, yeah, a little bit different. And it's all bad. Like, 90% of it's bad. YouTube's is the only one that's like, oh, that's good. That makes sense. TikTok, awful. Instagram, awful. YouTube, good. Twitch, good. Everything else, trash. Use X? You mean Twitter? Yeah, it's Twitter. Twitter's the one that's... That's what that is. Purple UI, best UI? Agree. Yeah, super agree. <clears throat> yeah, I hate this shit, though. Why would I want to turn off commenting? No. I'm not adding a location to Instagram. Share. Oh my god, why does it take so long? I clicked share on one of these. Can I only do them one at a time? I don't want to turn on notifications, man. Oh god, I have to turn them on one at a- Oh no, dude. Oh god, no. What kind of cursed villain made this website? You can only upload one video at a time? Ugh. Hey, corners of fruit, by the way. Yeah, I thought you should know corners of fruit. Do you want to know another curse thing? Here, let me give you this. Watch this. I'm going to discard this real fast. When you go and select a new video to play off your computer, I'm going to I'm going to show you this. When you go and select a new video to play off your computer, the moment you select that video, like I'm going to put this one on there, it instantly starts playing with audio and you can't stop it. I can hear it. Why? Why would you do that? You have to hit next. Why, why would anyone want that who's editing and putting a video up on the internet? Why would we want to hear our own video? instantly with no ability to shut it up instagram figure it out that's that is insane to me that is that is it is it's 100 percent audio too it's it's cranked to maximum why 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 would anyone want this no human being wants this Whiskey is ketchup, by the way. Thought you should know. Of 
Corn is a fruit. Corn is a fruit. Next. Yeah, I'm just going to do this. I'm just going to do that on every one of them. I'm just going to share it. Done. Corn is a fruit. Corn is a fruit. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. It actually is. Unironically. Corn is a fruit, and a corn tortilla is a fruit roll-up as a result. And there's nothing you can do about that. You can't stop that. Yeah, you can't stop it. Yeah. It's upsetting, I know. I know. Make all your hotel your video locations Hotel California? Not a bad idea. So every time you do this, you have to click the button, and then it waits a long time, then it says your reel has been shared. And then there's like... The only way to get out of this menu is by clicking on the X. Whoever designed this, I hate you, actually. Unironically. The design of this website is awful. It is it is horrific. And I have to go through and I have to update every one of these. Bezos on leave today? Oh, god damn it. One second, I'll fix it. Okay, it's fixed. I forgot to turn it back in on after Helldivers. That's my bad. Here, have a Bezos. There you go. How do you deal with stagnation in your work? I don't... I don't stop. Stagnation doesn't happen if you just keep running. I know that's weird, right? I just... I just don't stop running. <laughs> <clears throat> what are you drinking? A liquid death. It's an armless palmer. It's iced tea and lemonade. And it has no added sugar. Or sugar substitutes. It's using they use a gov nectar to uh, to sugar it, so it's got six grams of total sugar. Yeah, liquid death, dude. I actually really like it. It's nice. Arnold Palmer's are really good. The dead billionaire flavor, yeah, dead billionaire flavor. Yes, Armless Palmer is good. It's good. A gov? No, a gave. Agave. <laughs> yeah, Armless Palmer is what it's called. Yeah. Dead billionaire flavor. No, it's Agiv. Ads are over, but it didn't end. All right. <clears throat> there we go. Now, is he a Palmer if he has no arms? Maybe he does have palms. Just no arms. Just coming right out of his shoulder like this. You don't know. You don't know what he's like, dude. Wait, wait, what? Its new name is Dead Billionaire because the people who own the Palmer name hated it and sent a cease and desist letter? It's actually called Armless Palmer, though. Is this like a... Is this like a legacy can? Is that what you're telling me? Legacy can. I have one left upstairs that still has stuff in it. I got it at 7-Eleven. Legacy can. How long ago did they change the name? Am I drinking ancient, ancient stuff? Oh, this goes bad in 2025. We're good. My TTS two days ago. What about it? What about Troy? Oh, by the way, I got the copy of Spy Kids for the Game Boy Advance. It's upstairs in the kitchen. Why? Why? Is this actually real? Did they really do this?
Liquid Death renames Arnold Palmer inspired drink to Dead Billionaire after legal threat. Threat of a legal battle between the two hottest brands and beverages has led Liquid Death to rename a drink that bore Arnold Palmer's name to Dead Billionaire. A move that drew backlash from fans of the late golfer, whose name inspired a popular lemonade iced tea blend. Damn right, dude. That's freaking hilarious. Yeah, you know what? Eat shit. Good. Good. Name it Dead Billionaire. That's hilarious. That's the funniest thing on the planet. Arnold Palmer was a great golfer, sure. But the corporation acting like that? Name it Dead Billionaire. That's funny as hell. That's the funniest out- that's the funniest outcome they could possibly have. Out of anything. Or is a dead billionaire? No. Neither dead, nor a billionaire. So this is good. I cannot be this drink, unfortunately. Right, I'm gonna fix these up. Pinning all these comments. I think that's very funny. I really do. AI can't die? Not true. Not true. AI can die. You just turn the servers off, chat. Let's see what we got today. I have a bunch of stuff to work on. I have so many things to work on, Chet. Oh, God. Oh, God. Also, my Instagram now has to upload a billion videos. Which is the worst. I love that the first comment on it is first, and then the third comment on it is, I'm just trying to figure out how many hours are in 24 hours. Y'all are goblins. It's fantastic. Wonderful, even. Good goblin. Good goblin. I love Liquid Death, dude. Liquid Death is the best. Because it's hilarious to me. It's so, it's so ridiculous what they've done. Do you want to know one of the reasons that they made Liquid Death look like this, by the way? Do you want to know one of the reasons? They actually made it so that if you're a designated driver, you can drink one of these and not look, like, boring, right? That was sort of one of the ideas for it, is that you can drink this as a designated driver because it's non-alcoholic. It's just, like, water, right? And it's actually cool. It's actually a nice thing to do. So everybody's got their 40, and you've got a Liquid Death, and it still looks awesome. It's good. I think it's actually a really cool thing. I don't think it's bad at all. Why is the music so intense? Because I left it on hype train music. There. We'll set it to that. Now it's fine. It's good. Look what death helped me stop drinking soda. Nice. It's just water. They get a really funny website. They get funny everything, dude. Why does game distribution suck so much for indie devs? It doesn't. It doesn't at all. It's the easiest time in history to distribute your game as an indie dev. Put your game on Steam. What? They, they handle all of the distribution for you. They handle all of the updating for you. They don't charge you for the bandwidth, and they pay you for every single aspect of it. Why would it be hard? No. 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 Yeah. Publishing and distributing your game is easier now than ever before. 
they charge you to upload a hundred dollars one time and they give it back to you after you make enough sales to get that money you know that right that's not a fee it's a bet it's a bet with lord gaben and if you sell enough copies he gives it back You telling me that a hundred dollars is is somehow worse than the old days where you had to literally go to a company and give them everything you possibly could so they could create physical cartridges of your game and then put it on store shelves and then hope that you might get those sales and hope that the amount of theft that was happening inside of those stores was not higher than the cost of your game. Sorry, but digital distribution is king, dude, and we live in a better time for indie devs and developers overall than any other time in history. And if you can't see that, you don't know the history there. No, no. It's really easy now. It is insanely easy now. Yes. What's the fee for certification on consoles? Depends on the company. Console certification generally relies on getting approved first and then going through what are called TRCs and TCRs. They take a long time, they're very specific, and if you screw it up, it's super annoying. Do they still charge if it's a free game? Yes, it's $100. It is just, you have to understand, Steam is absorbing all of the cost of bandwidth of distributing your game. You don't pay for that. You paid $100 one time. That's that. You need a dev kit for consoles too? Yeah, but it's super easy to get those now. Do you know why? Here, who doesn't know the history for, for getting dev consoles? So dev kits for indie devs used to be a really, really difficult thing. It was something that just never happened, right? And the reason why is because it was 10 to 15 thousand dollars a year to rent them you didn't even get to own it you had to rent it ridiculous right this was every year it was horrible so nintendo started falling behind because nobody wanted to get on nintendo because it was too expensive to get onto it and it was too annoying to get past all of the filtering that nintendo had so it started to get to know be known as the mario console which is not a good thing you want your console to be you know a lot of different games on it so nintendo went how do we fix this and they were like what if instead we made it so that the Nintendo Switch was $400 as a one-time fee for the dev kit? You know how many indie games are on Nintendo Switch now? Like all of them. And immediately the market shifted. This went away. This doesn't happen anymore. It is so much easier to get on console now than it was in the past. Financially. It is still difficult you know, because of technical things where you have to do all your checks and get approved and everything like that. But the, co the cost is so much lower. It is so much lower than it was, which is why you have so many indie, indie games on consoles now. It's insane. And the rest of the market shifted instantly because of Nintendo. So like, yeah, dude, it, there's... Anybody who thinks that it's hard to distribute games or hard to get your game out there as an indie dev now doesn't understand how hard it was before. It is incredibly easy. It is the easiest time in history to sell your game right now. And that is... It's bonkers, dude. It's so much easier than it ever has been, which is largely why we get so much shov shovelware, frankly. There's a ton of games out there that people just make and they just throw it into the internet and it's it's easy for them to do it. Self-publishing is easier now than any other time as well. Like, it, it's crazy. How can it get easier? It really can't. Like, it really can't. Digital distribution made this so simple. Steam made this so simple. The Steam key made this so simple. It's crazy how easy this is, man. It's crazy how easy it is. Are you putting a focus on Proton compatibility for devices like Steam Deck? Yes, I am. So Heartbound is actually already on, on Linux, and it already works on that, and it, it is already approved for Steam Deck, fully approved for Steam Deck. Yeah, the Steam key is amazing. How's Itch.io? Same shit. Itch.io is awesome. The problem with Itch.io is that it's really hard to get people to go to that page, right? It's hard to, to send people there, and a lot of people don't believe stuff on Itch.io is a problem. Why is EGS falling behind Steam? I'll tell you one in one go. You ready for this? It's the Steam key. We've got a ton of other reasons, but the big one is the Steam key. It's not even it's not even about anything else. This is the largest salvo that Steam has. Why does the Steam key rock? If I want 5,000 keys for my game, and my game is $10, how much money does Steam charge me for my keys? How much do they charge me for that? They charge me zero dollars. If I want to sell those ten thousand or those five thousand keys on Humble Bundle for ten dollars each, what percentage does Steam charge me? 
They charge me 0%. Steam only charges 30% when you sell on their platform. If it's sold off-platform as a Steam key, they charge you 0%. They take nothing. And the reason they do this is because if someone buys a Steam key that didn't have a Steam account, they create a Steam account as a result. This is called a loss leader. Steam loses money on this interaction, but they gain a new customer. It's a brilliant move. And this is why Steam has stayed on top forever. It's why they'll always stay on top. And on top of this, outside of that, they also have everything else that goes along with this. All of the social systems, all of the things like putting up events, all of the things like having reviews, all of the things like having the forums or the workshop or doing remote play together or the Steam trading card. Hell, another one is the Steam trading card. When Steam has a trading card and you guys buy it from another person on the platform, if that trading card is for my game, I get the community market fee. That money goes to the dev. They didn't even need to do that, but they do. Steam is brilliant, dude. So Steam's not using any competitive practices like people keep trying to claim. They're just better. And as a developer, I 100% put my game on Steam because it's the place I'm going to make the most money. Why would I not? It's the best platform. It's the easiest to use. They have the most features. And they're the most customer-facing that exists. It's just better. If you want to beat Steam, you have to make a better platform. And nobody has yet. Yeah. Yeah. It's true. You know what Steam's strategy is? Let the other guys shoot themselves in the foot. That's their strategy. Every time someone does some bullshit, they don't give a shit. They don't get engaged in public, like, pub, like social media bullshit for that. They're just like, okay, you, you want to fight? All right, keep fighting. I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing. And when you shoot yourself in the foot, I'll still be here. And that's all they do. That's all that Steam has ever done. And they always, like, it works. It works every time. It's ridic ridiculous. Who would you say is Steam's closest competitor? I would say Epic Game Store wants to be, but I don't think they are. And I think that's a really important distinction there. I would say that they, they desperately want to be a competitor to Steam, but they aren't. And they kind of never have been. What about GOG? The problem with GOG, no DRM. And I know that that's, that's like a contentious thing. But as a developer, no DRM is a rough-ass thing for us, dude. It's a rough-ass thing for us. Like, DRM is important when you're trying to be able to make money off of your game. As a good example of this, let me explain this, right? Yeah, no DRM. Steam DRM is built right in, right? GOG does not. What's DRM? It stops you from just taking the game and handing it to somebody else. So you, you, can't, you can't just hand the game to somebody else, right? So let's, let's deal with this. If you take the game and you make a copy and you give it to someone else, on Steam it won't work. For GOG stuff, it will. So that's important to understand. Now, why is this a good thing for, for devs? And it's not just from theft. It's a secondary thing. Because it's not normal theft that happens. It's not you copying it and giving it to your friend. You know what happened when we released a DRM-free version of our demo? Every third party under the sun, from like Softonix to everybody, everybody, everybody on the internet, there are hundreds and hundreds of websites, repackaged it with malware, and then re-released it on the internet. You can still find copies of it today. It's not even piracy sites. It's malware distribution or bloatware distribution using your your game it sucks dude like i can't release stuff that's drm free because of this it's a mess dude and it has nothing to do with people just stealing the game it has to do with these third parties shitting it up and making your your game your brand everything look bad yeah it's really bad i thought the softonic downloads weren't malware yeah i did too until i tried to file like a whole bunch of dmcas against them and they refused to take my stuff down it was great it's fantastic. Eventually, I will go after them legally until they stop because my hate grows by the day. By the day, Chet. Yeah. So to be real with you, it's, it's crazy important to understand. Like, this kind of stuff really helps an indie dev to understand this. And it's also really important to understand that Steam is, is the king of this. Maybe they won't be in the future, but they are right now. And they have been. And it's through good business practice and treating customers correctly, too. Lawyer up? Yeah, exactly. 
<sighs> Isn't it like 4 a.m. where you are? I wake up, so the stream is from midnight to noon every day except for Thursday. What will happen when Gaben dies? I don't know. Gaben will die. Steam will exist. What's that? Was that a beer? No, it's a liquid death. It's... It's lemonade. It's lemonade and tea. And it has no added sugar. It has six grams of sugar for this entire giant can. But bad people might... That's... that's no. And anytime you're like, but bad people might ruin the platform later... Who gives a shit? Is it later yet? No. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Hasn't happened. Doesn't matter. Yeah, he's not dead yet. Yeah, it's a it's an Arnold Palmer. It's actually called an armless Palmer, but now it's called a dead billionaire because the Arnold Palmer estate got mad. Which is funny. Do you like steamed dumplings? Yes. Yes, I do. I also love gyoza. Gyoza. I swear to God, years ago, people in my classes got their school-sanctioned laptops nearly infected by malware by downloading an open-source piece of software off Softonic. I know, it's awful, dude. It's a mess. It is absolutely a mess. Is Thor vegan or does he abuse animals for food? You're banned. How does that feel? What's that like being banned for that? What's the matter with you? I eat meat every day. Yeah, what a dumb thing to say, dude. I run a ferret rescue. <laughs> Amazingly, I run a ferret rescue, and you know what they eat? Meat every day. Do you know why? Because they're obligate carnivores. You know what I do? I eat meat every day. I also eat vegetables every day. Omnivore, my dude. The narrative that eating meat is abuse of animals is absurd. I hate that shit. High and mighty bullshit. Like, I'm going to be real with you. You can have any belief that you want to. You can decide to be vegan or not be vegan. Totally fine. But the moment you try to push on somebody else and try to diminish their lifestyle because of you, because of your personal beliefs, I don't want you here. Because it's just a shit way to be. Be yourself. Don't force others to be you. Let's see. I need to build all the new items. It's items building time. Items building time. All right. Are the alerts running? Let me look. What's your favorite flavor? Savory. I like salty stuff. It's a lot, lot nicer. Yeah, you cut out meat. It's a personal preference. Totally fine. Yeah. Nothing wrong with it at all. Wait, was there another one? <laughs> you know that goes both ways, right? If you start bashing people who are vegan in chat, you're going to get banned too. I don't think people understand. When I take a stance against someone being a piece of shit, and then you're a piece of shit in the exact same way, but in the opposite direction, I'm going to ban you too. You know that, right? You know that's how that works. Yes, yeah, it's, it's not that I'm taking your shitty side. It's that I'm telling both of you to stop having shitty sides. Like, what's wrong with you? Holy shit, man. <laughs> Blows me away, dude. I'll ban every one of them. What's your favorite part of making games? You. And that's not even a joke. Like, it's... Someone playing your game... 
and enjoying it or not enjoying it, that experience is fantastic. I love that. I think it's amazing. Even when they hate it, it's kind of fun. Because <laughs> you're like, ooh, why is he hating? You know? How do you have such glorious hair? I wash it every three days. I drink a lot of Ovaltine. I love Ovaltine. Yeah, no, to be real with you, my stance is always going to be the same thing. Don't don't bash people for their beliefs. Doesn't matter what that belief is. Could be religious, could be personal, could be anything like that. Don't bash people based on the place that they were born. No one chose their spawn point. And don't bash people for the way that they look. None of that shit matters. Things that people cannot control and things that people have as a personal belief are not relevant. It doesn't matter. None of that shit matters. And if you start attacking people based on those things, I don't even care what it is. It could be anything. I don't give a shit. Like, I'm out, dude. That, that's that's when I ban you. Yeah, it's spawn point. It is. It's the spawn point, dude. I didn't choose my spawn point. You didn't choose your spawn point. We didn't choose our attributes. We hit random on that bitch and we walked away. And it's true. You know it's true. We didn't even know if we hit random. Maybe our parents hit random. No idea. No idea. Could be anything. I chose Sweden. I don't think you did. I don't think you did. I don't think you have to choose. We are. We're all Skyrim characters, dude. But it's something I think a lot of people forget, man. They're like, oh, that person's from that country, so I have these beliefs. No, dude. No. Don't have don't have preconceived notions of an individual before you meet them. I think that's the most important thing. We're all human beings in the end? Yeah. Yep. Bunch of weird dudes. Yeah, it's just prejudice. For no reason. Bunch of guys being dudes, yeah. Human plus goblin is a hoblin? We can't make you hoblins. That's a bad idea. That's not good. It's too powerful. You know, if you're coming to TwitchCon EU, I'm planning on it. I need to get my flight sorted. That's the last piece for me. I gotta get my flight sorted and my hotel sorted for TwitchCon EU. I was waiting for the house to resolve, which tomorrow it resolves. And then I can figure out all my, my travel plans. So yeah. Yeah. As a 40-year-old bald man, I hate your beautiful hair. Having jeans? Let me explain something to you. Own that shit. Be bald. Card is bald. And... Picard was one of the, like, is one of the sexiest men alive. And if you think I'm wrong, go ask anyone. Go ask anyone. It's true. It's true. Be bald. Who gives a shit? Who gives a shit? Yeah, see? Picard is sex. See that? See that right there? Bald is cool. You just have to own it. One of the things that I realized a long time ago, there's, there's kind of three things. You can have hair. Hair is fine. Hair is good. People like hair. You can be balding. Right? Balding. Nobody likes balding. Nobody likes that. And then you could be bald. Everybody likes bald. Do you know why? Because balding is desperate. It's, oh God, I wish I had more hair. And it looks bad. Every time. Balding is bad. If you start balding, just shave that shit off. Shave that shit off. Own it. Wax that thing. Blind children with the sun. Like, who gives a shit? It's fine. It's totally fine. Don't be balding. Be bald. Either have hair or be bald. Don't be in the middle. If I start balding, I'm shaving it off. I'm going full bald. It's true. Democracy time? Later. Later democracy. I want to do half game dev, half democracy. Yeah. It's cursed to think about. My head is lumpy, too. Yeah. Like, there's, there's like a flat side over here. There's a rounded side there. It's got, it's got problems, right? So if I shave my head, it'd be real weird looking. I can't wait. Can we have democracy before game dev? No, we have democracy at the end of the day. We end the day with democracy, is what we do. Yeah. How much inspiration can you take from other games? I take inspiration from other games all the time. Heartbound is a combination of Secret of Mana, Secret of Evermore, and WarioWare. 
That's where I got all that. You just call yourself a potato head? Maybe I did. What are you gonna do about it? Would your head shape make a good D&D dice? I think it would land on one side every time, wouldn't it? It's funny as hell. Did you finish Pacific Rim? No! I do a daily run of Pacific Rim, though. I actually really like Pacific Rim. It's very fun. I wasn't able to do my run the last couple of days, but I love the shit out of the game. I really, really enjoy it. That game is rad, dude. Or not Pacific Rim, sorry. Pacific Drive. Why am I saying Pacific? You said Pacific Rim, and now I'm saying Pacific Rim. But my brain is saying Pacific Drive, and it's desperately screaming from the back of my head, going, Why are you calling it Pacific Rim? You've done it like four times. Stop it. Thanks, Brent. This, it was like a little man going, No! No! And I just kept saying it. Yeah, it's Pacific Drive. Pacific Drive. I like Pacific Drive a lot. You enjoy romping around the mechs? Not really. The mechs are really paper. They died if you sneeze on one of the mechs in uh, Helldivers, it just dies. It's... <laughs> it's you sneeze on it, it's like... Poof, you're like, Jesus, dude. If you hit it with acid ever, if the acid bugs even touch you, you're dead instantly. Uh, if you shoot a monster in melee with a missile, it explodes instantly, which is very funny. It's good against the bugs, it is, but you gotta be far away from them. Yeah, hunters suck too. Yeah. Yeah, slaps him back in Helldivers 2. This bad boy can't explode. Exactly. That's exactly what it is. Do you think we could get a stim for our, our mechs? That seems fine, right? Just... Aren't you worried about uh, anti-cheat kernel level access? I am. Do you want to know what I did? I got a second computer. And then I put the video game on that computer. And then I play it over Steam Link. And I don't have to give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, God, it's great. And it's in the same house, so it's fast as shit. Hey. Yeah. People were like, put it in a virtual machine. I was like, no, I'm going to put it in a real machine. Yes. What other uh, Zed food do you like? I like Tim Tams. I like Vegemite. I like Milo. That's really all I've been exposed to, Australian-wise, for food. I love doing a Tim Tam slam, yeah? Yeah. Here's the real question. Australians, I have a question for you. Do you want hot Milo? Or do you want cold Milo? Hot Milo? Cold Milo. Because to be real with you, I find that I like the hot Milo more. And I know a lot of you guys are saying cold. I've seen a lot more colds. I actually like the hot Milo more. The problem I have with it is that it melts the Tim Tam when I'm doing a Tim Tam Slam. So sometimes I'll do the cold Milo when I'm doing that. Also, I've done a Tim Tam Slam with Ovaltine, which also works. Which is delicious. That's fine. Milo creates a brownie on top, which is nice. Oh, by the way, also, just to let you know, um, I also know about Goon of Fortune, and I know about Wheel of Goon. I've never done that, but I know what it is, Australians. I know. As an American, I am aware of your practices. I'm aware of your space-age bag technology. I'm aware. Yeah. Yeah. I know. I do know. And it's very funny. <laughs> <laughs> it's very funny. <laughs> it's funny as shit. How did you grow your hair? Well, I decided not to cut it. And then it did that. It just grew. Who told him? The internet. Some people call it Wheel of Goon. Some people call it Goon of Fortune. Which is really funny to me. Because the internet do a shoey. I'm not gonna do a shoey. It's the grossest thing on the planet. So it's, it's really funny to me because Australians have this practice called Wheel of Goon or Goon of Fortune, which is really funny. Both of these are really funny to me. I've seen it, I've seen it said both ways on the internet, although Goon of Fortune seems to be more common, right? That being said, people in the United States use the word goon for something very different. So when you say Goon of Fortune, they go, what did you just say to me? There's a different slang that is, that is not working the same here in the United States. 
versus Australia. They're two different things now, which is fun. Because in Australia, you have the, a thing called a goon bag, which is actually a bag of wine. If you say that in the United States, it's it's very different. It's very... <laughs> it's, a, it's a little bit different, which makes it very funny because we have an international community. Don't say anything, Felix. Don't worry about it. The moderator can't ban the streamer. It's fine. Yeah, don't make the, don't mix that up. <laughs> I think it's very funny. I think it's very funny, dude. Yeah, if you don't know what this is, uh, they basically take like what looks like a large umbrella, and they have like all these metal spikes across it, and they take a boxed wine. And they take a, the bag out of the box wine. It looks space age because it's just shiny. And they hang it on one of these. And then they stand in a circle around it and they spin it. And then when they spin this thing, whoever it lands in front of, that dude has to drink bag one. It's a hills hoist? I don't even know what that is. What the hell is a hills hoist? Hills hoist. What is that? Oh, a height adjustable rotary clothesline. Okay. So it's a clothesline that spins, and it looks like this, and they put a bag of wine on it. If I go look up Goon of Fortune right now, let me see if I can find one that isn't... Yeah, here we go. Australians, dude. Australians. Goon of Fortune. Australia. You know what's even funnier? This image that I just pulled off the internet for Hills Hoist. You ready for this? First thing I find with looking at Goon of Fortune, there it is. Somebody just put fancy text over the top of it. <laughs> Instantly fancy, dude. Oh, Australia, you're the best. It's so funny, dude. It's just spin the bottle, basically. But with a whole bagged wine and everyone gets really drunk. Really, really drunk. It's very funny. Oh, I have to hide something real fast. One moment. Is that good? Okay, that's good. Is this good? This is good. Is that good? That's good, probably. This is good. I think... I think we're good. I think everything is good. Put these over here. Put that over here. Alright. We're good now. It's fine. Downloading a leg patch? No, I was IP banning people from the block game server and I didn't want you guys to see it. Hmm. What does it truly mean to be good? There's a lot of choice there. Being good doesn't always mean an objective thing. It's always subjective. Good for you may be bad for somebody else. Good for somebody else may be bad for you. The idea is to thread the needle and find the, the way to do the least amount of harm to all parties involved. That's how I feel about it, anyway. It's about threading that needle, man. Always different. So, what you're saying is in the UK, goon means a thug. Which a thug is like a brute. Which is like a like a dude who wanna beat, wants to beat you up. In uh, Australia, goon means a bag bag of wine. And here in the United States, it means, don't worry about it. <laughs> don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It's fine. We just won't talk about it. All right, we've got all these different categories for armor mining, all this kind of stuff. We need to set these up now. These are... Mage armor, thaumaturge armor, food. Okay, so we're going to grab all of this. All of this. I'm going to take that. I think we changed this to arms? We did. I'm going to change that over here from weapon to arms. Replace all. We did it. And we're going to change this one over here 
That's good. Save that up. And now we can take the exact same thing. And I think we'll have to do this kind of piecemeal. Yeah. Because we'll have to do this like as for each one of these. We'll do arms mining. There we go. And we'll have to do like minor arms, I think. Makes the most sense there. We'll do this for each one of these. It's going to be a mess. This whole thing's going to be a freaking mess, isn't it? Yeah. Now! Arms. Mining. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do this. View. Word rapid. Alerts! It's time. Neo underscore Genesis 13 has obtained the cursed quest. Neo Genesis 13, are you ready? Are you ready, Neo Genesis 13? Do you want art? Do you want cooking? Or do you want... Interpretive dance? You have to choose. You have to choose... Which... Among these... Neo Genesis. I have to wait for Neo Genesis, guys. Gotta wait for them, they get to choose. Those are interesting choices, they are. Gotta choose one, though. Gotta go with cooking. No shit. No shit. Australians, what is your favorite food? Favorite Australian food? Favorite Australian food. Goon is not a food. Not a food. Fairy bread? You know? That's not bad. I don't like it very much because I don't like sweet. Which is fine. I like savory. I like more Vegemite kind of stuff. As a treat, totally cool. Kangaroo steaks? I don't know if that's a thing. Drop bear meat? You shouldn't eat your children. You think I don't know that your children are drop bears? It's true. They're just Australians without filters. That's what they are. I'm not wrong about that, and you know I'm not wrong about it. Avlova. What is Pavlova? Pavlova. What? What is that? Is a meringue-based dessert originating in either Australia or New Zealand in the early 20th century. What the hell is that? It looks ridiculous. This looks like I'm eating a Final Fantasy monster. Look at that thing. What is the slime? What is the ooze? I'd fight that in Final Fantasy. That looks ridiculous. I'd eat the shit out of that. Passion fruit? So it's passion fruit ooze. And then you got kiwis, you got strawberries, you got blueberries, raspberries, and then a blackberry. That's insane. I'd eat that. I'd eat a Venusaur. Yeah. I'd eat a Bulbasaur, even. Don't even let it evolve. Done. I bet it was... I bet it'd be delicious. It'd be tasty, dude. Yeah. You think the pot is the best part? It's not my fault it's a walking salad. Delicious. So sugary? Yeah, that's way too sh that, This is just solid. It looks like it's cracking, too. Is that cracking? So is this like a hard shell kind of a thing on this? That's wild, dude. Yeah, there's a couple more of these. And it basically looks like a fruit salad with a hard exterior. How hard is it? Is, is it soft? And it just cracks? It's meringue, but it looks like it's cracking meringue. It's a soft one. It's fairly soft. Interesting. Like a crumbly crack. Okay. It looks like there's a lot of different ways to make these. Like you basically just put it on top, put fruit on top of it and call it a day, right? Kind of looks like an edible cow pie. Just going to be honest with you. And now you can't unsee that. Yeah. Just a little bit. It looks really sweet, but it does have the shape, like the, the shape and reminisce of that. Yeah, that's okay. It's true. It does a little bit. I'd still eat it. Looks really good. Disgustingly sweet. So Pavlova looks good. Here. I have an idea. Neogenesis 13. 
You have to make Havlova. You have to make that. Sickeningly sweet. Fantastic. You have to make that. Aren't all cowboys, cowboys had edible? No, don't eat that. What's the matter with you? It's, it's called a pie, but you're not supposed to eat it. What's the matter with you? You have to make that. However, on the surface of this pavlova, you have to arrange the fruit in a way that it creates my face. That's right. You need to make my face out of fruit on the top of a pavlova. Yeah, yeah, it's horrible. It's definitely horrible. Yeah, there it is, cursed. Can you do this? Neo Genesis 13. Can you make Pavlova Thor edition? Can you do this? Face Lova, dude. You said yes? Let me make sure. Let's make sure. Let's make sure. I gotta make sure. I gotta make sure. I'm looking. The contract is sealed, chat. Neo Genesis has said, I graciously accept. The contract is sealed. Congratulations. I'm so sorry. One moment. Making sure all this stuff is set up. We are good to go. Alrighty then, let's see. Arms, mining, thaumaturge. Where is that, that thing? Shit. I don't know where that thing is. I'm looking for that thing. Let me look at this message from Jake Arena. The Minecraft small font website is very useful. We're doing it. Mining arms. Mining arms. Okay, so I'm going to have to put this into every single one of these. We're going to have to have, like, logging. So this one will be logging. And then this one will be, what is it going to be? Archaeology. And then this one is going to be fishing. And then this one is going to be herbalism. Getting there slowly. And then rune carving. So the thing that's funny about this is we need to go and change all the tools in the game. Which sucks. Uh. Yeah, we love the yeah, well, yeah, it's fine. That is true. It is fine. And yes, uh, I'm going to start the, the alerts up. We're going to go. Selarkis with 500 bits said, Ya, cheer 500, Loctar Thor. I am Loctar. budgeting for the event on April 1st. Which method do you think oh. is the most efficient way to contribute to retaining our glorious hype train lead? Also, I wanted to confirm if that donations to the mods will not contribute to the train. Donations Thanks. to the mods, donations to the mods through Pally GG will not contribute to the train. Also, uh, Mr. Imitator, you gave a hundred dollars to the moderators, and I think I was away at the moment that that happened. That is insane. That is incredibly nice of you. You're freaking rad. I just looked at the Pally GG feed out, and I just saw that. So thank you. I'm sorry about missing that. Um, with that in mind, that will not contribute to the train. There's no way we can get that to hook up to the train. It is only like donations of bits and subs through Twitch. And then tier threes are worth, I think, six times as much as tier ones. If I believe, if that works correctly, it should be six times as much because a tier one is worth one sub point and a tier six is worth, or tier three is worth six sub points instead of five sub points. So I think that's probably the most efficient is tier three subs. I think is the most efficient if you want to do that, which is a lot of money. So don't if you don't have it. Like this is for the thing of if the community wants to do this thing, you can do this thing, but I don't want you to do something that's bad for you. All right, now we get a copy pasta this. Doing it. Herbalism. Once I get this done for one of these, or for this 
set the armor one is going to be really easy. And then it's only a matter of going through and updating all of them. Updating all of them. Soon, chat. Soon, we will be able to do this. Soon, we will be able to do this. They do fishing too? Okay, good. Now we have to go to here and call this rune carving. Grab the word rune carving. Rune carving. Rune carving. Herbalism. What are you coughing about? One of the ferrets was licking and started coughing because he has fur in his throat. Ozzy, so I prank Thor. What? Do your, do your ferrets have distinct personalities? Yes. And usually their personality is... I guess the best way to describe a ferret is like this, right? They have distinct personalities. Every one of them is slightly different, but they have one thing that's exactly the same between all of them, and is that every single one of them is a bastard. So it's bastard plus. And whatever, whatever the plus is, is unique to each one of them, but they're all a bastard. Every one of them. Yeah. That's just how that works. They're fantastic, but also bastard. Yeah, it's it's like a it's like a bonus, right? Whatever personality they have is bastard plus. I like how the F turns into a question mark. It's super weird. All right, we did it. Now we can take all of these, and we need to give them an icon. I also need to give an icon to each one of these. An armor for these. Because we don't really have... Like, an armor. Netherite chestplate, I guess? For a warrior? Netherite chestplate for him. And then... Maybe it should be diamond chestplate. And then for a ranger, it should be leather, chest... Oh, wait, that's wrong. It should be here. Yeah. Leather, chest plate. Which armor turns me into a necromancer? None of them. None of them turn you into a necromancer. Yeah, maybe eventually I'll have something like Necromancy in the game, but I don't yet. Aha! It's working, chat. It's working. Wondrous. Guardian armor. Warrior armor. That looks good. I like that. I wish these were slightly different, but I guess that's fine. I guess that's fine. I feel like a warrior should have netherite, because they look more badass. A guardian should have that. They should have diamond, because it's, like, tougher in some way. Is it too late to invest in Bitcoin? I don't know, dude. I don't even know how much Bitcoin's worth right now. Now I do. It's, like, $69,000. Okay, hold up. Bitcoin is currently worth 69490 I need it to drop by $70. Bitcoin needs to drop by $70 right now. Because then it can be 69,420, and it's perfect. And then it should never change. It's exactly that. Digital money is the future? I don't know, dude. Digital money is largely a meme. So, there's that. Looks like this is working. Mage armor is good. All this is working properly. That's nice. Okay, arms mining. We're going to use a... Is it netherite pick? Pickaxe? Is that what it's called? Pickaxe. Yeah, netherite pickaxe. There we go.
And then for logging, we'll do netherite axe. And then for archaeology, we'll do netherite shovel. Is this commission work, or is this your own server? I don't do commission work. This is all for my own server, man. Wait, is there a fish? No, it's just a fishing rod, isn't there? Yeah, I don't, I don't do commission work. I never have, never will. Well, never have since I started my own company. Commission work I've done in the past. I, I kind of grew up on that, which was a nightmare, frankly. Being, being somebody who like had to go through the entire freelancing arc, I'd never want to do it again, like ever, <laughs> ever at all. What's your company about? I make video games. Welcome, welcome to the stream. Would you do a sponsored stream? Yeah, I do sponsored streams pretty much every Friday. Yeah. Use Perforce? No. Ooh. Boo. 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 Ferret coin? No, dude. I I'm gonna be real with you. I actually don't like the way that crypto is gone in any possible way. I think cryptocurrency had a really cool idea, which was the idea of a tradable currency that really couldn't be taxed. It was kind of in an interesting way, and anybody could have it, and it was kind of free, and transactions didn't need to be managed by banks, and it was a really good idea, right? That being said, that immediately leads into crime, immediately leads into being used for things like ransomware and everything like that, and when you tie it to real-world value on anything else, it ends up being a problem, right? Now, the other issue that I see is people who don't understand blockchain, people who try to add blockchain as a database to video games, are probably the dumbest things I've ever seen in my life. Like, that is the, the level of stupid that is happening in the games industry right now because of blockchain is insane to me. It is the stupidest shit I've ever seen. And basically what they do is blockchain, in and of itself, is a ledger. A ledger is a recording of transactions. Not a database. It's a recording of transactions. So what ends up happening is they use this as a database for a video game. And they're like, oh yeah, we're just going to use blockchain to power this, this video game. That's fine, right? Well, what happens? Let's say somebody steals your account and they steal all your gold. And your gold is gone now because they've stolen your account. In a normal traditional database, I can just reverse that. You get your gold back. Everything is fine. In a blockchain system, because it's a ledger, someone steals your gold... This isn't a database. They can't reverse that. There's not shit anyone can do. The admins can do nothing for you. At all. I don't know why the games industry, anyone in the games industry is trying to do this, but it's, it's reinventing the wheel as a triangle. And it's really stupid to watch. Incredibly stupid to watch. Yeah. It's a permanent record, not a database. Bingo. I hate that shit. It's a bad take? You think it's a bad take to say that using a ledger as a database is stupid? Explain yourself. If you're just going to say bad take, I'm waiting. I'll engage. Bad take. We should be using a ledger as a database. Because that's, that's a good thing when you can't administrate that and, and reverse transactions for compromised users. That's a great idea for all video games. We, we want that. How dare you, streamer? You're a bad take. How many developers do you have on your team? Three of us. I do all the programming, writing, and design. Uh, Shade does the art and animation, and Stein does the music and sound effects. Yeah, understanding the fundamentals of how technology works is critical in understanding why it's a bad take. Meanwhile, people rosy-eyed and eager to earn off the blockchain Ponzi. So, when you say that, understanding the fundamentals of how the technology works is critical in understanding why it's a bad take, are you saying that what I'm saying is a bad take, or are you saying that someone else is having a bad take? Rosy-eyed and eager to earn off the blockchain Ponzi? So you're saying that other people's implementation is wrong. Okay, that's why it's really confusing. When, you, when you're generally in a conversation, especially with somebody online, you say, oh, that's a bad take at the streamer. Usually it means you disagree with the streamer. And you're saying that, no, blockchain is good for this. How dare you? That's why it's confusing, because no one understands what you're talking about. 
<laughs> yeah. Just fix block game for me, Thor, please. I'm already fixing it. That's what I'm doing. I'm adding new stuff to it right now. What do you think about the number seven? Hmm. Subscription-based database systems like Meteor exist. I actually don't like subscription-based database systems. Just spin up a server. Do it yourself. And I, I know that's, that's really weird, but subscription-based database systems like that, you have to look. It adds so much extra complexity and so much extra cost. We're going to talk about it after the ad break, though. We'll wait until after the ads. We'll talk about it. I stream from midnight to noon. You've got 12 hours. Don't worry about it. Do you use any math in your game dev? Yeah. Yes, I do. One sec. Yeah, 12 hours a day, every day, except for Thursday. Okay. It's got to be a... What is it called? Turtle egg. Okay, so now all these ones, I have to change them. Replace arms to armor. And then we have to change arms to armor. There we go. And now we can change this to leather chest plate. I wish we could put NBT data on this. I don't know if we can. I don't think we can. What is that helmet called? It's called turtle shell. Weird. Alright, saved. Now we have to add the slots to each one of these and fix them up. Uh, what is this at? That's 23 on that, so we gotta go all the way back here. That's gonna be 19, so we gotta add 7 to that. No, we gotta add 9 to it, so it's gonna be 28. Boop. This one's going to be 37. All right. Is he making a mod? Yeah, I'm working on our, our block game server, dude. Block game is an MMO built inside of Minecraft. And right now, what I'm working on is categories for our auction house. As you can see, why is that not working? Turtle. Is this not real? Oh, it's turtle helmet. Of course it is. Of course it's Turtle Helmet. Of course it is. Why would it be anything else? So categories for Auction House means that you'll be able to click on these and directly see what you want to see. So if we do rune carving armor, rune carving arms, materials. So if I click on materials, it'll show you all the materials in the game that are actually set as materials, which is kind of nice. If we go back to categories, we'll be able to set up things like knowledge, repair, and you look at knowledge, you can actually see the tomes of battle secrets are in there, so people are selling those, which is kind of insane. How much is that? Wait, what? Why does it say 3000? Is that 3000 currency? There's no comma in there. That's a problem. 
the comma is missing in the price. You see that? We're going to have to fix that. Tokens are not working correctly. Yeah, 3K. Each book is sold at around 50 coin each. Yeah, there's something wrong in that, though. Look at it. It's got problems. The the number... Yeah, it looks like 3,150. Like, I thought it was 3 for 150 each, or 3 for 000. zero zero. It's very odd. Very, very odd. It's European way. It's probably because I think this, this plugin was made by people in France. Yeah, I think it was made by French people, actually. I don't think this looks good. We're going to do that to leather chest plate. That doesn't look right. Save that. Thor hates the French? I do not. You're French, little ham. Repair and food. And drinks. Knowledge. All this is working. So food and drink. I do want to kind of like break it out of this barrier here. So we're going to work on that next. Hmm. I need to know what this decoration is for patterns. That's something new. Or is that? Uh, auction house. Patterns. Decoration. Okay, actually wait. I think we might have pagination. Oh. Can we just build pagination into it? I'm gonna try something. Does this is just get pagination? No, it doesn't. It doesn't at all! It doesn't at all! No! That's fine. It just gets a back button. So what we're going to do is we're going to remove all of these. We're going to put that up along the top. And I think that'll be fine. So we'll go back in here and put it as decoration. We'll save that out. And then we're going to move everything to the top left. I need more space is the problem. Yeah. Also, mind explaining the database subscription? Yeah. So anytime you're working with a third party, you're adding two things. You're adding complexity. And you're adding cost. This is what happens when you work with a th third party. Every time. Now, you're also adding risk. Risk is part of complexity. But that risk is, how are they administrating those databases? What is the uptime of that database stuff? Do they have security risks of any kind? What happens if their company dies? What happens if their company gets knocked over? Do they have anything in place to, you know, back up all of your stuff? Are you backing up all of your stuff as well? Working with a third party for database management is scary as shit. And the biggest reason why is if anything goes wrong, you could lose everything for that. You could lose everything for that. No, not AWS. AWS is a lot less risky. Do you know why? Because AWS is much larger. The larger the entity is, the less risk inherent to that in many cases. Not always, but in many cases. Risk assessment has to prove those problems. You have a lot of smaller database, like for higher systems, that are very tiny. And because of that, they can't compete. And then what happens when they fall apart? It's a little scary. It's a little scary. Even the large ones can die. Do you know what won't die? Prematurely, before your company dies, your own databases. It's rough, but that is always the case. Anytime you work with a third party, it's risk and complexity, dude. Doesn't mean it's not the right choice, but it's still something you have to think about it is something you always have to think about is it worth it for me to do this yep you have to you have to think about if it's worth it for you yeah keep one back up offsite always okay so i think we're gonna do this to i think zero is correct on this let me make sure that zero is the first slot i don't remember if minecraft is zero based It does. Fantastic. Okay, we're going to do 0, 1, 2, 
three, four, five, and then nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. We can save those out. And now what we get in our categories is all the professions are up top, which is good. And then we'll do all of our um, classes down here. And then that'll be good. Yeah, like picking a game engine. Pick the right database for the job. Yeah. And it, it may be that a third party is good for you. It may be. But it may also be too much risk. You have to... There is no silver bullet, man. Like, this is something I should always say for any, any aspect of your life. There's no such thing as a silver bullet. Every situation, likely, is going to be unique. You can learn from other people's decisions at their point in time, but it's going to be different for almost everything that you do. And if you're trying to solve situations by going, oh, well, that's, that's what everyone else does. So I'm going to do that too. You know what you get? You get the same problems that they have. You just don't know that they're there. And that's never a good thing, man. It's never a good thing. A good example of this is one of the vulnerabilities that I always turn in, always, whenever I'm doing a pen test, and this happens all the time, if you go try to use two-factor on an account, you go to log into the account, you log in with password, right? You try to log into a, an account with password. And then if that password works or not, it will tell you if the password works right off the bat, whether the person has two-factor or not. It's one of the biggest problems. One of the biggest problems with this. We have this happen all the time. Because what will happen is somebody goes to log in and they go, oh, I can brute force the password as long as that person has two-factor on. I turn this vulnerability in every single time. Every single time. You always put two-factor first. Always. Every time. It, it's really, really silly. There's no reason to allow somebody to brute force password if somebody has two-factor in the account. I turn that vulnerability in all the time. And do you want to know the worst part about it? Major platforms do this. And the way that they do this is they go, well, that guy did it, so I'm going to do it. Because they're bigger than us, so they clearly have the right standards. And yet I turn these in all the time. And I make money off them all the time because it's a super common vulnerability. Leads the user open to password brute forcing, even they, though they have two-factor. I know, it's terrible, it's dumb, and it's really, really normal. You should never, you should never be allowing someone to brute force password because what will happen is it'll validate. Uh, uh, let me give you an example for this, right? When I say two factor before password, I mean is like this. It's probably badly explained. Let me explain it a little bit better. When you go to log in, what it should do is it should prompt you for password, and it should prompt you for two factor. What these companies are doing is they prompt you for password, and then if the password is right, then it prompts you for two factor, which makes no sense. This makes no sense because then they brute force your password until you take two factor off. So what ends up happening? Yeah, this this happens all the time. What ends up happening is they set up a bot and every hour they log in to your account. And if you ever have to remove two factor from this, which you will because your phone will die or you'll get a new phone or whatever it's going to be. They will log into your account and do an account takeover, and they immediately apply their own two-factor. And the reason I know this is because it happened at Blizzard every day, thousands of times a day. All the time. Until I fixed it. And you want to know what the funniest part about it is? It was a one-line code fix. We literally just flipped them, and it was gone. And it had been like that for years. And I turn this vulnerability in every time I'm doing bounty programs. Every time. It's a super simple failure. And every company goes, that guy did it that way. Our login flows like that. So we're going to do the same thing. So don't just copy the other guy. Understand what is going on. Actually do an analysis on it. Do a risk analysis on it. And then move forward. Because this, this is such a common fail. Yeah. It's always a one-liner which lives too long. It's 100% it, dude. It was a one-line code move. It's, it's so stupid. You... You just can't do this. And it's it's a common vuln, dude. It's super common. It's so bad. Yeah, they just set up bot farms to do it. Are we spreading freedom later? We are, yeah. <clears throat> Literally lost my LinkedIn from that. It, dude, it's so common. It's such a common thing. And yeah, for those who missed it, 
the the general flow right now is if you have two factor on is somebody goes to log in they get a password prompt and if they get the password correct then it prompts them for two factor right it should not work this way it should be you have an account you go to log in you get two factor and password at the same time and if either of these is wrong if either is wrong then it says no and it doesn't tell you which one it goes something something about your login details is wrong and then it walks away and that's how that should go. the reason why is if you get the password correct it will prompt you for two-factor right but if you get the password wrong it tells the attacker the password was wrong and now they sit there and they brute force your password until they have your password and then they can do a couple of things with this once they have your password, if they can brute force this, which they do all the time, they don't have to hit them all, they just hit some of them, they go and try and use these against your other social media accounts to get into other things to see if they can bypass your two-factor. If it's email-based two-factor, they're past it. That's number one. And number two is they start an account that starts logging in every hour using your proper password. And sometimes websites will log this as a correct login, saying that you now have a history of logins from that source which bypasses geolocation restrictions because there's sometimes geolocation restrictions on companies where they say, hey, you logged in from a weird place. So I'm going to prompt you about this. So over time, this stops being a thing because they just keep logging in using your password. And number two, the moment you remove two-factor because you lost your phone, they have full access to your account. Do not do login flows like this. Do login flows like this every single time. I don't know why companies keep doing this shit, but it's very stupid to watch, and it is the first thing I turn in from bounty programs. First thing every single time. Because so many companies do it. And I get paid every single time. So if you want to go make money on bounty programs, go turn that shit in, because it's always wrong. Yeah. I'm about to do that, do it. I make money on bounty programs every single time I go on bounty programs from that vuln alone. It's so common. It's disgusting. Yeah. Even Steam does this. I know. Everybody does it, and it's wrong. <laughs> Could you live stream a bounty program? No. You have to do responsible disclosure. Can't do it. This music is Cave Wave? Actually, no, this one's DJ Possum from our game Heartbound. Yep. Super common, though. Anyway, alerts. I'm way behind. Atlas has a Twitch with 500 bits said Hey Thor, here for another hey. block game ad. Oh no. This time, with a special sponsor of Malcorp. Malcorp, <laughs> with us, you get to see a better tomorrow. No. We have perfected the mal maxing technique, and are opening our borders to any new players that wish to join Malcorp. We may not be able to get war supplies or finish sieges yet, however once we are. A new age will mean? be brought upon block game. Through the Skulk Ocean rigs we will purify this world. What do you mean you can't get war supplies? Every town can get war supplies. The limit is one plot to get war supplies. What do you mean? What do you mean sieges and war supplies are broken? Sieges are not broken. War supplies are not broken. People are doing sieges every day. What do you mean the command doesn't work? What command? Why are you guys so vague about this shit? Tell me specifically what is wrong. What's the matter with you? We've had tickets in for weeks. What is the specific command that you're having a problem with? Survey command to collect war supplies? If your town has over nine plots, T resources doesn't work? If it has over nine plots, that doesn't make any goddamn sense. That shit worked forever. Let's go look to see what's going on. That isn't even true, though. Because my town has over nine plots, and that shit works. What specifically are you typing? What is the exact command you were typing? I want the exact command. Not not a vague impression of the command. 
the actual command. I know it's permissions based. I am aware. It is not a functional problem. It's a permissions problem. That's why I need to know the exact command that's being used. Command I use is T resources survey. Why are you doing survey instead of collect? T resources collect is how you get your stuff. Why are you using survey? I'm aware, little ham. I'm aware. Calm yourself. I'm getting the exact command from these people. And I need to know, specifically, what it is that they are typing. Because this command has not changed. The permissions around this command have not changed in over a year. And it's been working the whole time. Nobody has a solution to this. One moment. Enabled true. First is point seven one. Enabled resource extraction limits. There's no extraction limits. We don't need any of this. Did they change something stupid? Oh no, this is we don't have that one enabled. Town resources, here we go. Surveys enabled true. Cost per resource level, zero. Numb town blocks requirements per resource level, one. Production, enabled true. Reroll cost, negative one. This is disabled by default to prevent rich towns from being able to spam rerolls. Use cautiously. There's no rerolls. Town level requirements per resource level, one, four, six, eight. You just have to be a level one. We do not have permissions to start the survey to then get war supplies. Stream Deck, why are you broken again, you big bitch? There. How about this? We turn off surveys, and then you guys should be able to get all of the production automatically. It shouldn't do anything else. I'm going to go look into the docs to see if this happens, but... This doesn't make any sense, because none of this changed. No permissions based anything changed for this. Is that working again? Okay, it's working now. Yeah, let's find out what the hell's going on with this. Because this doesn't make any goddamn sense. At all. Whatsoever. Nothing here changed. We didn't change a single setting on this, so the fact that it's broken is incredibly weird. Oh, hey. There's an update. One moment. What is your update? There's an update to resources. Wow. Disconnected from server. Error changing directory to plugins towny resources. Uh, no. It was not. I'm not disconnected from the server. I simply refuse. The file contains a virus or potentially a WhatsApp. God damn it! So there's a problem right now. You know what the problem is? This is gonna make you laugh. This is super annoying. String copy right now in a jar file triggers Windows antivirus. It trigger it actually triggers that. So the Minecraft community. 90% of the plugins that are out there cannot be installed. Because the moment you have anything on your computer, Windows Defender goes, that's a virus, and then just kills it. Happens every single day in jar files. I don't know why this is happening, but it's a false positive, and it's super bad. It's really, really not good. Yeah. Alright. So that's dead. No, this is not why you force disable Windows Defender. Windows Defender is God. It just has false positives right now. Is this broken? 
little bit weird. Hey, Twitch chat. Seven. That's interesting. Is Twitch chat dead? It's totally dead. What the hell? Chat stopped moving for me on OBS. And I didn't know why. And I was like, that's really weird. You guys are normally talking all the time. Let me fix this. Is that working again? Now it's working again. Yeah, it disconnected. That's weird as shit. Your stream died? No, it didn't. Stream didn't die. Stream's still up. What are you talking about? Wait, the stream died? There's no drop package. That's got to be on Twitch's side. That has to be on Twitch's side. Dude. Wait, Ferret Software's also down? Did it lag out on YouTube? How did my internet die for a second there? Maybe that's why I got disconnected from the server. That's weird as hell. Oh, it's daylight savings time. It died at daylight savings time. That's why. Yeah, it's daylight savings time. God, I hate daylight savings time. Ah! I hate it. I hate it all. The whole internet turns off for a second because of DST. Jesus Christ, dude. Yeah, it's just DST. It's DST being a piece of shit. So, here's what I'm going to do. Um, we've got an update for Townie resources, but it doesn't work because of the uh, Windows Defender, which is fun. So, instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to disable surveys. Let's go look at Townie resources. We're going to look at the information for this. Let's go pull this up and see what they got. I don't know why they don't have this command. It's very odd. Yeah, Town's Mayor should have this. So let's go into, what is it called? Towny Perms Group. So we're gonna do Towny Settings, I guess. Towny Perms.yml. View, stop word wrapping this, please God. And we've got default and mayor. Tiny resource command town collect. Did they change this? Towny mayor. Towny resources command survey. It looks like they changed this. That's probably why this is broken. That's a little bit weird. So the mayor should have this now. And what do you mean sieges don't work? Because somebody said sieges don't work too, but there's all the permissions for sieges are right here, and people have been sieging left, right, and center. You have to be a nation to siege. There's nothing wrong with that. They do. We have been having to do sieges on people that are producing war supplies to get them. Hence so many sieges. Okay, so sieges are fine. Why does somebody say sieges don't work? 
Rip TTS? No. TTS is still there. Look, dude. Local storage. What up? You're good. See? Evangeline with $5 said very odd day. Had nightmares and they didn't bug me at all. I was stoic through it all and I'm now baffled by that lol hope the day goes well. Hope it goes well too. That's weird. So the mayor of this command survey, that's done. And then the king. Let me go find this. Tiny nations, tiny resources, command collect. Okay, so the king can have that. And we need to add that to the nation, the assistant as well. Okay. Those are saved now. That should be good. Unable to capture a siege town? I don't even know what that means, dude. Again, specific commands. Being vague will not get anything fixed. I hate vague. You have to be very specific. We're dealing with programming, so you have to tell me exactly what it says and exactly what you tried. Always. Does not work any other way. Unable to beep Wellington? Probably true. Hey look, surveys work now. Cool deal. Yeah, none of that ever changed. I don't know why that's broken. Let's see. Towny resources. Survey. So what happens when we set resources to false? That's the thing that's really odd to me, right? Because they have a GitHub for this. Disable daily player limits. Not possible to have daily limits for slime fun resources. Don't care about that. Survey. Oh, okay. T resources reload. Edit the tiny resources config YAML file. Change the settings you'd like. Do not add eggs, honeycomb, or honey bottle. The daily limits. The limit types are not yet operational. Okay. I just want it to be war resources. Weird. Yeah, I don't know why that was broken. That's weird as shit. It's fixed now. Whatever. Uh, mods, you can go and close out all those tickets. Don't know why that was broken in the first place. Very, very weird. Yeah, because all of the all the reports that I was getting was people going, resources are broken, and then people were like, no, they aren't. And it was just like a lot of conflict. Whenever you are reporting a bug, please say exactly what you tried and exactly what the game told you, right? That's that's generally how bug reports work. If you are just vaguely saying it broke, no one's gonna be able to do anything for you. Like it's it's never gonna happen, right? That's a super important thing. Yeah, it broke does nothing. Error messages are insanely important. The reason, this could have been fixed in minutes, but people were just saying it broke. Let's go fix this. All right, let's see. Now we gotta do these. Warp back to the computer. Auction house. 
almost everything is done in here now. We gotta do the classes down here, and then we'll do other stuff over there, and I think it'll work. You hear me out, it broke. Yeah, no, right? <laughs> it broke, though. Arms Warrior. So I think these should probably be down below. We're gonna take every one of these. Grab all of that for armor as well. Yoink. We've got our mining arms first. Mining arms and armor. Then we'll take this, put it there. And we have to do the slot as, what is it going to be? 18? Yeah, it should be 18. 19. 20. 21. 22. And then this one will be 27. 28. 29. There we go. Save all of that in place. And this should put all of those in the right spot. Categories. There we go. Okay, so that looks much better. Now I'm probably going to take the food and drinks and everything like that and put them in a line down here. So that'll make life easier. I may also put them up here for now. That might make life a little bit easier. And then we're going to remove the border everywhere except for down here. I think that'll look much better. I think it'll look much better. Or are you in a dungeon? I'm not. I'm in my computer room where I handle things. Yeah. One of the things that needs to be handled, by the way, I don't think Jake has set it up yet, is um, we have to set up our, what are they called? Advancements. Because advancements to the server are not set up for everybody. So you have to apply all those advancements. So I got to talk to Jake about that today. Yeah... Green, it burns my eyes. Good. It means it's working. Argonius underscore Doge with 500 bits said I would like to share a bit of info for those who feel like they haven't done enough yet. Hmm. Tolkien didn't start writing Lord of the Rings until he was 45. It's fine to take your time on things. Yep. That is 100% true. I think it's something that people forget. They, they always say like, am I too old for this? And I go, no. <laughs> no, you are not. Because there's no reason for it, you know? There is no reason for that whatsoever. No! It's in the wrong spot. It's going to be 7 and 8. Good thing I tested that. 7, 8. And then repair is going to be under that, I think. Repair and knowledge. So, 7 and 8, and this will be 16 and 17. And then this one is going to be... Materials is going to be 34, so 16 is going to be 25. And 26 is still going to be 43 for that one. Save. Okay. We have all of our categories in place now. I think everything there is good. This is actually going to be one, one to the right. 44 then and then it looks like everything in here is looking nice we're going to remove all these borders remove all this stuff from there and then what i'm going to do is i'm probably going to put a space between these so we'll have a space there because it looks a little bit cramped looks a little bit weird right we don't really want that so let's go fix that i 
So this will be slot 40. 39, 30, 38, 37, 36. Now this is going to be, what is it? 31, 30, 29, 28, 27. Save that out there. Yeah, no, it's, it's something a lot of people don't remember. They think that they're too old for everything, and it doesn't work that way. You don't, you're not too old to start stuff. You just need to start stuff. Stop worrying about preconceived ideas of what is acceptable or not acceptable and just do. The longer you wait, the more you're going to feel like that, unless you're going to have a chance of actually doing things. And I think that's super important to understand. Like, you need to do stuff. Knowledge. I wonder if we put recipes in there. I feel like recipes should be on its own thing, though. Yeah, recipes should be on its own thing. We're going to add a, a recipes condition. Recipe section. Categories. There we go. So we have a thing for recipes. And I think that'll be... So we do food and drinks first. I'm going to grab all these and put them in the right areas. Like, I'll be honest with you, too, like, and this is something I think people forget when they, they talk about, like, oh, you're too old to do stuff. When did I start streaming? I'm 36. I started streaming at 29. Most of my peers are, like, 20 years old. <laughs> I know, we, we lost a bunch of viewers because my stream died at DST. It was very funny. It imploded. Oh, I'm sorry. Did you? Oh, I'm sorry. Did you do it? Literal goblins. Every one of you. Food, drinks, repair, knowledge. And then materials. I kind of want to do... Food and drinks, repair and materials. And then knowledge and recipes. So do another one down here for recipe. Recipes. Recipes. Recipe. And then after that, we can do... Yeah, repairing materials. And then we can do quest item and currency. Because we can fit those. We can fit those now. There we go. So now I get some new sections to put in, which is kind of nice. Thor the Legend. What's up, Cliff Vegas? How's it going? You're the legend, dude. Pumpkinhead9092 with 500 bits said, Yarchir, 500, good morning, Thor. Good morning. A while back, my therapist asked me who my role model was, and I had no answer. Now I can sincerely answer that you are my role model. You are inspirational and the kind of person I aim to be. Aww. You deserve every bit of success you have. If I had to rate you on a scale of 1 to 7, you would be a 7. I... I feel like that's a compliment. But it's... But I'm not sure. I don't know. All of, they're all 7s saying, now look what you've done. I can't believe it. Why would you do this? Why would... Why would you do this? But no, that's really sweet of you. Thank you. Honestly. Mm -hmm. 
recipe, recipe, recipe. And then we can go back over to this. We can grab this and do small font. Recipe. And I think that'll still be a book. I think we can do a book on that one. The recipe category. We can save this out. We can save that out. Let's say H reload. What? What? Oh, it's in the same slot, isn't it? I'm dumb. 26. There we go. Okay, categories. Let's go pull this up. We've got recipes. Recipes are actually already pulled in, which is super nice. You can actually see that in there. It's already there. Um, knowledge is already in here as well. That's great. We've got miscellaneous, which is just a lot of weird shit in there. Random garbage. Random junk, right? And then we've got drinks and food. These don't work yet. We're going to fix those today. And these do work now. And then we have to update all of the chests in the entire video game, which is going to be a mess. This is a heads up for us. Are you doing an extra hour today due to DST or stop at the normal time? I'm stopping at the exact normal time. I stop at... at I, I go from midnight to noon. One second. Evangeline with $10 said you have a scrum meeting today in 6 hours. Don't forget oh and bring the chocolate milk for the rest of the group. We plan to buy the demo and go down this highway in the desert at dark. Join us. Hmm. 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 No. Why are you like Killer this? Killer Squid 2603 with 500 bits said boop. Your boop. Your five boops. Disgustin with 500 That's bits incredible. said have you any interest in the open source maker creator event in San Francisco? Um, I don't know. Maybe? I like stuff like that. I think it's really cool. It's just, I've got so much shit going on right now, and I have so many collab things that I'm doing at the same time, that I'm trying to slow it down a little bit, because it's just too much. It's too much happening all at once. And I gotta, I gotta get things done, you know? I think it's one of the things, is like, I don't want to stop making things, but there's also so many things for me to work on at the same time. And I wasn't used to, like, doing the con circuit and collaborating with other people. So I'm trying to rebuild my time, if that makes sense. And it's working. It's just a lot. It just takes a long time. And right now, I'm kind of just chilling out until TwitchCon, I think. TwitchCon and, and um... God, what is it? DefCon. TwitchCon and DefCon are my two big things right now. No. Currency category. I'm going to turn this back on. View word rapid. Thank you. All right. Quest. 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 Okay. This is now finished. H reload. Auction house. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, wait, it's the wrong things. Quest items at least work. That's probably fun. We're gonna go back into here and do... What does it have to be? There's like a... Ender thing. End crystal. Yeah? End crystal. Functional blocks. End crystal. And then... Currency is going to be a... Gold ingot. Safe. We did it. So we got quests, we've got currency, we've got recipes, we've got knowledge, repair, materials, drinks, and food. I can't think of anything else. Oh wait. Rune carving. Rune carving is a big one. That is enormous. 
We need to add another one of these. Yeah, rune carving is huge. Because it's a massive category of stuff. Do you have democracy? You mean up, right, down, down, down democracy? You mean the 500 kilogram bomb democracy? You mean fused into my hand as an automatic response to anything that I'm currently doing? Democracy? Yes. <laughs> Dude, that is, that is like my favorite button in the game, right? Is there any other kind? No. Not yet. Not democracy saving time. Not yet. Not yet. Eventually, yes. Eventually. Eventually. Soon. I have things to do. I have stuff to make. Otherwise, the block game community will become sad. And we can't allow that, because when they're sad, they cry about things. And when they cry about things, then the forums fill up with stuff that we have to fix. And I don't want to fix anything right now. So instead, I'm going to preemptively fix it before they start bitching. Um, what do we put for this? It's got to be a turtle egg. Turtle egg. But now we have a problem. Oh, we have a problem, chat. Do you know what we have as a problem? And it's a shitty problem, too. The iconic image for rune carving is a turtle egg. But I already used that for rune carving arms. So now you have a turtle egg and a turtle egg. Which is not good. You say for the alliance? Um, sorry, but that's a really funny way to spell honorable kill. Yeah. That's a, that's a weird way to spell that. What language is that? Yeah. So you got rune carving there now. Oh, why is that so long? Category rune carving was not found. What? Oh, I forgot to do this. I'm dumb. Fixed. Oh, what do you mean it's not found? It's called rune carving. It's right there. What? Bleh? It's right... It's right there. Okay. I just reloaded it again. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Is it cap sensitive? No, it's just being dumb. I got two of these. I guess that's fine. It's sort of whatever. All the rune carving stuff is in here now, which is great. You know, just to see all the violence runes and everything in there. Salvage kit's in there for rune carving. Probably change the salvage kit to something else, so it's not like filling this up. Hmm. Huh. Looks like it's only one page. But this is where people are going to be able to find damp essence. So that's fine. This is good. This is good. I think our auction house looks good. Okay, so we have to go back up here, and this is going to be a different decoration now. Close all this junk. I don't need any of this. We need to go to a different decoration. Actually, I need to open this again. Oh god, there's so many things. Delete all of that. That's good. Use a turtle shell? No, it's not iconic with the actual thing. That's the biggest problem with it, is we need to use stuff that players identify. Evangeline with $2 said, Happy birthday, you hairy wizard. You're a hairy wizard. You're a wizard, Harry. You're a hairy wizard. A beardomancer, if you will. What is this? What do you think about the new democratic mech? I think the mech is really cool, but I also think it's paper thin. I felt like I was going to be in a mech and it would be kind of badass, right? You get touched by anything and it explodes. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, it's like made out of paper mache. You're like, what the hell? You know? 
It's the worst. It's very funny. Nutty Churo with 500 bits said, Ya cheer 500 hey Thor, hope you are doing well. I am. Just a quick question, what chair brand do you use? I'm thinking about um, buying a new chair, so recommendations. I use a secret lab, but I have to say one thing about it. I got these, like, foam things off of Amazon for like 20 bucks. And they, uh, they made the chair infinitely better. Because the secret labs chairs have these, like, really hard rubber elbow things. And now I have soft foam elbow things, which is just infinitely better. It's just better all the way. Yeah. Let's get a Herman Miller in your set for life. N no, I don't want that. Not only are there's like a billion million dollars, frankly, like I don't I don't want to spend that much money in a chair, but also the Secret Labs actually has like a, a adjustable lumbar support in it, which made all my back pain go away. So I'm pretty happy with that. Yeah. I've had the same chair for years, too. You think they're super uncomfortable? I think they're really comfortable. Yeah. I think they're really, really comfortable. And I don't like the like open nature of the Herman Millers. Like weird. hate gaming chairs because they cost more and are extremely uncomfortable. I like mine. And it's mostly because I can do this. You know, like, I don't have to give a shit. It's kind of great, honestly. You know? It's kind of the best, frankly. I can just lay all the way down. Yeah. It's great. Let's go to bed. Is that where you sleep? You don't know. Maybe. Don't worry about it. Okay, so I need to add a new decoration style. Looks like we can actually just copy pasta this one into a new one, which is going to be file categories .yml. Make that new one, and we're going to do it slots like this. Name Z Auction House categories. Save that there. Then we can go back into closing that and closing that. We can go back into categories. Use that one there. Say AH reload. AH. And it no longer looks like shit. Wonderful. We love it. I don't like these being open though. Now that I think about it. So, here's what we're going to do instead. We're going to do all of it. Is it five lines or six lines? Okay, it's six lines. We did it. All right, that should be fine. Save. That looks a lot better. Look how nice and clean that looks. Look at that. See? Nice. Looks good. Looking good. Looking, looking good. Looking good. I like that. Hey. I'm from Germany. Paid $5,000 to get into a front-end dev course for retraining into an IT job. You think I can still be front-end dev in 5, 10, 15 years with all the AI stuff going on? Yes. 100%. Invest in yourself. It doesn't matter what AI might do in the future. It matters what you are doing now. Always invest in yourself. Mr. Scotty Devs with 500 bits said you see Matt Pat's last theory. Nope. Feels weird seeing the reason I'm so invested in game lore step away from the spotlight like this. I did not see MatPat's last theory. I don't follow MatPat. Let's see. Use Linux? For some things, yeah. But not as my standard. We got ads in a moment here. It's a player head. Yeah, it's a player head. Sounds like beef? Well, yeah, I don't like it. I've talked about that pretty publicly for a long time. Yeah. No qualms about that. But he's stepping away. 
is going off and doing something else. And that's just fine. Would you ever have 11 pug-sized gorillas or one gorilla-sized pug? Gorilla-sized pug. Retro pug. 100%. You like a research? Don't worry about it. It's fine. Alvea's co-stream. I would love to do something like that. I would love to do that. Uh, Maya actually invited me out. I need to do that at some point. I just need to figure it out. Figure out times. What is this? Jamaican. With the 25 gifted subs. My god, dude. Thank you very much. Thank you very, very much. Any reason to use YAML instead of JSON? Just easy to read. Human readable. Most Minecraft mods use YAML, to be honest with you. Because it's just simple. What happened to the worm? You haven't been here in months, have you? Yeah, Maya's super cool. She's a super nice person. Readables, dude. If the pug was bigger, would that make the breathing problems worse or better? Probably worse, I would think. Yeah, definitely worse. Should play pro Potion Craft again this Wednesday? Maybe. Potion Craft is really good. But I'm so into Helldivers right now. It's Pacific Drive and Helldivers are the only two things I've been playing. It's the only two things I've been playing. The worm has not been forgotten. The worm was devoured. We a Bezos emote? No. Last Epoch is also another one I really enjoy. Boo. What did you play before Helldivers 2 on stream? Random shit. Every week was a different thing. What are your thoughts on Nightingale? I also want to play Nightingale, which is in my inventory on Steam, and I want to play it really bad. God damn it. I have so many things. There's so many things. All right. I need to go check accounting stuff. Gross. We hate accounting stuff. Uh, wait, did this work? Hey, what is this? Perfect. Nice. Yeah, odd. I'm actually looking at the Ferret Software stream. I didn't realize that DST would turn off our internet for a moment. That's so weird. That's so weird. I have a question you've probably heard a million times. But why do we still incorporate motion blur when we stop adding it to games nearly 10 years? I don't know. I hate motion blur. I also really don't like chromatic aberration, and they're used constantly. But the reason I don't like it is because it makes me motion sick. For some people, they think it's more immersive. They actually really enjoy it. But for me, I can't handle it at all, dude. Literally at all. Yeah. Isn't DST at the end of March? It just happened. Yeah, it just happened. Okay. Argonius this is underscore Doge with 500 Next. bits said Yar cheer 500 now to request some advice. While I eventually plan to make the Twitch plays an incremental game, fully customizable through config files, I have decided to try to tailor the default version for this community. The cool. issue is that I feel like I don't have enough tiers yet. I currently plan to have goblins, brain cells, necromancers, gnomes, 
ferrets, and demos in it somewhere, but I was curious if you or the community had more idea for extra things to add. Also, the demo is free. The demo is free, chat. You heard it here. You heard it. You heard it. Demo is free. The demo is free. You are only mad because you are angry, Chet. It's true. Is that after revision ID or before it? Okay, it's just before it. Okay, so... This needs to be... Mining Augment. We're gonna have to add it to each one of these. We're gonna update all the revision IDs on everything after this, too. So augments your offhands for this kind of stuff. And all I have to do is just add it for each one of these. And it makes my life easy. Unfortunately, it means that pretty much every item in the game is going to need to be updated. But as things go forward, the old items fall out of currents or out of the economy. Or those items get automatically updated when a person drops it on the ground or uses it. So that's totally fine. We won't have a problem. Archaeology augment. Finished. Thankfully, this is a pretty easy process. Like, it's not super bad. So. Thank you through shorts. Just wanted to say thank you. So you inspire me? I code Python for work. Your advice is super useful. You're awesome, dude. Thank you very much. Thank you very, very much. 10 second explanation of the game you're working on? Yeah, it's an MMO built inside of Minecraft using Minecraft as a game engine. Because people told me it wasn't possible. And I'm driven by spite. So... After about two years of working on this, I brought on Jake, who is now working on it with me, and Little Ham, who is working on it with me, and we work in the game together. So Little Ham does moderation stuff and helps out with that, and Jake does development stuff with me and helps out with that. And we made a fully functional MMO in Minecraft. And right now I'm, I'm fixing up our auction house to make it dramatically better. And soon, when this is finished, all items will be easily searchable based on the category that they are in. And I'm adding those categories to all of the items right now. Unfortunately, it means that all the items will have to reroll to get all that data on them, but that's a pretty easy thing to fix. Not a big deal. Because I can do this. Regular expression, replace all. Revision IDs are in. Those are good to go. We can save that out, and we don't have to care. Interestingly enough, we have herbalism. We have fishing. We have archaeology. And then we have logging. And then we have mining. We do not have rune carving yet. That is not in the game yet. However, that's fine. Rune carving augments will be added later, and I'm not too worried about it. So now we have to add this for mining. Because right now there's like profession armor, but the prof profession armor doesn't have any of this stuff. So we're going to have profession armor like this. Mining armor. Because this is not a thing that existed in the game before. And unfortunately there's a lot of them. So it's just going to be a lot of copy pasting. Cooking is not a skill Atlas in the game. Atlas has a Twitch with 500 a bits said, Hey Thor, Mal here. Hi. I wanted to up, you know, apologize for breaking the database by accident. <laughs> you bastard. I now face not only chat, but the block game server as a whole as a repercussion. I face this shame head on, and shall walk through these coals to the end of the earth. Chat, uh, say it with me. Shame. 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 Yeah, we have to figure out what's causing that. It's actually a, a townie bug. So I'm going to reach out to the townie devs and be like, yo, can you fix this? Because, to be real with you, they should be sanitizing their inputs into the database anyway, and the fact that the database can't handle special characters is a massive problem for the game. Like, a huge problem for the game. We should be able to remove special characters in that way, and it's just not... It's not happening. So, not the best... Not really what I want. But, hopefully they will get it fixed. Or I can do a pull request myself and just do it myself. Because I, I need... I need that done. Because it's, it's our largest problem. Is people renaming their towns to shit that's, like, super special characters and it just breaks up. Like, breaks the database. It refuses to inject it into the database. Like, the prepared prepared statement just gets mad. It's kind of funny. 
What classes have you added to the game? So we have Warrior, we have Guardian, which is our melee DPS and, and tank, right? Then we have our Ranger, which is like our Archer, but they also deal with status effects. And then we have a Wizard, so a Mage. They deal with Frost and Fire, so more status effects, but more damaging status effects a lot of the time. They also have a bunch of different other elemental stuff that I'm adding in soon. And then you have the Thaumaturge, which is Shadow and Light. And there are healers. It's a lot of fun. Ends up being good. Really enjoy it. And all of that is based on your individual gear that you're wearing. So that's fine as well. There's nothing wrong with that at all. You can actually change your class based on the gear that you're wearing. So your character level is, is kind of outside of that, if that makes sense. And I just tasked Jake out for probably the week, I think. All the stuff that Jake needs to do this week. So while I'm fixing this up, Jake is fixing up a different area of the game. And then eventually, we'll have everything ready and then we can go and work on Neath together, which would be a lot of fun. Because I want to do design stuff with Jake. Because most of the time, Jake has just spent time on doing bug fixing. And bug fixing can get really shitty and boring. And I want him to be able to do something creative. Because I think that'd be fun for him. So, we're going to go build Neath together, I'm hoping. If he wants to, we'll see. Jake from State Farm? Yes, it's actually Jake from State Farm. You figured it out. How did you know? Oh my god, we've almost got it all. Imagine if Thor got a low taper fade. Dude, imagine if I ever cut my hair. No thanks. Serial Enjoyer 37 with $5 said, Hey Thor, good morning. Hello. I'm sure you've encountered many installation wizards in your time, but have you met have. an installation sorcerer yet? No. Seven, 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 seven. Wizards use spellbooks, sir. Sorcerers have cheap tricks. It's different. It's different. Research, knowledge, beyond cheap trickery. Excuse you? That's fine. If you're a sorcerer, I will be excused because I don't want to sully myself by having you in my presence. Sorcerers. Mmm. 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 Sorcerers have more riz? No, they don't. They have charisma. Learn to spell, Zoomer. Ridiculous. Can't just take the middle of the word and make a new word out of it. Doesn't work that way. Doesn't work that way. Sorcerers? Okay, I'm into that. That's delicious. Sorceress, dude. <laughs> oh, I love that. That's so funny. Jacking Beans with 500 bits said, Yar cheer 500 daylight savings sucks. It does. Have bits. I hate it. I'm gonna play some Yakuza 7 while I listen. Watch your stream. Thank you very much. That's very nice of you. And I do think that the timer on this is wrong now because of the daylight savings time. Evil Notion with 500 bits said today is the day that one hour is pointlessly erased from our lives. 
Yeah. That makes me sad. I really need to find the passage back to the place I was before. Anyhow, I appreciate you, Thor, you very <laughs> much. Your encouragement of others, your positive vibes, your quick wit. You deserve well, you. everything that has happened lately. Only wish I had found you before you went viral. Yar bongos. Well, you found me now. I'm glad you're here, so thank you. It's very, very nice of you. And to be real with you, I... I'm kind of blown away by it, man. There's so damn many of you. It's amazing to me, so thank you. Seriously. You've no idea. I'm just glad I never quit. Okay. Revision IDs are updated. Everything here is good. We can save this. We can go through our armors now. Wait, does holiday armor say holiday armor on it? Oh god, no! Oh god, no! We have a problem! The Lunamoth. Shit. One moment. Oh. You great bastard. See this right here? Oh. No! I forgot to put a space in him, dude. Only for the Lunamoth. Saved. Okay. Those are fixed. We don't have any problems there. 2023, 2024. Holiday Mage Armor. Holiday Mage Armor. Oh, god damn it. They do the Custardian, too. Oh, my God. That's why it's like this, too. That's been broken forever. And I never noticed. It was wrong for the, the turkey, as well. Yep. This has been a bug with... It looks like the mage sets? or no, the thaumaturge sets. The whole time. Is this like this again? Oh my god! <laughs> Why? How long has this been broken? I've just been copy-pasting this goddamn set. Oh my god. 2023 Christmas. I've just been copy-pasting the set, chat. And this, this bug has been here forever. Oh god. Well, it's fixed now. We don't have to think about it anymore. Well, the classes have pets. I want to add non-combat pets to the game. They're not in the game right now. There's mounts, though. Um, that's actually something I should probably add to the game to searchability is mounts. So, like, mounts are pretty goddamn cool. The way that they work is they actually summon a unit. So, if we do, like, this... Can I not cast it here? Game? Oh, okay, it was just lagging. But yeah, they actually summon like a horse, a unit, and it has particle effects and all kinds of shit. And it ends up being fun to do. And they have like names and things. So like, yeah, there's ones for like Halloween, there's ones for Christmas and stuff, and I want to keep adding more of these. It's so like this mount is named Mount Famine, which is weird that it just says Mount Famine up here. I should probably fix that. That ID should not be that. <laughs> I didn't realize that would be in there. We'll fix that later. But yeah, that's sort of the idea, is that, like, you can summon these mounts, they're on a 60-second cooldown, and, like, that's how you get mounts in the game. All these players are happy about it. I don't have one. It's probably because you didn't go and get it during the holiday events. They're holiday event things right now. Is your Minecraft server monetized? No. Zero monetization. Not even for, like, donations or anything like that. There's no roles or titles or any of that shit. I refuse to do that. I want to do a rat mount. God, I love rat mounts. Rat mounts are the best! You have no idea how excited I am about rat mounts. Is the demo monetized? No. How are you going to earn money? I am right now. Crimp T with 500 bits said, Ahoy, Duda. Just wanted to thank you for your use of MS Paint. 
As someone with a Fantasia, I can still imagine and keep track of stuff, but having a physical representation on screen helps a ton when you're explaining certain things, even yes. if it's just squares and lines half the time. Always. Keep up yeah. the work, happy birthday, and also, Daylight Savings is a scam. 7. <laughs> I hate Daylight Savings. Thank you very much. Yeah, no, the Black Game server is super cheap to, to operate. So it's $160 every three months. That is totally doable. Every three months, so we've got like, we do calculation out for this. It's 160 divided by three. That's $53 a month. That may feel like a lot, but to be honest with you, I think the community gets dramatically more benefit out of it than that cost. Like dramatically more benefit than that cost. That's super fine to me. Not an issue at all. <clears throat> How does one help support that more directly? Just watch the stream. Like, to be real with you, if you want to support the things that I'm doing, just be here. That's it. You don't even have to throw bits or subs or anything. You don't have to. Like, just hang out. And it's super fun. You want to support the ferrets? Go watch the ferret stream. Yeah. Byzantine Valkyrie with 500 bits said, Yar cheer 500 greetings, gentlemen Thor. Greetings. No game suggestion today. Just wanted to say that you're a profound force of good. I'm in between jobs at the moment, barely handling things mentally. But listening You'll to you there. makes things seem that little bit better. So thanks, for being here and being awesome. I think I speak for a lot of people when I say that you help a lot more than you know. Well thank you. And yeah, seriously, that's really nice of you, so thank you very very much. Seriously. Yeah. Imrimitator with 500 bits said Pirates Pirate Pirate Software's Pirated Pirate Software. Who made you this way? Uh, okay, so. Development. Block game. Workspace. Chests and entities. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try something stupid. Are you ready for the stupid, Chet? Because I'm ready for the stupid. We're going to try and, try and change all chickens of the game into chimkins. We're going to change them into chimkins. I don't know if this will work. But I hope it does. We're going to find out. Why though? Because I need to define their drops. And I need to change them into chimkins as a result of this. I think there's probably a better way to do this though. Because we have vanilla mobs for all this stuff. And I think all I need to do is change the chickens into chimkins. So I'm going to try doing it here first. A, B, C. And put it in here. We're just going to take a chicken. Taking a chicken. Put it in, in here. Uh, we won't have a display on him. We don't need that. Type is going to be a chicken. Health is going to be 10. Damage is going to be 1. Movement speed, 1. Won't have a skill. We'll have a global dismount on damage. That's fine. Its drops are going to be basic. So, right now we have a bunch of special drops in this. So we need to make specialized drop rates for these. We're going to get rid of this. We don't need that anymore. We're going to add this, I think, as a category. We did categories. Those are done. We're going to go into here, and we will open up... Where is it? It's not core. It's mobs. That's what it is. In mobs, drop tables, and we're going to do global drops. So global drops is I'm adding a new system up here. Leather scraps, I think is what it's called. We've got a couple of things we need, we need to fix here. Just a few. Not a lot, but a few. Yeah, Jake. <laughs> Jake, if we catch someone doing that, 100% permaband. From everything, not just the game. 
<laughs> do we do we know who's doing that? Do you actually know who's doing it? God, that's fantastic. Can't wait for that shit. That's like the deepest level of permaban I've ever seen in my life. There's very few things that get you banned harder than that. All right. Look, I don't know what this is. I don't know what happens inside of the brain of a Minecrafter, right? But I found that more than any other any other community in the history of the world, Minecrafters cannot handle themselves when it comes to exploiting anything. Like, they will seek out and find the worst possible exploits and then exploit them on live servers and then be shocked when they get banned. It is the strangest shit I've ever seen in my life. Like, it, it makes no sense whatsoever. And the Minecraft community is incessantly toxic about this. Like, crazy, crazy toxic about it. If you find a vulnerability, if you find an exploit, turn it in. Turn it in. We're just going to ban you otherwise. And then we're going to fix it afterwards, which is the best. It, it makes no sense. I don't know why the Minecraft community is like this, but it's only Minecraft people. It's weird, dude. Also, I've never seen a portion of our community so interested in misinformation and thinking that the sky is falling at all times. So, like, anytime there's, like, you know, someone will bring up a thing, they're like, oh, Thor's going to remove this from the video game. And everyone's like, oh, shit, Thor's removing this thing from the game. And I never said that. Like, it never actually, it's not even planned. It's not even happening. But suddenly, there's, like, 50 people freaking out about it and throwing tickets in for something that's not even occurring. It makes no sense, dude. Like, I don't know what the hell's going on in Minecraft that this is, like, the standard. I have no idea. I don't understand it. Minecraft, you make no sense to me. Kurosaki with the $50 for the moderators. Thank you very much. Thank you very, very much. Yeah, I'm, remo I'm removing the block from block game, dude. Yeah, it's true. It's just gonna be game. It's just gonna be game. It's super weird, man. Thank you, Kurosaki. Nivison Zero with 500 bits said, Hey Thor, my job has to do with mainframes and was thinking of streaming me learning and practicing COBOL, JCL, mm. Jess, and other stuff related to them. Do you think people would be interested in watching this? Yeah, I do. 100% I think people would be interested in watching that. Yeah, please, please do that and stream it here. Stream it in this category because it's freaking rad, dude. There's no reason to like worry about if people would be interested in watching something if you're interested in doing something there are people out there that are interested in watching you do that thing and i know that may seem weird but that's 100 percent the case like 100 percent. there's no reason to 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 doubt that you know so do it 100 percent do it leather global leather is what i think it's gonna be global leather scraps there we go Leather scraps. Thor is doing it by streaming. That's true. That is true. This has to be global. Leather scraps. There we go. Save that out. Save this out. Uh, prevent random equipment. We don't need that. No damage takes five. That's cool. Immunity table. Cool. Um, trying to think of what else. Vanilla drops are already turned off on this. So I'm going to see if we can replace all the chickens in the video game. I don't know if this is going to work. What's going on with the server? Ooh. It's deeply upset. Why is it deeply upset? Wow. I've never seen it that upset. What angry... Why mad? Game? Why mad? Why mad? Interesting. Let's find out what happened right here. What angry. Huh. 
<laughs> Why is it always entities? Chunk provider's pissed. Wait, did Merkheim just reset? No, it didn't. A <sighs> little bit weird. Markheim didn't reset, and yet we're having this problem. Very strange. Very strange. Weird. Yeah, I don't know why it's dying. I don't know why it's having problems. I'm gonna keep an eye on this. It looks like we're having a shitload of entity ticks, though. But I need to know what kind. What is it specifically that's doing this? Inventory container broadcast change. That's weird. Why is there an inventory container broadcast changes going on? To that extent. Is that what happens when you have a billion chests on a server? Because I feel like it is. Um, I'm doing good. How are you? Spikes every time you made an edit? Yeah, but that's fine. Maybe item frames? Could be. Let's go look at world. No, only 152 item frames. That's not it. Yeah, that's not it at all. The chunks isn't even that high. It's only 1889. When we'll see the cockroaches again? They're sitting right there. I need to fix up their environment again. They've got a fungus problem. Yeah. You're the front page of Twitch? What up, front page? How's it going? I'm waiting in Bezos. Why do you have those? I've Madagascar hissing cockroaches. They eat my, uh... They eat my food garbage. Yeah. I don't waste anything in this house. Yeah. No, they're fine. They, they carry natural funguses. Burger the Twitch page. Hmm. 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 Hey, front page of Twitch. Front page of Twitch, I have something to show you. Um, this is... This is for you. There it is. That's... This is... This is yours. I want to give this to you, front page of Twitch. This is... I made this for you. This is for you now. That's right. Yeah, now you have to burger someone else to be unburgered. Yeah. It's very unfortunate. It's very unfortunate. Now that I've burgered all of you, I am no longer burgered, as you can see. But I am manually breathing. I just lost the game. Those are two things that have happened to me. Yeah, it's unfortunate, I know. Yeah. Yeah. Enjoy that. What is happening? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It's fine. It's fine. Everything is fine. All right. So I think I think I reloaded all the chickens. We mean infinite ice world. What are you guys talking about? The breathing thing always works on me. Oh, you mean the manually breathing? It's pretty good, right? So if a chicken is going to spawn, there's no chickens now. Did I just eradicate chickens from the universe? Did I, did I just kill all chickens? I don't see any chickens, chat. I think they're dead. You know, I'm kind of fine with it. I hate chickens. I wonder if... 
I could remove farm animals from the game. That'd make the server dramatically safer. We could just get rid of farm animals. The performance impact would be enormous. I could change the whole economy to do this. Then there wouldn't be things like this. Hmm. If I, if I ban all the players, we won't have any more bugs. It's a good idea. It's a good idea, Chet. Vecna, no. <laughs> Vecna, yes. Maybe a little bit of a follower of Vecna. You know, maybe just a little bit. There's a small amount. I don't actually think there's any chickens anymore. Um, let me go check this, the profiler and see. I'm a little concerned by this, actually. I may have I may have inadvertently deleted all chickens in the game. We have them, Thor. Let me see. Um, mm, mobs, kill, chicken. Okay, no, it totally worked. I just removed 80 mobs of type chicken. They're gone now. I just deleted all the chickens in the server. That's fine with me. I RMRF the chickens. That's true, actually. I needed feathers? Well, now you don't get any of them. Now I don't know what happens. Can chickens still spawn? I think they can. In fact, let me try something weird. What happens if we use eggs? What happens if I use eggs now? Does it spawn chickens? You have a chicken? Britannium, where's your chicken? Show it to me. Show me the chicken. Where is it? I need to see the chicken. I only need to look at it for a moment. You four? I need to find this so we can see if this worked, actually. There, kill it. Kill that chicken. Punch it to death. It'll have 10 HP. Punch it. I'm on you. Yes. Yes, kill the chicken. Keep, keep going. Punch it. Is that thing going to get away from you? Are you actually getting run around by a chicken? Use a weapon, dude. A weapon. You have weapons. I know you have weapons. You're wearing moth armor. What did it drop? What did that drop? A single leather scrap? Beautiful. It works, chat. It works. It works. All right. It works. Okay, this is fine. This is good. This is this is good. Chickens. All right. We're going to drop one leather scrap 50% of the time. What other animals do we have? What animals does this goddamn game have? We've got chicken. We've got cow, we've got sheep, we've got goat, we've got horse, we've got donkey, we've got pig. What else do we have in here? Rabbit. Hello from Norway. How's it going, dude? How are you doing? Chicken Squid Gem with 1000 bits said happy pointless future day Thor. Did you see the dude that turned your website into a legit pirate ship? I did. I saw it. It was actually fantastic. I actually commented on his YouTube video. It was freaking rad. Oh, there's a llama too. That's true. There's a squid. I hate the squid. I hate the squid. I hate them. They're the worst. They're the worst! Oh, a polar bear. Yeah, you know what? I have an idea. How about I just open this? Oh, look! All of these entities. So there's a lot of this. We've got chicken. We've got cod. We've got cow. We've got a dolphin. We've got the donkey. 
We've got a fox. Gast. What else? The goat? Actually, we don't even need the ghast. What's the ghast do? What does it drop? It drops something stupid. I can't remember what it is. Phantom membranes. Yeah, we don't need that. Whatever. Delete that out of there. Ghast gone. So you don't even fight those yet. Fox. Goat. Horse. The llama. A mooshroom. And then a mule. Pig. Polar bear. Pufferfish. Rabbit. Salmon. Sheep. They have the sheep. And finally, the tropical fish. Alright. These are all the things that we're replacing in the environment. Every one of them. Every single one of them. Glow squid? No, we're not replacing a squid or a glow squid. That would be annoying. So with these, we can actually set up individual drop rates for them, and we don't have to have them in the data pack anymore. Because the data pack sucked. God, it sucked. No, actually, no, we're not getting rid of animals. Oh my god. Goblins. This is not a list of the animals I'm having in the game. This is the list of the animals I'm replacing so that we can do custom drop rates on them. We don't need a squid in there. We don't need a squid. We don't need an axolotl. Unless you want me to incentivize the murder of axolotls. Which I can do, if that's what you would like. I can add that to the murder list. This is a murder list. That's what this is. It's a murder list. That's, that's... No, I'm not saying... No. I'm not making it so that you kill axolotls for fun. No. No. Vecna, yes. <laughs> so good. What's the matter with you people? Oh, goblins. Every damn one of you. Who made you this way? I swear to God. Low dad with 500 bits said, Yard cheer 500 Thor. How do I? I don't know how you. How, how do you what? Clockwork piece with 500 bits said, Saw an ad for Cobol Eye. Time to deliquify. That doesn't make any sense. What do you mean, Cobol AI, dude? Wait a minute. Here's here's a really big question. You know the fish that swim in the water? Like the cod? Can they get in a boat? Is that possible? Do f fish can get in boats? God damn it. How does it get in the boat? It's not working. I think you lied. Crouch click the boat? It doesn't work. I don't think I don't think you can do that. By the way, sometimes when I'm on the server and no one's paying attention, I go into super vanish mode and I sneak up behind people and I just... I just do this. Like, behind them. And sometimes I'll just do one of them, so they're like, what the hell is that? And then they freak out for a little while. Yeah, it doesn't work. I don't think this works. The only fish that can go in boats are silverfish? Chat lied to me. Goblins. It's fine. Stewie G2020 with 500 bits said the new bowling ball girlfriend says, Hi. It's an attention star from Rotogrip. Also made a lot of strides yesterday in improving form. We'll what? post pictures of new ball later today. What? What? Did you just say to me? Yeah, good lord indeed. Oh my god, dude. Okay, so this drop rate is going to be 1, 1, and it's going to be material cod? Or is it raw cod? It might be raw cod. Let me go look at my items. I don't remember if it's a material or if it's a fish. Is it material? Is material a thing? Cod. 
Raw card. Okay, it's a material. So now when it dies, it drops that instead. And now we're good. Now we're gonna place everything else. Let's go to the next one. Go to the next one. Cow. 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 Do you f I feel like a chicken should have 5 HP. A cod should have 5 HP and a cow should have 10 HP. Maybe 20 HP. Should give it 20 health. No bone meal? No. You get bone meal through other methods. Mushroom mushrooms that drop nausea mushrooms? No. Yeah, you need even 20 health. It's a cow. Have you ever tried to punch a cow to death? Let me tell you. It's not gonna be easy. Alright? It's not gonna be easy. Truffles travels with five Canadian dollars said I'm looking to get into iOS per percent game dev. Is there a tool that allows you to access code to see how a game is made in order to learn? Is there a tool to allow you to access code? What you're talking about is decompiling. A lot of the times that's going to be against the EULA for whatever, like, thing that you've downloaded. So, stay on the right side of the law with that, generally. Um, talk to a lawyer if you don't know what you're doing. 100%. But, yeah, technically possible, though may get you into trouble if you don't know what you're doing. Decompiling is a... Yeah. Yeah. It's rule breaking, got it. Yeah, but it, there may be legal problems for that, too. You have to understand that. You should talk to a lawyer if you're going to do something like that. Always. Always, always. Global... Actually, I think it should just be beef drops, shouldn't it? I don't think we need anything special there. I'm trying to think. No. We should make it so that you... I have, I have a vision in which you guys create a, a farm that auto-generates cows and then melts them. So I have to find a way to stop this from happening. I know you. I know you goblins. You will find a cow melter way. So I'm building a system that stops drops from happening under these conditions of fire, lava, suffocation, cramming, or contact. Now you can't do it anymore. Also, I've removed fall damage from all of them. They can't... The cows cannot take fall damage. So there's no dropping them to their death, either. I know all the bullshit you can do. I know. Spatstick78 with 500 bits said Yard Cheer 500 Y. Ah, you, so, awesome, oh, and happy birthday. Go Sevens. Who made you this way? You're so awesome. It's you. You're the reason. Troy Tech with 500 bits said I could hear the relief in Connor's voice when you agreed not to play mines. Fallout Magic Decks just released. I am also sending Barjo a copy of the book too. Have you checked out El Estepario Siberiano the Groove Father yet? I have been no. called a web sherpa because of how good my recommendations are for vids on the internet. Thank you for not just what you have already done to make stream good for the gobos, but the even cooler things you will do. Who should I hit up when my code is done? Dude, I don't know. That sounds awesome. Fallout Magic Decks just got released? I didn't even know about that. Sitting Bajo copy of the book too. Are you talking about the... The tasting book? The one that we were talking about before? The, um... The cooking book that I got? Or a different book? Or the book that you are writing? There's so many questions here. I have not checked out that. The Groove Father. Know nothing about that. Yeah, I don't know. Now I want to know. I want to know what book. Is it the book that you're writing? I have to know. Minecraft D&D? &D? This basically is that. You you want to go do a dungeon? Go get a party together. Yeah. You sent it to my P.O. box. Oh! Okay. Uh, yeah, the P.O. box, it was actually checked today, but there was an object too large in it, and I couldn't get it, so I have to go back on Monday and go and get it. Yeah. Oh, by the way, um, just to let you guys know, stream is going to end at 8 a.m. on Monday. I know that's awful. It's only an eight-hour stream. However, it's because I have to go sign for the house, which means when that is finished, I will own the house. So that's fine. Yeah. I know. Short stream. I know. Short stream sucks. Eight-hour stream sucks. It's supposed to be 12 hours every day, but that'll be a thing. That large box was me, apologies. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, no, I just have to get it. I have to get it. 
They, they put a little slip in the P.O. Box, and they're like, this is too big for the P.O. Box. Come back. I'm gonna get that house, dude. I'm gonna get that house. <sighs> How are you gonna transport all the noodles in the car? It's only 20 minutes away. The house is like 20, 30 minutes away. That's the spy thing? <laughs> no, the spy kids thing also, that came through. I already have that. Ridiculous, dude. Um, we have to do a bunch of different drops for this, don't we? Beef drops. Chicken drops. Oh, I have to do a different drop for each type of animal, don't I? No, because we can do leather drops outside of that. That'll be fine. Chicken drops. We're going to do animals up here. We're going to make a new category for this. Holiday. So we got a holiday stuff in here. This is like a big change, too. It's just going to be kind of a, a mess, frankly. Animals. And then currency. And we'll put currency at the top because that's really important for that. Whoop. And we're just going to make a different classification of drops for each one of these so we can make our lives easy. So do leather, beef, chicken. Let me think of what the next one is. Because there's a lot of different raw items. Let me go look inside of our items. We'll do material. It's raw! Raw cod, raw mutton. What does what mutton drop off of? Is it sheep? I think I need to make that... I, need, I think we need goat meat. We need goat meat, don't we? Yeah, we need goat meat. Yeah, we need goat meat. Yeah, we need goat meat. 100%. What does a dolphin drop? I think I incentivized dolphins at one point. Murin? Mutton. Oh, actually, I don't want to mark these off just yet. I'm going to make them all first. Mutton. You want dolphins to drop dolls? That's really cursed, actually. It's like deeply, horrifyingly cursed. I know you're saying dolphin, but it's horrifying. The idea of it is horrifying. Dude, you just got him, people? Is that what you do as a mod now? You just got him every day, Felix? It's a pretty good got him. It's pretty good. Eon 1977 with 500 bits said Great Goblin King. If my mommy is a goblin and my daddy is a gnome, what am I? A noblin or a gabome? Something I won't look at, because you're a gnome. I won't even look at you. That's right. I won't do it. I won't even look at you, dude. You're a gnome. I can't look at you. It's not gonna happen. You could be upset. I know it's not your fault, but I have my standards. I refuse to look at a gnome. I refuse. I refuse, Chet. I refuse. Hey, do you guys think I should make it so that chickens always drop a raw chicken? Or should we go full MMO and be like, chickens don't always drop raw chickens. Sometimes you destroyed it when you killed it. None of these boars always have organs. This boar has no livers. This boar has five livers. <laughs> it's always one of the worst things. 1% drop chance. It's one of the worst things on the planet. It's like, why does this boar have no livers? 
Why are there no livers in this boar? Why does this boar have seven livers? What is happening? Why? Why? What do you mean 40% pristine chance? I'd have to make a whole new item. I'm not doing that. Full MMO, it's so dumb and I love it. Dude, it's exactly what that is. It's always like, dude, why is it not dropping the full chicken? Like, what the hell's happening here? I'm going to make it drop a chicken every time. I don't even care. Because otherwise, you know what's going to happen? People are going to pile up a million chickens and then they're going to try and kill them all at once. Jevra hooves? Dude, 100%. Why is there a four-hoofed animal that sometimes drops one? Why? Why is that happening? Ridiculous. Ridiculous, dude. Insane. Insane quest. The hooves quest. Yeah, dude. We all know about the Shever hooves. Ridiculous. Zardith with 2000 bits said good morning, Thor. I must show you the only game that has been able to pull me away from Helldivers 2. It's from a solo dev with a really cool style. It's called 64 on Steam. You say something pulled you away from Helldivers 2? That sounds like traitor speak, my dude. Just a little bit. Just the small amount of traitor happening there. A little bit of a little bit of heresy, probably as well, I would think. Let's go see what this game is about. 64, huh? 64. Dive into the world of 64 where you transform simple machines into a thriving factory. Ooh, it's minimalist factorio, huh? Ooh. Ooh. All right, I like that. I like how weird this is. I love the runes. That's really neat, actually. I like that a lot. You know what this kind of reminds me of? There's a big drawover. Oh, that's neat. There's a big drawover for me where this feels like a little bit more esoteric version of Norp Apolog. So if we go to Norp, like type in Norp. Norp. The Norp Apolog. There you go. This is very similar to that in terms of like kind of general style. Not the same but similar to me in terms of the general style of that, where it's sort of a void space with simplistic things and you're you're working on efficiency. Yeah, I like this a lot. And I like this a lot. So like, both of these things, both of these things are good. I think this is quite cool, actually. Yeah. Dude, what? <laughs> what did you just get timed out for? What the hell is this? Dude, this guy in here is typing like a chat GPT. What the hell is that? What is that? Is that a copy pasta? What even is that? It's got to be a copy pasta. It's your first message, last message. Wild. It's not even like bad. It's just weird. It's from a video. <laughs> okay. I was like, dude, what is that? Oh, it's super weird. Makes me laugh. All right. Next. Wasabi Kido with 500 bits said, Hey Thor, do you have any basic advice for VR game dev? I adore the platform and am building my first ever game, but I know it can be an IPACAC simulator sometimes, so I wanted to know your thoughts. Yeah, so the biggest problem that I have with those types of games, I get motion sick. I can't play VR. I've, I've never been able to play through VR, like at all. So it's ended up being like a huge problem for me, where I just can't do it. I feel like, I wish that was something I could do, to be real with you, but I, yeah, I know it can be like an Epic Act sim simulator sometimes, but I, I don't know how to develop anything in that because I, I have to stay away from the, the model, right? I can't play those games. They make me throw up, which sucks. Super sucks. Message eated. No, don't eat the messages, chat. I know you're pandas. I know you came from Baru. Don't eat the message. Don't do that. Don't do it. Yeah, I can't make a VR game. I can't. I think there's there's actually one VR game that I know of that I can play, which is Keep Talking and Nobody Explodes. And the reason why is because in VR on this, it's just an object that you can control and the rest of the room is fine. If you've never played this game, one person wears the headset to see the game, like to see the, the thing or, or has the screen or whatever it's going to be. And that person's the bomb diffuser. Everybody else has the documentation on how to diffuse the bomb. It's a super fun game. It's a, it's a very fun thing. So you have to describe the bomb to them, and they have to describe the solution to you, but neither of you can see the other side. 
which is just fun. It's a fun party game. I enjoy the hell out of it. Yeah, it's really, really good. And it's sitting at, let's see, 97% positive since 2015. Game is fun as shit. And like this, this was a good adaptation to VR for me because it allowed me to play that with friends and it kept the screen hidden so they couldn't see it. How's it different for playthrough? The the nodes on the bomb are totally different and the, the setups are different. So you're like, I see a grid that looks like this and you have to describe the grid. And um, then your teammates have to be like, oh, here's where, here's how you diffuse that portion. And like, there's no way you can figure it out. You're like, I see a radio. It's set to 3.505 megahertz. It's got a TX on it. What do I do? And they have to figure it out. I see a Simon Says. What is the Simon Says? Like, this is the Simon Says thing. And it, it won't even be like, you have to do Simon Says. It'll be like, here's all the buttons that just pressed. What's the next one? And they have to know what it is. They have to figure it out from the documentation. Because documentation has all the solutions. See, like this? It's brilliant. Really brilliant. Smart game. Yeah, the bomb is a puzzle box. Yeah. We got ads, by the way. We're going to wait. Keep getting ads for a fictional restaurant? <laughs> Wait, what? That's really weird. What do you mean a fictional restaurant? What? <laughs> That's so strange. Let me go into this and see if we can get a dolphin from this. Uh, what is the item here? Odd. <sighs> We should make it drop cod randomly. That's fine. Global fish drops. Choose one of these at random. Two, three. Raw cod. Code. Well, I need to look at materials. We've got raw beef, chicken, cod, raw cod. There we go. Raw cod, raw salmon, raw tropical fish. Raw salmon. 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 Raw tropical fish. Okay. So that's good. That'll be set up for the fish drops there. And we'll do dolphins, I guess. We're doing it. We're making the thing. Dolphin. We're making it so that dolphins drop stuff. You're welcome, Chet. You're welcome. They always drop a fish of some kind. I feel like they should drop leather scraps, though. Yeah, I feel like you should be able to use dolphin leather. What do you guys think? What kind of monster is killing dolphins? Well... All of chat, frankly. What do you mean, Jesus? Jesus is using dolphin leather? Alright. Well. I guess we'll put that on his list of miracles, I guess. <laughs> I don't know why you've chosen this, but here we are. Jesus leather? Hmm. 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 I guess we can add that, you know? Here, I've got something for you. Let me grab this real fast. It'd be really cool if, like, Google worked. It'd be awesome.
I have something you'll never be able to unsee. If you're religious in any respect, you've seen these. Likely. At least Christianity. You've seen you've seen the communion wafer. They're Jesus. It's supposed to be the body of Christ. They're Jesus. That's what they are. And there's no escape from that knowledge, no. You have that. That's permanent. Yeah. You can say no, but you know I'm right. You know I'm right. They also don't taste like anything, and they're very sad. <laughs> oh, that's the best. I'm not Christian, so well, you've learned something about Christianity now. Also, fruit wafers? Are they, though? I don't think they are, because they're not corn, are they? They're supposed to be like rice or something. I actually don't know what they're made out of. They do taste like styrofoam. They're like the saddest wafer on the planet. You know, I may just have to go back to church. There's always going to be like some kid sitting there just eating all the communion wafers. <laughs> it's it's got to be one, dude. Okay, so dolphins are finished. We'll go on the donkey. Where's the donkey? Donkey. Um... Donkey. I think we just put it here. I feel like a donkey should actually drop beef. I feel like it should drop beef. You know what I mean? Shouldn't it drop beef? What if I changed beef to meat? What if we changed it to mystery meat? It's made out of meat. It's made out of meat. I'm not calling it ass meat. It is a donkey, technically correct. Concerning protein? I like concerning protein. I like that. I feel like so here's the problem, right? We've got we've got donkeys, we've got cows, we've got mushrooms, we've got llamas, we've got horses, we've got goats. I don't want to make a meat for each one of them. I think that's a little bit weird. So if I just make like a mystery meat, you know, like a it's probably meat. Possibly protein, right? Most likely meat. We just call it most likely meat. <laughs> Let's call it most likely meat, right? Just make them hot dogs? I should make hot dogs in the game. Oh. I should make an item in the game called Glorious Glizzy. And you eat it, and it does nothing. It just makes you feel bad. It gives you sickness. Most likely meat, dude. No, if it's going to be edible meat, it's got to have edible in quotations, like edible meat. I just want to add more meat to the game. We need more meat in the game. Meat. It's made out of meat. Can't believe it's not donkey. Hmm. What if it is donkey, though? Meat. Yeah, just meat. With quotes. That's how you do it. Suspicious sustenance? Maybe that'll work. Bargain beef. Oh, bargain beef. I can't believe it's not chicken. It is chicken, though. Hmm. I'd have to change the name of beef, which would be the problem. Because we have raw beef, and I'd have to remove raw beef. I'd have to remove that. We'd have to call it something else. Animal-based meat? What does that even mean? All meat is animal-based. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> plant-based meat isn't a real thing. It's just plants. Tofu is not plant-based meat. It's meat substitute. It's different.
It's not the same. It's fine if you like it, but it's not the same thing. What about clone clone meat? It's still it's still animal. Look, just because you cloned that shit in the laboratory and it's growing its own cells does not mean that those cells are not still the animal that they came from. You've cloned it. It's still technically the same creature. It's the same. It's the same. You just respect it less, and that's the only difference. That's the only difference. You just respect it less. Ridiculous. Meet and greet? Call it Arby's? Oh. Dude, I haven't had Arby's in forever. I used to love Arby's when I was a kid. Back when they had the five for five dollars thing. They don't do that shit anymore. Now it's like one for five dollars. But they used to have this thing called five for five, where they'd give you five roast beef sandwiches for five dollars, and they'd do three beef and cheddars for five dollars, and it was freaking awesome, dude. It was awesome. Now, it's super expensive and shitty. Like, it's really bad. It's not good at all anymore. It's very sad. Yeah. Five for five was great hangover food. Five for five was amazing. That was amazing, dude. They're curly. Okay, so here's what you do. And I don't eat fast food anymore, but I have the strat, right? So here's what you do. You go anywhere else to get the rest of your food, whatever it is. Doesn't even matter. You go anywhere else. Does not matter. You go to Dairy Queen so you can get that shake, right? And then you go to Arby's for those fries. And you combine them into a super meal. Whatever it is. Arby's for the fries. Dairy Queen for the shake. Anywhere else the food. Doesn't even matter. Because you don't go to either of these places for food. Let's be honest with ourselves. No. No. It's not good. It's not good. Food anywhere else. Yeah. It's it's so good. Man can't make his own milkshake. I can, but you don't want to. If you're going to fast food, you don't want to do that. Anonymous, thank you for the dollar to the moderator. It's very nice of you. Thank you very, very much. Jack in the Box curly fries are good. Jack in the Box used to be good. Now they're weird. I haven't had them in like five years. Have they gotten better? I, I generally find that no f fast food place is getting better. They seem to just keep getting worse. Oh, look at that dumpy emote. That's going to get deleted. There's nothing we can do about it. You've revealed a dumpy in chat, and it's going to get... Twitch will delete that. Yeah... Anytime you have an animated ass in an emote, Twitch permabans it from the platform. They can't handle it. Yep. I, I'm not even joking. They deleted ours, too. Yeah. It's kind of how it is, man. It's weird. A&W Burgers and Root Beer? Okay. A&W Root Beer's good, but let me, let me explain something to you. Mug. Mug is better. Look at you. You guys are all posting. But look at the call of the void for all these emotes. They're all going to get deleted. If it's animated and a butt, they get it's against TOS. Twitch actually deletes them. They deleted ours. They wouldn't give it back. Yeah. Mug root beer is better than A&W. Yeah. It's okay if you want to be wrong. It's fine. Mug root beer is the, is the king of root beers. Actually, you know what's better? Bundaberg. Bundaberg is better. But Bundaberg is like fancy. That's how I feel about that. Bundaberg is, is fancy. It's how, yeah. But mug is better. If you're if you if you're doing like trash tier root beers, we're talking like the barks, we're talking like A and W, mug is the king of the trash tier root beers. And then you got Bundaberg. Bundaberg is something else. Bundaberg is amazing. Yeah. Bundaberg's the only true option in Australia. It's my only true option too. Yeah. Barks is top tier. I'm so sorry for you. One day you'll evolve. Not today though. Yeah. Not today. You'll get there, I believe. <laughs> IB seat now, dude. Uh, Bundaberg is good. It's really good. Bundaberg is the king. Mug is, mug is like the understudy, right? AW burgers are actually really good. They're not, and let me explain why. I'm going to show you a place. Um. I used to live in California, and California has a fast food place that is unique to it. Let me show you this. This is going to make you upset. Let me see if I can find you this shit. Everybody here has seen a product image in their life. And the, far the product images are always a lie. They're always bullshit. Every time. Except for this time. See this? This is a product image from Farmer Boys, a fast food place. And you think, oh, that's bullshit. There's no way that it looks like that. 
Except it looks exactly like that. They're exactly the same. Farmer Boys is actually god tier. It is so goddamn good. It is absurdly good. It makes no goddamn sense. So if you are, have ever gone to any other fast food place, and you're like, oh, D Wendy's is the best burger. Burger King is the best. No, they're all shit. Every one of them is shit. Every one of them wishes that they could be Farmer Boys. All of them. All of them. Their product images don't even compare to the reality at all. In any of the other ones, Farmer Boys does. It's freaking amazing. Five Guys ain't got shit on Farmer Boys. No, not sponsored. Not even at all. Not even a little bit. Rich Take, that shit used to be $6. I don't know how much it costs now, because they live in Washington now. But when I lived in California, that was a $6 burger, dude. That was it. Through a fast food. Shit was amazing. It was amazing. It's 100% accurate. It's super good. It's really good. How much is it now? Do they increase their prices a lot? Farmer, <laughs> Farmer Boys isn't fast food, it's fast casual. That burger is $30 in Seattle? No, it ain't. There's no way they made this $15. Are you kidding me? It was like five years ago, it was six bucks. And there was a fast food burger for like $6. It was like $6.15, and I know that because when I lived in California, I used to go and get that, and I was like super penny pinching on shit. And I was like, this is the best food you can get. Yeah, it's fast competitive, not fast casual. Agreed. There's no way it's $30. How much does this cost? Who who in California lives there? Who lives in California? Reveal yourself. How much does it cost for the burger alone? I only got the burger. I don't get the meal. Never get meals a scam, dude. They're charging what, like eight more dollars for fries? Be honest. How much is that for the burger alone? Is it ten dollars now? So it only increased by like four bucks. Big Mac. Washington State. How much is a Big Mac in Washington State? That is not true. Let's go to... How much is a Big Mac here? In-N-Out is garbage. In-N-Out is... If you don't live in California, you think In-N-Out is God tier. If you live in California and you have no taste, you think In-N-Out is God tier. I grew up in California. Most of my life is spent in California. In-N-Out is trash, dude. The only thing that it is is consistent. Consistently mid. It's consistently mid. And you could be upset about that, but I'm right. It is consistently mid burgers. That is what In N Out is. There's there's only one thing that In N Out is good for, and it's making fun of things. And I'll explain why. My grandparents on my on my uh, stepdad's side, they had never heard of In N Out Burger before in their lives. And In N Out has an entire hidden menu that you could do. And the hidden menu is like animal style, where they double all the toppings on it and they put like um Go, what is it? They put like Thousand Island dressing and all this kind of shit on it, right? And it's called Animal Style. So one time my mom was talking to my stepdad and she said, Hey, you want to go do In N Out Animal Style? And he's like, Hell yeah. And then my grandparents on my stepdad's side were there and they didn't know what In N Out was. It was a very funny conversation. <laughs> That's the only thing that In N Out Burger is good for is that joke right there. Nothing else. It's bad. It's it it's super boring burgers. Like go to Farmer Boys. Go to it's better food. It is better food. Poutine is better than burgers. I like poutine. Poutine is good. And when I went to Canada, they actually had poutine at McDonald's, which was wild to me. It was super wild to me. Yeah. Where's Farmer Boys though? California. Let me see Farmer Boys locations. I want them to come up here. If they came up here, I would I would break my not eating fast food rule. Oh, wait, wait. Why did you have to stop there? Look at this. I'm so sad about this. I'm so, I'm so sad about this, chat. This is, that's the only place that they are. Look at that. They got some in Arizona and Las Vegas, but it's only California. They stop. They stop at Oregon. And I'm up here in Washington. Oh. Oh, road trip that's an 18 hour drive did you know that <laughs> I have a few near me eat it eat it go and get their bacon burger and report back to me I'm telling you right now that shit is amazing and I miss it like you wouldn't believe they've also got a Cobb salad let me go grab this farmer boys Cobb salad and no I'm not sponsored by them I just love that food and I miss the shit out of it dude let me find this thing Let me find this thing. 
This is their Cobb salad. And no, this is, again, it is a product image, but it looks exactly like this. They take a whole goddamn avocado, a whole egg, a whole tomato, a big old pile of bacon. Like, it's you, two people could eat the damn thing. And it's one salad. It's absurd. They put so much food in there. It's absurd. It reminds me of, like, Claim Jumper back before it sucked. Oh, look, I actually found a picture of this. It's kind of blurry and shitty, but... Yeah, it's literally this. It's a whole egg, a massive avocado. It's like a full avocado, or a half an avocado, somewhere in there. Chill little lettuce. The whole bottom of this is lettuce, like that deep. A whole tomato. Ton of cheese, ton of chicken. It's amazing, dude. It's a Cobb salad. It's good. Where do I get the salad? Farmer boys, dude. Farmer boys. Too much lettuce? It's a salad. What do you think's gonna be in it? What? What? It's called a Cobb salad. Yeah, no, it's really good. Why are they only in SoCal? I know! I know. Ah, <sighs> miss it, dude. I miss it. I miss it. Bacon is salad? No. <sighs> Bacon is not salad, you literal goblin. <laughs> Why not make it yourself? It's not about making it myself or not. I can make it myself. It was about the fact that a fast food place can produce something that isn't shit. Which is so rare. I'm gonna get some at DEF CON for sure. Is meat a salad? Probably. Meat salad, dude. Raw beef, raw chicken, raw cod. Okay, so we've got the donkey done. These are all finished. Let's go do the fox. How do we do the fox? C E F F. All right, fox. I feel like the fox should have 10 HP. Moon speed is one. Get rid of the fall damage. Leather scrap should probably be two on a fox. Although I think they need to drop a glowberry, don't they? Yeah, I think they need to drop a glowberry. What was the context of that song? That song was called Squeaky Symphony. It was made by Stein von Waker, an art musician. Because I didn't add the squeaking footsteps into the game, so it became a song instead. It was quite funny. No, I'm thinking about like, because we're not going to have it drop meat. I'm thinking about making it drop glowberries because they, they pick up berries all the time. And that might be fun. Yeah, I think we're going to add fox drops. Let me see the E, F, mutton drops. Let me see. Fox drops. There we go. And then we got to go grab this. And we're going to say fox, and we'll do global fox drops. I'm going to say 1 at 0 0.5. Also, this needs to be leather drops instead of leather scraps. I'm going to have to go change that on all of these now. F! How's it going? Rating party of 5, dirty A. What is up, dude? Hope you're having a good day. What does your shirt say? It says death by pizza. And it's got a skeleton holding a pizza. Death by pizza. What kind of pizza? I don't even know. This would even matter, dude. Pizza's the best. I want to make a pizza today. I think that's what I'm going to do after the stream. I'm going to make a pizza today. I'm going to be like the fattest human being alive and make a pizza. I'm excited for that. Is the pizza boneless? I only have my pizza boneless. Are you kidding me? NR Medic Gamer with 500 bits said hello Thor. I am hello. currently taking online classes for a bachelor's in cybersecurity with a focus in digital forensics. 
Cool. The courses seem to only teach to comp tier certifications. I feel like I am not learning anything of substance. Do you know of any resources that could help? And should I switch to traditional college courses? I think you asked this yesterday. I'm pretty sure this was a yesterday question. I answered it then too. But um, so if you're getting a bachelor's in cybersecurity with a focus on digital forensics, the courses seem to teach comp tier certifications. I feel like you're learning nothing of substance. I think the best resources you can have because you're trying to get your certifications at that point is just doing mock tests for the certifications. And if you want to do offensive security stuff, go into our Discord, discord.gg slash pirate software. Go and join into the role of hacking, which is going to be all the way up at the top of the Discord. And then look in the hacking section. There's a whole section on resources there for you. So like, go grab this, channels and roles, choose hacking, go to the hacking section, which will be down at the bottom. Video, voice acting, programming, hacking resources, and then click these. And you have full access to that. And learn some stuff, you know? Always supplement your training in classes and things like that with self-learning. Always. And it's a great way to do it. NeoVim win. I'm going to let... So here's the problem. I would use NeoVim, but Primogen's using NeoVim and his hair turned blue. So I don't know if that's a side effect yet or not, but I have a concern that it is. So I'm going to stay away from it for now. I'll wait and see. I'll wait and see. We'll see what happens. Time out with $20 said if AI dies when you turn the servers off, does that mean that when you restart the server you are casting a resurrection spell? Yes, technically. You are a necromancer then. You're a necromancer. When you bring the servers back online, you're a necromancer. Why do you think all sysadmins are so dour? That's the reason. They're actually necromancers. True. Elite 4 Fay with 20 Australian dollars said I've at the lowest I've ever been in life, but I look forward to the mornings where I always know there will be shorts from you. You keep me going and put a smile on my face. Love from very Australia nice smiling face with hearts. It's very nice of you. You're awesome, dude. I thought I had a berry in this. Where's my glowberry? Ah, there we go. Raw glow berries. There we go. Because it's a bunch of them. It's raw! It's raw, chat. You see, Max turns your hair gray. I kind of want my hair to go gray. I want to look like a wizard, dude. Like, I really, really want to look like a wizard, so... I'm okay with this. Frankly. Yeah. Eventually, I will accomplish this goal. Not today, but eventually. And I, I await that outcome. One day, dude. One day. <clears throat> Hogan MMO with 1000 bits said I'm a JS web developer with around 8 ninths of a year professional experience. Nice. What's my best route to making games while leveraging my current skill set? So let's see, web developer, I want you to go and look at Kingdom of Loathing. Kingdom of Loathing is brilliant, and it is a web-based game. Absolutely incredible. You want to be a game developer? You want to be, and you're already a web developer? It's a great way to go. Great thing to look at, honestly. Like, it's, it's amazing what they've accomplished with that. There's also Universal Paperclips, A Dark Room, uh, Hell Adventure Quest used to be done in Flash. That was actually kind of cool. What's the name? Kingdom of Loathing. Kingdom of Loathing is awesome, dude. Fantastic game. Very fun. How old am I? 36. Yeah, Kingdom of Loathing is really good shit. Fall in London? Yeah. That works too. So, like, there's a lot of web-based video games that you may find are quite good and people really love. Don't you- Oh, I'm sorry, me. Don't you do it! Actual goblins, every one of you. I'm gonna pee... There we go. We're gonna do... Goat. Time for the goat. We need to make it drop a goat horn, don't we? Ugh. We need to drop leather drops. Did we put a thing in there for goats? Is there a thing for goats? 
goat. Did I put a thing in there? How do people make goat horns? How are people making those? You have to get a goat to charge you and dodge it? Is that how it happens? That's so weird, dude. We got ads. Minecraft. Not even once, dude. Hi, Beastos. What's up? I'm gonna start burning the queue, because we're gonna democracy Red Mustang 143 with $20 said, Hello Thor, I wish to go make games, however I know absolutely nothing, although I still wish to tinker and mess around. How does one get started? What's an engine and does it matter what you pick? So go to develop.games. Develop.games is our website specifically for that. And if you go there and go to the section on choosing a genre, that's gonna get you started in the right direction. But the general idea is that you create a game design document first. Then you choose an engine based on what kind of game you've detailed in that game design document. Then you choose a language based on which engine you've chosen. And that's it. It's, it's a very easy process. It just takes a little bit of, you know, elbow work to figure out what you want to make and what kind of a thing you're building. I'm going to go 20 HP. There we go. I wonder if this is going to break it. I wonder if it will. I'm gonna see. It's super easy. It's not as it's not as difficult or esoteric as people think it is. So the EFG. Horse. Alright, this is good. Next one is going to be a llama. I don't think this will actually change any of the rest of their data either. So I think this is fine. Mushroom. So mushroom is special. Why, hello everyone, you're back. Dev1LB with 500 bits said I'm about to buy Heartbound Demo because I want to support what you're doing and the value you bring to the internet. The demo is free. The, de the demo is free. Why? It's free, you goblin. Honestly, please buy the game if you like the game. Um, please play the demo first, and if you like the demo, you'll likely like the game. And if you don't like the demo, then don't buy the game just because you like me. I think it's something that's really important to me. I want you to buy a game that you enjoy. And there, there are many, many people that are just buying it because they, they like me, and I don't think that's good. <laughs> I want you to enjoy the game, legitimately. Pig. We have to put a pig in the game now. Great Piggly Wiggly. No, not buy the game only if you- No, god damn it. Set the demo free. The demo is already free. You can't yard democracy the demo into being even more free than it is. Why you like this? Who made you this way? Lord underscore underscore Revan with 500 bits said as a consumer is it better to buy indie games off of Steam or other marketplaces? I started Heartbound last night and I found the Goose absolutely great game. You found the Goose! Proud of you. Found the Goose. Hell yeah. That's good. Um, to be honest with you, it's going to be different based on which developer. I, I'd say buy it off Steam for me. It makes the most sense. You get the best deal. You have returns if you don't like the game. You can leave reviews. All of that is just a better experience, frankly, especially for the consumer side. Yeah. 
That'd be weird. If you load the demo, you get money back. No, dude, there's no there's no money involved with the demo. I swear to God. You guys have you, you know you fooled people into thinking this is the case, right? You know that. There are people that have gone on Reddit and have actually talked about the fact that they're like, oh, I, I was going to buy that game, and then I found out that they monetized the demo. Because those people are too stupid to go and look at Steam and find out if you're lying to them or not. You've actually fooled them into thinking this is real. It's not even a joke. Like, they, they, they legitimately believe that somehow I have monetized the demo because of you. Yes, you've onioned them. They ate the onion because of you. Ridiculous. You made some people eat the onion, Chet. Are you proud of yourselves? I bet you are. Yeah. I bet you are. You definitely are, aren't you? Onion tastes good. Who made you this one? I didn't make you this way. I didn't do it. That wasn't me. For legal purposes, I had nothing to do with this. This is your fault. You did this. Not me. No. Not me, dude. Where's that? I think it's a cod up here. Cod. There we go. There we go. <sighs> I always love this song. It's always so nice. Sounds a lot like One Piece. No, dude. <laughs> no. Shangping JD with five dollars said Aloha Thor. I got Aloha. into the Bitcraft Alpha, and was wondering what your thoughts on SpaceTimeDB. Wait, what? Got into the Bitcraft Alpha. Those are two very different things. I actually haven't seen Bitcraft yet. I didn't know anything about this. Survival Crafting MMORPG? Bro, what? Love the art style. They're little robot people. Age of Automata. Oh, this is so neat. Is this a server-based thing? Are these players? Or are these NPCs? Can I set up a server for this? You read it as bitch raft? Well, I think that says more about you than it does about the game. I'm just going to be honest with you. I'm just going to be real. I like all the cos- Yeah, that's cool. Customization looks nice. Oh, that's a cool character design.
I want to go back to that one, actually. That's freaking rad looking. The arms on this must have been a, a mess. Look, look at how animated this thing is. Just think of the rigging, dude. Just think of the rigging on this alone. Just think of the rigging. Brilliant looking. I love that. I love that the environment is hexes, too. That looks fantastic. And they seamlessly stick together, too, when they're all the same height. There's secret environments and stuff? Hidden rewards, puzzle rooms. Dude, I'm into this. This looks freaking rad. I didn't know anything about this game. I had no idea. I had no idea. Yeah, it's an MMO. So how does this work? Procedurally generated sandbox world with a deep skills system and a focus on crafting, economics, cultivating, and city building. Is this going to be on their servers? Or do we build a server? Did you guys kill the website already? It didn't die. It's good. I'm going to go sign up for this. Cool. Your email. Check your email for a verification link. Already done, dude. 100%. Yeah, I'm in on that. Did I kill it? I think I may have killed it. Uh, it's taken a while. Hey, look. They instantly gave me a referral code. Enjoy. I don't know what it does. Oh, it gives us community experience. So the entire community gets experience. Enjoy. Sick. Enjoy that. That's freaking rad. Yeah, done. This game looks rad, dude. I'm definitely going to play this. I didn't know anything about this game at all. I wasn't even on my radar, didn't hear anything about it. I love I love this kind of gameplay. That's rad as hell. That's rad as hell. I really, really like that. Sick, dude. Really sick, actually. I'm looking at all the features of the game, it looks great. Yeah, I got pirate software number 0001. Is the link dead? Oh. 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 <laughs> There's too many of you. <laughs> You're too many. There's too many of you. There's too many of you. You killed it. Oh, it's so dead. It. I'm going to have to apologize to them. I do that every time you guys kill something, by the way. I do that every time. They're going to be like, what the hell is going on? Why did this person's referral link just explode, dude? Here, here's more of the link. Enjoy that. Enjoy enjoy the link. Enjoy the link. This is for you. I'm gonna, oh, wait. I lost it. It's gone now. I, it's gone now. It's dead now. One second. I'm going to try it. Oh, application error. No. <laughs> it's so dead. Oh, oh, it's so dead. It application aired out, dude. White paged. That uh, sucks. Why is your voice so deep? It didn't used to be. It just kind of dropped over time. When it was about like 33 or so. Somewhere in there. Yeah. 
It's kind of how it is, how it is, you know. Hey guys, I think you might have. I think you might have. I think you might have killed it. It might just. Oof. One moment. Make sure to use the referral link. Then you guys can get extra XP and stuff. Good idea. We did no such thing. You definitely did. Look at their Twitter, please. Why? What's up on their Twitter? Let me go see. Bitcrafts. Twitter. There is no crypto, no Web3, no blockchain, no NFTs, no drops, etc. in Bitcraft Online. Bitcraft is an upcoming open world sandbox MMORG that we hope you and your friends will enjoy. If you showed up expecting crypto or similar, there is none. We hope you will stick around to enjoy the awesome community and our game once it is 100%. Oh, you get so many points right now. Oh, God. Followed. And that's rare. That's rare that I do that. Good. 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 I broke your website. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I broke your website. It's so good. And I just wanted to show it to people. And now it's dead. Now the website's dead. It just looks like a white box. God, this game looks good. Nice. 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 Why don't you like crypto? I don't like crypto in games. Crypto in games is it's largely misused. Badly. And it just ends up being garbage. I'm, I'm trying to get to my referral page again. It's broken. You guys killed it. I think it was linked earlier. I, I linked it earlier, but I don't know where it is now. If somebody has the link still, please link it in chat. If you have it from earlier. Because you copy-pasted it. I, I'm sure one of you did. Is that the right one? Wait. Found it. Aha. Referral link. I'm linking it. There you go. The page finally loaded. There you go. There you go. Enjoy. It is completely broken. There are 499 referrals in a second from you guys. 499 referrals. That's why it broke, dude. It was under a second. Oh my god, it died instantly. It died instantly. That's very funny. It's really funny. What are the quests? Everything is broken. It's very funny. Dude, it's it's the website is dying. It is a hundred percent implo imploding. Holy shit. Yeah, you guys, you guys absolutely killed it. It just says error fetching and like all this kind of stuff is just dead. It's just dead. Breaking news, goblins kill website. Yeah, dude. It's not me doing it, it's you. Looking at it.
This is wild, dude. I wonder if they actually have... Let me go see if they have Twitter cards set up on this. I don't know if they do. A lot of websites forget to do Twitter cards for things like this. Um, let's see, mod spam. Put it in there. There is no Twitter card for this. Boo. You need a few messages to straight. See the game Mosolina? Yes, I have. Send a link. Here you go. Their Discord. Wait, their Discord bot also panicked, and there was this, and there was a suspected bot attack. It was not a bot attack. So I said, just looked at Bitcraft online on stream, and instantly signed up for their alpha. Looks insanely compelling. Also, sorry about your website. The goblins hit it all at once, and everything is crashing now. Friendly hug of death. These are real people, just a lot of them at once. A lot of them all at once. There we go. Posted. Yeah, I oh, every time every time we bring down like a service, I always tweet at them. I'm like, hey, sorry about that. Yeah, it's coming back up and going back down over and over again. Game looks really compelling, dude. We're gonna wait to see if they notice. That yeah, looks great. Oh, oh, it's loading again, kind of. Their icons are missing. It's sort of working. It's sort of working. Yeah, no crypto, etc. is a huge one. Yeah, I mean, it's it's getting to the point where it's like, I can do it. Kind of. Sort of, maybe, a little bit, you know? It's trying. It's so wild, dude. Yeah, the game looks really good, though. Um, devs of Bitcraft, if you're out there, your game looks really, really compelling to me. This is exactly the kind of gameplay that I like and exactly the aesthetic I like and the world setting that I like. So you can you can count me in to play this, 100%. Like, I'm, I'm going to be playing this for sure. Even, even if it turns out to be something I don't like in the end, this looks like something I would very much so enjoy. Like, so I'm, I'm down. I'm down to try this. This looks rad. So, excited. Really excited for it. I'm sorry about your website. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> There's so many goblins. Oh. Oh. Yeah, you can almost hear the website screaming, my bones. Yeah, exactly, man. Shit. Poor website, dude. Raphael I'll check it Sundorf out later. with 5 euros said of their meta login issue news. I haven't found a post mortem yet. Huh. 
Huh. One moment. This is going to be funny. Hey, Jake. I'm going to message you with something. Someone's about to get completely blasted. In fact, a lot of people are about to get completely blasted. Boy, this is going to be funny. This is going to be a good one. It's going to be good. There's like six people involved in this one. Let's see. Oh, no, there's four in this one. Yeah, there's four people directly involved in this. Ooh, it's going to be good. It's going to be good. I'll let you know when I do it. Let you know when I do it. It's going to be a big old hammer. Yep. Big old hammer. All right, we're going to ban him right now. Oh, this is going to be funny. One moment. Do 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 do. A do 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 do. Boop. Do 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 do. A do 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 do. A do 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 do. A do 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 do. A boop. Do 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 do. A do 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 do. One moment. Almost done. Banning all of these people. And another one. Okay. So, the three people that just got banned from the server, permanently, the reason they got banned from the server is because of two things. One, they reverse engineered the world seed for Merkheim so that they can go and find all of the chests in a private world and then go back onto our server and then go and dig up all the chests where they were because they knew exactly where they were. Secondly, they developed a plugin that would take it so that any of the items that are supposed to drop on the ground when you die instead move themselves instantly into your backpack. You think we wouldn't notice? You don't get to play anymore. Man, that sucks. We also know what Discord accounts you have, so you're getting banned there too, and from the stream. So, enjoy. Not very smart. Not very smart. And the one who reported it, by the way, the one who reported it, is not getting banned. So thank you, person reporting it. Not very smart. Not very smart at all. Uh, Jake, can you get him banned in the Discord too? And we'll get him off the stream as well. Uh, I've already got him banned in-game. They're perma-banned, and I will do it as an IP ban in a moment. So thanks. Easy peasy. Don't be idiots. All banned from the Discord just now. Thanks, bud. Yeah, not the smartest move. Oh, and by the way, we got logs and pictures of all of it, so... Eat shit. Alright, next one. We got a sheep. We got to fix a sheep next. Rabbit. Rabbit's good. We'll just do one leather drop there. Yeah, you eat a whole bowl of shit. Salmon is done. Rabbit is finished. Feet. When you moving? I don't know. I don't know yet. I'm not sure. I have to. I have to get the internet set up there first, and that's going to be a, a rough thing, frankly. Now I'm going to do announcement to the block game people.
Done. Announced out. <sighs> and their data will be deleted from the leaderboards in just a moment as well. We gotta go do that. Origin. And I'll delete them out of the database in a moment as well. All those will be finished. What level were they too? And they're probably higher higher level. Probably up there. We'll find out. We will find out. Let's see. Let's see. AJ leaderboards and remove player. That player from everything. Removed. Next one. It's really easy to remove people from leaderboards, too, so it's not even a problem. What an egregious thing to do, too. Oh, actually. I think there's a... Isn't there an ad player back? I think it's an ad player back. I accidentally removed one of the ones that we weren't banning. Lol. Gives the names to laugh at? Um, we actually had we actually had three people. It was UA Bart, Millennium, and Evo2112. So they were doing all this in another Discord, but what they don't understand is that we can see all that kind of stuff because people report you when you do this shit. Yeah, it's not 2B2T. So like it's not hard to find out about this stuff because there is a whole wall of people that are not interested in having you cheat on the same server as them. They will always report you. Always. So if you're going to be that dumb, your friends are going to tell us about you. And if they don't tell us about you, we're going to catch you anyway because we always do. That's what we do. I love working on this server specifically because I get to catch people doing stupid shit on it. It's really funny for me. It's vitamins for me. You fed me. Delicious salt. Always. Ah, let's go pull this up. Let me see if this is on... Is it on the cache? Oh, there's a DB for that, isn't there? Okay, we'll reload that, and now we can remove, let's see, bell, reset, eco, reset, that person, eco, reset, that person, and eco, reset, this person. What's this? This is me deleting people's data because they just got banned permanently from the server and it's very funny to me. You should do a stream where you're catching wall hackers, lol. No, we don't we don't even need that. So like the game is actually designed in a way where wall hacking and stuff like that is not relevant. It's not valuable. So X-raying is like super obnoxious on the server, so we go do this. Right? Like it's it's a mess in here. And that's sort of the idea is to make this horrific. So the only way that they could really get around this is by reverse engineering the world seed, which they did. They managed to reverse engineer the world seed, but it resets every week. So they found out how to do it for this week. And then they went through and they mapped where all the chests were, and then they went and grabbed all those chests on the live server. Which is incredibly stupid. It's quite funny, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's not the best. Yeah, it's just always like this. It's a mess. It's a mess underneath the world. Yeah. Clever, but not clever enough. It's it's always going to come down to the same thing. No matter what it is that you do. Let me go Let me go pull this up. This is my favorite picture for this. No matter what it is that you think that you're doing that's super clever in terms of like cheating on a game, eventually the devs are going to catch you. All they have to do is catch you once, and you have to win every single time. I only have to win one time. You have to win every time. And the moment that you lose, your account and your, IP, and your IP range, depending on what it is, is completely banned from the server. And that's it. Like, easy, right? Is that one of your passwords as well? It is, actually. <laughs> it's, it's inside the password folder. Yeah. That's just how it works. The house always wins. It does. 
How are they permaban? Just by permitting. If they want to get back into the server, they'd have to they'd have to buy a new Minecraft account, and if they did, they'd still be banned because it's IP banned. So they'd have to not only buy a new Minecraft account, but they'd also have to contact their ISP to change their IP address, which is the funniest thing possible, frankly. Enjoy all that hassle to cheat in a Minecraft server that's free. <laughs> uh, they could use a VPN. They could use a VPN. At that point, they still have to buy a new Minecraft account. Imagine paying for paying Microsoft to get a new Minecraft account so that you could cheat on a private Minecraft server that's free. <laughs> like the level of insane at that point. Like, dude, like, come on, man. It's not even a paid server. It's not even a paid server at all. It's free. It's completely free. Do you know about RimWorld? Yeah, RimWorld's cool. What are you doing? Being a goblin monster? Yeah, you are. I'm gonna make sure that the ferrets are actually out of water. Give me just a minute. One sec. And I'm back. Sorry about that. I looked over and I realized that the ferrets had drank all of their water out of a bowl.
There we go. If you live in a dorm room, does it mean everyone in that dorm is banned? Yes. It means all natted IPs are banned. Lol. One sec, I have something to fix. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. I messed this up. Fixed. Alrighty. I think we're good. the IP to the Minecraft server, mc.blockend.info. That is the IP for the server itself. Anyway, what was I doing? Oh yeah, sheep. Sheep? Oh, Bitcraft are here? Wait a minute, sorry about that. I was I was solving some of the... Bitcraft devs, are you here? Did you arrive? How's it going? <laughs> I'm sorry about your web server. I'm sorry about that. I didn't... There's just too many people. And every time I show something off, it dies. Are you there? I'm sorry about that. Which one is you? I don't know if it's still dead or not. <laughs> it might be dead. It might not be dead. I don't know where the devs are. Which account are you? At me. At me in the chat so I can see it. It is, it is likely still dead, yeah. There's too many of you guys. Yeah. Yeah. Heartbound save 8.thor? Yeah. Yeah, it's one of the heartbound saves. Boop. Then, uh... It's House Halkin 4321. Let me look. Thank you. Uh, user Halkin. Let me go see. Hi, goblins. Uh, Hex, Hex from Bitcraft. Time for us Bitcraft people to raid you instead. Hello there. Oh, you raided. Did you raid us? Did you? Don't worry, it's all good. We already had problems before. Oh, no worries, dude. No, your game looks really compelling. Your game looks super compelling, to be honest with you. I um, I really love that kind of sandbox, kind of, you know, build your own town, do your own, craft your own stuff sort of a thing. So I showed it off to the community. I was like, oh, yeah, let me show this off. And then I was like, wait a minute. How big is this studio? Because the moment that I show off anything on the internet, even my own websites, they're dead. It's over. Like because there's so many people in the channel so it just blows up just instantly <laughs> the goblins are very powerful uh, but yeah I did the referral link thing and it it's I think it broke <laughs> uh, I did the referral link and it shows like four people no three people and a fourth that is oh well there's there's that <laughs> Oh, so anyway, so anyway, it seems to have exploded. Yeah, a little, little bit of a hug of death going on there. But no, I, I'm looking forward to your guys' games. I, I really am. I'm no Bitcraft dev, by the way, just some kind of helper. But in their stead, I say thank you. Oh, OK. Are you do, are you like on their discord or like a moderator for them or anything like that? 
Is that not a good thing? It is. It is a good thing for them. Well, it's scary, but it's a good thing overall. It means a lot of people are very interested in the game. Yeah. Very interested in the game, which is good shit. I think it's really good shit, actually. Yeah, they're banned over on Twitch. That's good. Perfect. We were handling a moderation thing. I love doing that. It's vitamins for me, dude. Are there meta login issues news? I haven't found a postmortem yet. Uh, no, I haven't seen anything for that yet. Raphael, I haven't seen anything at all for that. Sorry about that, I didn't answer your question right away, but no, I haven't seen it. Nothing at all. A little bit weird, right? Next alert. Argonius underscore doge with 500 bits said yacht cheer 500 last one I swear. I wish to offer up a new indie game I have found recently. Are we gonna kill they another indie game? They plan to have a kickstarter for it on the 27th. It's a semi-open world game where you play as a paper airplane. HTTPS colon slash slash store dot steampowered dot com slash app slash one six one seven two three zero slash paper underscore sky slash. Okay, hold up. Hold up. You telling me I get to be a paper airplane? Fold, fly, and deliver your message in this semi-open world paper airplane adventure. What is this environment? That's not what I expected at all. Oh, that's such an interesting art style. Dude, that's kind of wild looking. Journey, but paper. Did you turn into a ball and then turn back into the paper airplane? You could bounce off stuff. That's really neat. That's just like a really neat artistic looking game, you know? There's a portal? Hmm. Hmm. What an interesting choice. I think that's really goddamn cool, actually. Yeah. There, I'm gonna link this. That's really, really interesting. That art style is wild as hell. It's not what I expected either. Oh god, he's rolling. I wonder how many different environments they have. I do love the art style, though. It's really beautiful. Really beautiful, actually. Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. Thanks for showing me that. That's freaking awesome. Mutton drops. We need mutton. Where is it? Mutton drops. Mutton drops. There we go. 101, and then we'll do 20 HP on a sheep. Or I said more like a 10. It's a 10 HP. So this is going to be 1 to... No, it's more like a 20. It's a 20. No. No. 1 to 2. 100% of the time. 15 is a little bit weird. A little bit weird. Because we kind of have a scaler for this, for the amount of time spent into it. What are the little ferrets at the bottom of the screen? You. If you're subbed, it's you. Killer Squid 2603 with 500 bits said at Parade Software, when are you doing cursed quest reviews? Is there a specific time slot or whenever you feel like it? It's kind of whenever I feel like it. I'm planning on doing them on Tuesdays, though, going forward. Because we got to get them all out of the way. So I'm going to do them on Tuesday in the morning. And we can do that. It'd be kind of fun. Yeah. Lily Hound Doom, what's up? How's it going? Twitch or YouTube to focus on streaming dev? Yes. I'm streaming on both. As should you, to be honest with you. There's no reason not to. What are we coding programming here? I'm working on a, my uh, Minecraft custom server. But in a minute here, I'm going to get back into Helldivers. Not right now, but soon. I have to finish this first. I've got a lot of work to do. Soon. I'm also answering questions from people. Mystic Truffle with 500 bits said, Is there a tool that lets you inspect an app's code or game's code? 
I am new and would like to develop a cross-platform game for PC, iOS. Yeah, what you're looking at there is, I, I talked about this earlier, that is more, uh, that's more of the kind of, of thing for, uh, you're doing reverse engineering at that point, and decompiling. And that could be against the TOS or the EULA for whatever it is that you're using, so talk to legal counsel before you do something like that, generally. Yeah, no, they're, they're looking to decompile. They are. That's what they're asking about. There. Because it, it's... Is there a tool that lets you inspect an app's code or game's code? They're looking for decompiling, frankly. So, like, you should talk to legal counsel before you do that, something like that, ever, generally. And see what the EULA or the, the agreement is that you have for that software. And don't get in trouble, you know? It's a bad idea. All right, the final one. Tropical fish. We've done it, Chet. They're finished. I'm going to save this. I'm going to save that. I think we're good. I think we've done it. I think we have finished this. I think all of the animals are now specialized animals. Look at this. You. Are you a special sheep? Oh, it's called a sheep. It worked. Look at it. Look at it. I should probably give them display names. I should probably give them display names. That's probably an issue. They're gonna be named like sheep underscore or things like that. They're gonna have the underscores in the name. Oh look, it's a Zambi. It's actually a chilled dead. Yeah, starting in a frozen wasteland is kind of rough. Rattle bones out here. is this? What? What the hell is this? Why have you done this? What? What? Why? There's a sign? I didn't even see there was a sign. I love that it, it doesn't actually let you load things when you're that high up too, which is quite funny. There isn't a sign. There's no sign up here. Diving board. There's nothing to dive into. You just die. You guys trying to dive over this way? Is that what you're doing? You guys are goblins, man. No wonder there's so many deaths to fall damage. And we're like the dying board, exactly. Ridiculous. <sighs> Alright, so we've got about 62 people on right now. Let's look at the TPS. TPS is 18.6, so that's really good. Looks like we're doing good. Server's good. Server's good. The void calls. I know, dude. You guys have all this call of the void shit. Percy Gabriel with $5 said Morn and Thor. Since buying another computer isn't feasible for most people, do you have any recommendations for us? Also, 7, Dark Desert Highway, 7. Your Dark Desert Highway. That's right. And, um, let's see. Buying a computer isn't feasible for most people. Do you have any recommendations for us? Um, yeah. So, there's always... I know this is going to be kind of weird. You can use PC Bangs. You can use... If you've never heard of that, it's like a... Like a computer place you go and use that to go and make stuff for a certain amount of time or play video games for a certain amount of time there's always like super cheap end machines like really really cheap end machines there's always your phone there's a lot of stuff you can do on phone you can do stuff on raspberry pi and to be real with you if you want to make a video game you can just make a physical game make a card game right things like that it's it's not a requirement to make a game digitally you can do that physically and that's totally fine and then take that somewhere else and go and build stuff out of it um Technology is pretty easy to get 
today, in today's age, really shitty low-end machines can still make video games. There's nothing wrong with that. I think the TTS was talking about playing Helldivers. Oh, you're talking about playing Helldivers. Since buy oh, I guess they said since buying another computer isn't feasible for most people. Do you have any recommendations for us? So you're talking about the, the kernel-level anti-cheat in Helldivers 2. No, there really is not. If you are playing Helldivers and you're playing it on your primary machine, you're using kernel-level anti-cheat. I hate kernel-level anti-cheat, so I run it on a separate machine and then I display the video through this machine to you. Yeah, sorry about that. I thought you were talking about something else. I thought you were talking about making video games. My brain was off. How about a VM? A lot of the times they detect a VM and then it, they get mad about it and then they close out your stuff. So I specifically do not like kernel-level anti-cheat on my machine, so I run it a second secondary machine. Yeah, there's not a whole lot of options there, man. Yeah, anti-cheat sucks. Not a fan. Pinkafufun with 500 bits said I started going bald super early and shaving it in my 20s. I picked up a super hot wife while bald. She said my confidence was why she was initially drawn to me. I am not an overly confident person but that is what people see. I see a Colin Robinson. So in America saying you love enjoying goon in your thongs is a way different experience than in Australia. Yes. Yes. Shit. It's a very different thing. It's a, In Australia, goon means boxed wine. Okay, that's what it means. That's what it is. Goon is boxed wine that is different in Australia than in the United States where goon means something very different. <laughs> Shit. Oh my god, dude. You're gonna get me- You're gonna get me banned on Twitch, man. That's so funny. That's so damn funny. Gopko with 500 bits said, Hey Thor, I have a question Hi. about HD2. A friend yeah. bought it a few days ago and played it away from home, but when he got home and put it on his own PC it crashes after the opening cutscenes every time. Not even reinstalling Windows fixed it. Was wondering if you've heard something about that issue. Take care, hope Henry's doing well. That actually sounds like it would be an issue specifically with their hardware setup, man. Um, because it, that wouldn't be anything on theirs. The fact that they ran it on another machine and then came home and ran it on their machine, did they ever run it on their machine in the first place? Did it work correctly originally, and then now it doesn't work correctly? Like, there's a lot of choices there that are a little bit weird. And I'd, I'd sort of want to know more information to kind of figure that out, if that makes sense. Because that is very strange. Llama. Haunts. Haunts. I'm gonna leave this as the haunts, and no one can stop me. Every time you mouse over a horse in the game from now on, it'll say haunts. That's it. I'm leaving it that way. Yeah, you'll have to ask further. You gotta find out if, if that dude was, was running that on his own machine originally, and he's just not doing it now. There's too many choices there, you know? Haunts. I'm gonna start burning the queue because we're gonna do game time later. Celeste Allen with 500 bits said at Parade Software, good morning. Haven't good morning. thought you live before, but loved your TikToks, shorts for a while. Love Thank following you. and relating to a lot of it, seeing as I've lately been banning tons of bots at Blizzard. Colon closing parenthesis. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, dude. You one of my old co-workers? Did you go in afterwards? That's the big question for me. Good for you. Ban them all, dude. There'll be a lot of haunts tickets. That's fine. I don't care. We'll ignore them. I will ignore those tickets.
All right, looks like the categories are set up right. Although they're not centered, which is sort of annoying. All the categories are set up good. Oh, it's working. Let's look at this. Profession gear has been updated. All profession gear has been updated. All the animals have been updated. Let's go put this into the patch notes. Yeah. How do you parse the YAML files? Everything is done through Java. So what you're seeing is something that gets consumed by a plugin, a Java plugin. And then when it consumes that, it's able to set up certain data inside of itself to have a bunch of items in the game, basically. And that's the whole point with that, right? Yeah, it's, it's very, very simple. The YAML is just there so that I can have a human readable thing for myself that makes it easy for me to work with. Yeah. YAML is just super easy. Like, look at this. This is effectively the same format as JSON, but it's just easier to look at. That's all. That's the whole point with that, right? It's the same as JSON. Exactly the same. You can do the same thing in JSON, but it's less syntax, less dealing with it, less whatever, right? YAML. So this right here is what's called YAML. YML, rather. And the whole joke is yet another markup language, right? But if you see this here where it goes into an indent, this is a root. This is an identifier inside of it. And then these are kind of options within that identifier, right? It's very simple to read. Incredibly simple. So like inside of the code to be like, hey, I want to pull the item name under and I want to pull the base stats for it. And then enchants, I want to apply this enchant. Like it's just very simple. It's very simple to use. And because it's human readable like this, I can just work on it without having to worry. Right. Yeah, it's simpler than an XML tree. It's simpler than JSON. It's the same speed. So it's kind of whatever. You say Java, don't 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 worry about it. Don't worry about it. Yeah, you can use indents just like this. It's very easy. Don't you cringe. Don't you cringe with that. I see that. See that emote. Java bad. Java bad. Yeah, XML is so much overhead. It does. It really does. And like, JSON's fine. YAML's fine. There's nothing wrong with this. And here's, here's the big one. It doesn't read this every game frame. It reads it once at startup. That's it. Or when I reload it. So like... It's very easy to work with, and it doesn't have a huge amount of problems, and because it's not reading in every frame, like, who gives a shit? Easy. It happens when server starts. I can also hotfix into it, which is very nice. What do you think about Obsidian? You mean the, uh, Minecraft server version? I got to see that that was used for Block Wars, and I think that's really interesting. I don't know much about working with it. I'm, I'm using paper right now. I want to- I want to switch over to Folia, once it's ready. It's not, like, quite there yet, but I'm hoping soon. What do you think about Godot? Godot is fantastic. Go to develop.games, my website, and just read all about it there. It's great. Godot is fantastic. Awesome shit. Only language you know is Visual Basic? My man. It's good. Lounge King with $2 said wheat equals fruit, so wheat tortilla, also fruit roll-ups. Mmm. I don't think wheat is a fruit. Is wheat a fruit? Botanically, the wheat kernel is a caryopsis, a type of fruit. Wheat is a fruit. The tortilla is a fruit roll-up. Corn is also a fruit. The corn tortilla is also a fruit roll-up. Botanically, the wheat kernel is a caryopsis, a type of fruit. Whiskey is still a ketchup. And there's nothing you can do about it, chat. 
Whiskey is ketchup. Yes. The tomato is a fruit. The wheat is a fruit. Corn is a fruit. Whiskey is a ketchup. That's right. You were only angry because you were mad. Yeah. Yeah. Ketchup is a whiskey. Also true. Yeah. Beer is cereal. Yeah. It's true. See how this happens? See how the nightmare begins? I won't stop. I won't stop. You did this. I exist because of you. I'm like Captain Planet. You've summoned me into the internet. Everything that I say is your fault. Don't ever forget that. This is your fault. This is all you, bud. Every one of you. You did this. You did this. Danny I'm here you, man. E with 500 bits said, Hey Thor, just wanted to tell you that I am super grateful for your content. I often struggle with being up all night on my days off due to me working night shifts for 10 years and it's so nice to have company all the time. Also, I really like how you point out small details in games that I would miss. Makes yeah. me appreciate dev work a whole lot more, like the top load containers in Pacific Drive. I love that. The top load containers made me really happy in Pacific Drive. Pacific Drive is a brilliant game. It's very well done. Incredibly well done. Night, sh night shifts can be rough, but I, I stream from midnight to noon, so... <laughs> <laughs> Honey Nomad with 500 bits said question I've finally found what I'm meant to do and create however my married partner is resenting how much time it's taking away from the family between that and my constant overtime time job should I just leave my hobby and accept my responsibility I had before or just suffer through the judgement from them also congratulations on popping my donation cherry. Wait a minute. I finally found what I'm meant to do and create however my married partner is resenting how much time it's taking my married married partner? Okay. From the family, between that and my constant overtime job. Should I just leave my hobby and accept my responsibility? You need to find balance in what you're doing. Like, you 100% need to find balance in what you're doing. If if you are going overboard in a point where you are neglecting your family, or they feel like they're neglected in some way, you need to talk to them. Communicating that is the most important thing. So go talk to your partner and be like, yo, I want to do this thing. How do we figure out a time where I can do it? Can I have this amount of time? They'll probably want to go. It's a negotiation is what it is. That's a negotiation. It's communication and negotiation. You go, hey, I want to do this. Is that too much time? And they go, yeah, that's too much time. It's like, okay, well, can, can I do this on these days then with this amount of time? And that's that's the whole point, right? So like it's it's important to understand that anytime you're in any relationship, that is a negotiation. You are on an adventure. You're on your own adventure with them. Right? And like there's things that you want to do and things you want to accomplish in your life. And there's things they want to do and they want to accomplish in your life. And you guys have to find something to meet in the middle where you're likely not to get everything that you want, but most of the things that you want in a way that helps both sides. There needs to be a mutual benefit there. So just talk. Just talk about it. Talk about it. Find a middle ground. There has to be a solution there. There always is. Just got to find it. Yeah, the co-op adventures. Yeah. You're now in the top 100 of the leaderboard in Bitcraft? Wait, what? I can't even see the leaderboard. How do I even know? Dear God. I can't even get to my referral links. Oh, wait. It's working again. Hit it, Chet. There, it's working again. It's working again. The video game, we will play it. It's no longer dying. I didn't even realize there was a leaderboard. Nice. Nice. It's working again. Go log into it. It's very funny. Rank number 99 in about two seconds, and the website died. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's dying. How many quests do I have? One sec. That's already done.
I'm doing it, chat. I'm doing all the things. I'm doing all the things and stuff. I'm gonna go join their Discord, too. Boop. I'm joining their Discord so I can talk to them, because I, I feel bad that we blew up their their stuff. I feel bad that we blew up their website. I feel bad about it. I don't want to blow up their website, but it's also very funny. It's also really funny. Because there's just so many of you that saw that the game was really interesting looking. And I'm immediately interested in it. It looks good. It looks really good, actually. Nice. Very nice. What game is it? Bitcraft. Here, I've got a link for it. There you go. The hug didn't kill it for you. It destroyed it for a lot of people. When does APIs become dangerous for my application? It depends on what what is happening when somebody uses those API requests. An API in, its, in and of itself is not inherently risky. It depends on what it does and how it's operating. Follow me if you have a life. Okay, I'm going to click the follow button. What's it? Oh, oh, unfortunately. Oh, man. I accidentally clicked the ban button. That sucks. Unfortunate. Yeah. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. Real sad. Finger slip, dude. Sorry about that. I can't unban you now. I don't know how. Window closed. It's beyond me. Alright, so... see. Dear God, dude. So Jake's th going through and clearing out those players' inventories in those different towns to try and make sure that all that stuff doesn't enter the in-game economy. And they have, like, stacks and stacks and stacks of items that appear inside of in-game chess. So they've just been doing this for a while. And it's a mess, dude. Yeah. Just an absolute mess. What happened? Uh, some players were cheating in block game in like the most ridiculous way possible. And we banned three of them. All at once. Yeah. I'm gonna be deleting their stuff out of the database later today too. It's programming dexterity or intelligence? It's intelligence. Definitely int. That's an int dump stat, dude. There's no dexterity involved. I sit in a chair all day, let's be honest. Kinda why I stopped playing it? We fixed it. If you stop playing block game because of cheaters, report them instead. <laughs> like, I'm gonna be super real with you. If you stop playing on our block game server because people are cheating, then report them instead. And we ban them. We have to do an investigation to prove that they're doing those things, but we ban them instead. And instead, if you don't report these and you just go, oh, I'm gonna quit instead, how is it ever gonna get fixed? Report that shit. 
100% report that shit. Always report that shit. Visual underscore sanity with 500 bits said, Hey Thor, right, there is a local done. game studio here that I am friends with. They are at the wishlist stage and they keep improving their game non-stop. I mean cool. it when I say they literally redid the entire aesthetic to make the game better. For the sake cool. of being better, I will let their footage of the game explain it. It's on Steam named Bahamut and the Wokwak Tree. If you have tips as well, feel free. Told them about Steam Bahamut. trading cards, for example. Bahamut and the Wokwak Tree. It's an interesting name. Let's go look this up. That's going to be... So I'm going to tell you one thing. This is going to be hard for people to find. <laughs> Just the name. Discover one thriving ocean now tainted by enigmatic dark entities. Your quest to decipher the mystery and rekindle the ocean's radiant light. It's beautiful, visually. That's really pretty. Yeah, it looks really good. Visually stunning. Super stunning. No Discord link. They should definitely link a Discord. They should definitely get a demo out. It says coming soon. So when they do have that, have a demo. Yeah, so the two things that I would say, this looks visually stunning. The environments look quite good. All of this looks wonderful. I don't think there's anything wrong here. This looks good. Very good. Put a Discord on here so people can find it. And also make a demo when they release into their early access. Or whatever it's going to be. Yeah. That looks good. That looks very good. I, I like the the visual aesthetic of the environments. The lighting looks good. The, you know, kind of ambience for that looks good. All that looks nice. I like the trail behind the character. That is good. Yeah, this looks good. They just need to have like a social presence, you know, Steam, things like that. Steam needs, you, you need a Discord linkage out. And they don't have one here, but you should do it here, honestly. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, it gives me Ori in the Blind Forest vibes. I agree with that. Yeah. Thor never reads Kick Chat, only Twitch Chat. Dude, what? Kick Chat? The hell? Who the hell's on Kick, dude? I heard that shit in ages. Very funny. No, I don't stream on Kick, dude. They're saying kick like K-I-K. -K. I've never, I haven't heard of K-I-K -K in a long time. And kick the website, I, hell no, I ain't touching that shit. Not even a little bit, dude. Not even a little bit. Not even close. <laughs> Thor, why don't you read Mixer chat? I know, right? You were always spotted. Kick was a wild time. What's wrong with kick? Do you want to see what's wrong with kick? Now, let me go see if they still have this up. Because if they do, it's going to be even funnier. They do. Are you kidding me, man? I've been clowning on your asses for months, and you still haven't fixed this. Holy shit. Hold up. This is going to be the funniest thing you've seen all day. So if you go into any kick stream, any of them, and you hit F12, while the stream is running, I'm going to go grab this real fast. You'll see this. You'll see Amazon IVS Wasm Worker. And the reason why is because Amazon IVS is actually the back end of Twitch. And Kick is renting that from Amazon. It's a service. You can, you can also set up your own version of Twitch. Twitch runs on it. Kick runs on it. It's exactly the same. Amazon IVS, interactive video service. So they're running on the same, the same shit. Kick is literally Twitch. That's number one. But here's the part that makes me laugh. Here's the big issue. If you go to Kick and you search other, you'll actually get a category called other watch party. And other watch party is filled with copyrighted movies because watch parties are generally copyrighted movies and TV shows. Now here's the part that's very funny about this. I went to Trainwreck stream on Kick and I was like, yo, dude, when they first started, I was like, I would be more comfortable streaming on this platform if you changed this where you guys didn't have this category because this is a bad idea. It's a really bad idea. You're you're opening your, your, your platform up to liability because you're incentivizing streaming copyrighted content by having a category like this. And originally it was called Other TV Shows and Movies. So 
for the next 30 minutes, he called me an idiot live on stream. 30 minutes straight, call me a dumbass. He's like, Twitch has copyrighted content on it too. They don't have any problem. People who are streaming copyrighted content on Twitch get shut down. There's no category specifically for this. There's actually a category specifically for it on Kick. But here's the funny part. 24 hours later, he deletes the VOD. And then they changed the category to other watch party. They forgot to change the URL. It's still other TV shows and movies in the URL. No shit. It's literally still there. It's been months. I've been talking about this for months, and it's still other TV shows and movies. How dumb, dude. Of course I'm not going to touch their platform. The moment that Mickey Mouse finds out about this shit, that there's Disney content being live-streamed through that platform, through Amazon servers, they're going to have a shit fit. Why would I want to engage with that in any possible respect? That's insane, dude. Livestream Pirate Bay. Come on. Ridiculous to me. Ridiculous to me. There's hundreds of movies in there. Everything from, like, Breaking Bad to, like, all anime you've ever seen is being streamed in there. It's crazy, dude. It's insanely stupid. It's it's a very dangerous thing to do. <laughs> yeah, the mouse. The mouse knows, dude. Hey, Donald. Goofy. We have a mission. Yeah, exactly. So, like, it's not even about being a scam. It's, it's about being really, really loose with copyright law. The company that owns Kick is based in Curacao, so they wouldn't have to care, right? Curacao, it's going to be really tough for them to impose any type of copyright law. But Amazon is a United States-based company. And Amazon servers, Amazon IVS, guess what? Owned by Amazon. So now you're using an American company to have live stream copyrighted content without having the license for it, and you're incentivizing it by building a category for it. I can't wait for a lawyer to find out about this. I can't wait for a lawyer to be like, hey, wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute. Uh, we're going to have a problem now. Like once Disney, you know, smells that in any direction, they're going to have a, they're going to have a fit, dude. Like 100%. That's a very stupid move. Yeah. So like, to, to be real with you, I don't have a problem with competition for Twitch. I want Twitch to have a competition. It needs it. Every platform needs competition. But dude, I, I wanted competition, not clown shoes. And that shit, that's clown shoes. That is that is a hundred percent clown shoes. And yeah, it's it's likely a breach of, of Amazon's terms as well. It is likely a breach of it. Because if you have people streaming copyrighted content on your platform, as long as you shut it down with DMCAs, you're fine. But you build a category for it. Once you build a category, you incentivize the behavior. That starts to get a little bit legal gray area, and that's where I'm waiting for that to the hammer to drop on that, frankly. Because it's not a smart move. It's just not. You should never incentivize that behavior, ever. Ever at all. And I know that, and they know that, and it's just dumb. Yeah, Amazon can't allow that. Yeah, that's correct. Because if Amazon knows about it, and they allow it, right, and they get a complaint, then they could be there could be legal repercussions there, right? There's any any time you're dealing with any type of copyright law, you have to abide by that shit. And they're skirting the line, willfully skirting the line for funsies, which makes no sense. It makes no sense. You think Steak will be safe with this? Steak is actually based in Curacao. I don't think they have to give a shit, frankly. Yeah, it's just dumb. It's a dumb move. Like you can make smart moves in that kind of an area, but incentivizing that is not a smart thing to do. It's not a smart thing to do. I, I would never do that. And I don't want to bind myself to a platform that is that dumb about it. In fact, in November, once you guys all arrived into the stream, the stream kind of blew up. Kick actually reached out to me and tried to offer me like to move over to Kick. And I, let me let me go find this. I'll find you the exact email that it was. It's in my sent mail because I responded to them. Now, understand something. This was three days. They sent me this email three days after I made a red or, or the um, this this thing that I'm talking about became the top post on live stream fail. The fact where I was talking about this with kick doing this stupid shit, it was the top post on live stream fail for three days. And then they reached out to me. And this is this is like the dumbest thing on the planet. They said, hi, my name is blank and I'm partnership manager here at kick. I'm interested in discussing a move to kick with you. And my response was, I am not interested in moving to kick. Not I'm not interested in moving to kick now. I'm not interested in moving to kick. Like ever. Overall. End of done. Right? At any point. Never responded to me. 
the fact that they reached out to me with that, with my post being the top on live stream fail for three days, clowning on them, and they still haven't fixed this issue on their website is insane to me. It's been like, it's been like six, seven months. Like, what? No, no. Bad, bad platform. Bad. Not smart. No. It's just dumb, dude. Turns out changing the URL would break their entire infrastructure. Oh god, it's a coconut image. It's just so weird, dude. It's so weird. Visual underscore sanity with 500 bits said Thor at 3 a.m. With a friend playing pool, I created a new game variant as a 3 a.m. Oh. tied game designer would, and I believe it's quite fun. I am planning to teach others at the pool place and gather feedback and make cool. it a thing. But how do I proceed in legal stuff? Anyone can play it. I want to share it with the world, but I still want to protect that I made the idea and not let anyone just claim it commercially. Sounds like you need to talk to a lawyer. That sounds like legal advice. That's advice I can't give you. Yeah. William Kurokami with five euros said, Hi Thor, what are the Hi. chances we will get a command and conquer stream in the future? Very high. Also, is it done, Yuri? No, Comrade Premier. It has only begun. Dude, I'm really ready to play Command and Conquer. I actually went and got the entire set of Command and Conquer games for 10 bucks on Steam. They did an entire thing. They released all of them, dude. It's honestly wild. I, I, it blew me away that it was $10 for 17 Command and Conquer games. Like, what, dude? Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna be playing it for sure. I love the shit out of Command and Conquer. Love Command and Something Conquer. Something the wise with 500 bits said Happy Mario Day. What's your yeah. favorite Mario game and biggest inspiration taken from the Mario franchise? Mario Party. Because it's the only game that can ruin families faster than Monopoly. I love Mario Party. That is that it, it will turn friends into enemies instantly. Instantly. Also, when I was a kid, I played Mario Party on N64. And you remember that little the little like joystick that they had on it that was solid plastic and you put it in the middle of your hand, you do this, and I, I have I have the Mario Party scar. How many of you have the Mario Party scar? I have it. I have that scar. The center of my palm has a, has a light scar on it because that joystick ripped all the skin off my hand. Yeah. The indent. Yeah. You have a Mario Party scar. Some of you have Mario Party scars. Some of you do. It's very light. But I have it. Mario Party Scar, dude. Mine has a dent. Do you just have a dent? Mine has like a patch of rougher skin that you can only see like barely in the light. It's when I was a kid. Mario Party Veteran Scar, yeah. Mine is an actual cut scar. Jesus, dude. Yeah, no, there's there's like a... If you played Mario Party as a kid on N64 and you spun that joystick, you you have a light scar in the center of your hand, likely. Because it would rip your skin right off. <laughs> it's just... You know? Because that plastic joystick was like super rough. I'm waiting on Bezos. Anyway, next one. I gotta burn the queue as fast as possible. The Great Get Wordling with 500 bits said, well, well, well. If it isn't Thor Goblin Lord. Well, well, I well. I paint minis, and I apply your advice to my approach to painting. I was watching Code Miko's stream the other day, and she had a bunch of AI on, and all the AI bots were just going, well, well, well. Well, well, well. And now when you do that, I just immediately see her stream. It's very funny. <laughs> G33B1C with two euros said, fellas, don't forget the thumbs up. Thumbs up. Well, Sakita well, well. Gintoki with two Canadian dollars said, what time is it where you are? It is 6.40 a.m. right now. Nico Spud with 500 bits said, Mr. Thor, sir, I just want to commend you on being a shining light in this world. Nah. This world seems to be built to break people down, yet here you stand responsible for way more good than you could ever imagine. Never I am it. certain there are people in chat that are alive today because of you, Thor, whether they know it or not. Nah. Then on top of that, all the work you do with the ferrets is wonderful. Nah. To see so much improvement in Henry must feel so rewarding. Thank it you, does. Thor, for everything you do. It really does with Henry. That makes me very happy. Um, really, really worried about him still. He's a very thin, thin little lad. But he can run in a direction now, which is good. And that makes me happy. Really good. Really, really good. 
Same time where I am? Hmm. Yeah, 6.41 a.m. right now. That's true. Tyro underscore Thunderdrone with 500 bits said if data has two of the same letter they need to be said the same, so is it data or data? Why is data said so much if it's wrong? Data. We're going to call it data from now on. That's how I feel about it. I was trying to so come up with something with that. But I think I'm just gonna call it Dita. Yeah. Speed Tray with 500 bits said, Hey, four thoughts on aimlessness. I'm 18, graduated high school in 2023 and got into my top uni. Costs were too high for me to go instantly and I took a gap. I've been working and making decent money. Ooh. Enough to realize, if I keep it up I can make enough to kind of live a life similar to what I want. Good. I can have fun, go do things I want and not have to worry but I still want to go to school to try and pursue a career and not bag groceries my whole life. Yeah, that's totally fine. And, and here's the thing, man. You can actually go to school in small amounts. A lot of people don't realize this. You don't need to do it all at once. You don't have to be a full-time student. You can be a part-time student. If you're going to, to work every day and you're getting money off of that, enough that you can live off of and you have a little bit to have fun, instead of using that for fun money all the time, maybe use it to take a course. Just one course. And you can just do that over time. Yeah, Part-time uni is totally fine. You can also do online classes. You could do online courses where they don't have like a limit, where it's a time time sync thing, where it's like you have to go to a class every day. You can just get the entire course in one go, and it's as fast or as slow as you finish it. You can actually do that. Shay's going to be doing that soon. So um, Shay's going to try and get a certification for doing rehabilitation for animals. So Shay will actually be able to do rehab for animals, like under cert, which is kind of a big deal. I think it's really, really cool, actually. So after after the new house goes through, that's what we're going to be doing is working on Shay getting that cert. Yeah, it's a big deal. Yeah. So that's that's pretty awesome stuff. So it, it really depends on what you want to do, man. You don't have to worry about it too much. Like you don't have to do one thing with your life. You can do all the things with your life. Also, the ferrets just crashed. I'm going to go fix that. We got crashing ferrets. Y'all have fun money? You have fun money. Do you know how I know that? You're in my chat. You're in my chat. And I think you have a sub, don't you? You do. How dare you. Don't sub if you don't have the money for it. You goblin. 26,000 hours? Yes. Yeah, don't sub if you don't have the money for it. Don't do that. No. You don't have to do that. Doesn't make... I, I think this is one of the biggest things subscribing to the channel doesn't make you a real viewer like some people kind of feel like that which is really weird i'm just happy you're here man so like you don't have to do that if you feel like it's some kind of like a social status thing or anything like that like nah dude like it's cool if you do but you don't have to not in any way not in any way at all i'm a fake viewer nice free recorded viewer no it's it's super important to me super important to me i knew it i'm not real <laughs> Actually, the only real one. Um, what you don't realize is that this has actually been an episode of The Truman Show. Your whole life has actually been The Truman Show. This is just another episode. We do the episodes every day, and uh, you finally figured it out. Yeah, I'm actually breaking script right now to tell you that you're the main character. And everybody else is hired actor. Yeah. But don't worry, we'll cut that from the broadcast. It'll be fine. No one will know. Michael Grant with $1.99 said you're awesome and inspiring NG. Thank you, Thor. Do it anytime. You're awesome as hell. Thank you. Seriously. Get in there. Daily Pixel with 500 bits said, Hey Thor, I am Hi. from Germany and paid 5,000 euros to get into a front-end dev course for retraining into an IT job. You think I can still be front-end dev in 5, 10, 15 years with all the AI stuff going on? Sorry for the English. Your English is totally fine. I think you asked this either earlier today or yesterday. Yeah, no, um, same exact answer as before. Always invest in yourself. Yeah, always invest in yourself. It doesn't matter what AI could do in the future. It matters what you are able to invest in now. 
bet on yourself. Don't bet on a possibility of what could happen maybe in the future, right? It's not, it doesn't make any sense. If you want an example of this, go back to the 70s and 80s. They thought in the future, none of us would have jobs. Everybody would be just sitting around. There'd be flying cars. Robots would handle all of it for us. And now we have retrofuturism, but we don't have that future that they believed was going to happen. And if you would have bet, it, bet on that future, you would have not invested in yourself and you'd be pretty much useless now. So always invest in yourself. Learn. Do now. Always. Don't worry about what could happen. Do it now. Right? And I think that's very important to understand. And by investing in yourself, you learn other cursory things as well. You know, doing a front-end dev course is going to teach you a bunch of logical process and design philosophy that's going to help you everywhere else. Yeah, the belief of the post-scarcity society. We're not there yet. And the idea of, of being like, well, I don't have to learn anything because I'm, I'm not going to have to know anything later. What if you do have to know something? And you don't get that time back. Is it worth it? Because I don't think it is. Always invest in you. Always invest. What if I'm stupid? You're not. Yeah, doing courses in AI just because it's interesting? Good. It's good shit. Also, holy shit. Ugh. That hype train, dude. Hold up. Ugh. You guys got a hype train going. That's a lot of subs, by the way. I saw them going through, but I was in the middle of a rant. It's incredibly nice of you. Thank you. Seriously. Thank you. Is there a laundry command? What does that even how mean? How I, I, why with 500 bits said how much wood can a woodchuck chuck? If a woodchuck could chuck wood. All the wood that a woodchuck could chuck, woodchuck could chuck wood. What about Irish wristwatch? You ever said that out loud? Irish wristwatch. Yeah. Zed live from Pluto with 500 bits said hello. My degree is in computer programming. However, nice. I decided to go the route of server and network administration and engineering. Nice. I'm 52 and have been doing this as work for 31 years. Cool. After watching your streams, I have decided to create a video game. Learning as I go on this journey. Hell Thank yeah. you for inspiring me. I have joined your Discord to use as one of my resources. Any suggestions for my start down this road? Shitload of them. Let me show you. That is if I could type on my own keyboard. Whoop. Behold, develop.games, a website that I created for you. And now that I link this, it's it's dead. Just just bookmark it. Just bookmark the website. I know. I know it's I know it's dead. I know. Just bookmark it. But it's an entire website talking about everything you need to make video games. All of it. Start at picking a genre. Read the game design document. It's very important. Incredibly important for you to have that. Game design document is an example of how to design out what you want to build. No, not your democracy. It's not dead from democracy. <laughs> it's not what it means. Why are you like this? I swear to God. But yeah, no, this is this is for you to learn how to make games. And it's, it's there for you. It's as many resources as I can pile together for you. So. Or Super Earth. Dead democracy. Goblin hug is not democracy. I mean, it kind of is. Yeah, 500 kilograms of democracy on my website. Thanks, guys. Gavriluka with 500 bits said this might be inappropriate, but I've always wanted to get into game dev, mostly in writing. Do you have a need for a bit of lore or at least item flavor text for this game? I've no. been writing for myself for a while, but nothing came of it yet, and I'd love to work in your team. I don't, I don't have a need for that at all right now. But that being said, um, there's always there's always people who do. I do all the writing for Heartbound, so there's nothing that I really need in that regard. But I would check out the writing section of our Discord. There's a huge amount of people in there. And I think that's good. Is Helldivers 2 dead now? I played that for half the day yesterday. I play that every day on stream. And you come to stream and you say that the game is dead? What? No object permanence. No object permanence.
How do you identify fake friends from real friends? Very easily. Do you know how to identify fake friends from real friends? When you have a very shitty situation, when it's very bad, and you reach out for help, who actually is there? If you reach out to somebody for help and they can't and they don't want to help you, even though they have the potential to do so, even though they have capability to do so in that moment, if nobody's there to help you, if they decide not to, even though they have the resources required to do so, and they have the ability to do so, and it wouldn't be any kind of pushing on them, it's very easy to find out who's your friend or not. A lot of the times, I throughout my life, I've found people that are friends. We call them fair weather friends. Friends that are there when everything is good, but the moment anything goes wrong, they ghost. That's not a friend. Generally not. Yeah. Next. Something the wise with 500 bits said with all of your popularity and the exposure to Heartbound, I expect there will be a speedrun scene established. Yeah. What are some cool non-standard runs? As in not just get a certain ending or take a certain path, you'd like to see people run. There was actually a speedrunning community around Heartbound very early on, and the way that they handled it was they tried to beat the game as quickly as possible using only their feet. Which I thought was really funny. And that happened when I implemented um, controller support. Because they were like, oh, I can play with my feet now. And I was like, you can, you can what? <laughs> and they would actually record themselves beating the game with their feet. It was weird. It was a weird time. Yeah. I don't know if that's still around, but it was a thing. There's videos of that. Yeah, they had a foot cam. Yeah. Oh, there was also any percent foot and any percent sock. Because the game is full of socks, there were some people that would actually play it with socks on, on their controllers specifically. Let me just tell you, there's a speedrunning scene. There was. Yeah. I don't know if that's still around. But it got weird. It got real weird. Yeah. No, it's not a troll. I'm actually not trolling you at all. I'm being 100% honest with you. That was the thing. It was... It's a whole thing, dude. Weird as shit. The hype train's about to die. There it goes. Go API, go API, go. Small one can play Mario Odyssey with his feet. Nice. Dude. No, it's it's 100% honest. That's not a troll at all. That was real. Yeah, it's traditional handheld. Yeah, they were using like Xbox controllers. And it's done. Level 8. 41 subs, 2,741 bits. Thank you very much. That is very nice of you. Have some Emilio music. Wait, no. Have some extra avocado music. Also, <laughs> you guys have put me at, at rank 51 in their entire community in about, a, about an hour. <laughs> On Bitcraft. <laughs> Oh, it's very funny. It's very funny. It exploded instantly. We are 50% of the way to rank one right now. It's very, very funny. Is there a bit goal at the maximum? Yeah, the bit goals at the maximum. I can't do it until after the house stuff resolves. So I'm waiting on that. And then I'm going to be able to do all of it. So it'll be a thing. Have you met John Romero? No, I've not met John Romero. People say I look like him all the time. It's very funny. What's Bitcraft? We're actually looking at this game. Here, I'm going to link this in chat for you guys to make an account on it. Boop. We're actually climbing the leaderboard while we're doing this. It's quite funny. The game actually looks super compelling. Let me pull this up. Bitcraft. It's a... Um, here. Survival crafting MMO. And look at the character design. It's like super charming character design. I really, really like this. But yeah, it's a survival crafting MMO, dude. And it looks great. It looks really great, actually. I love the the weird robot character design too. Wonderful. Oh, I don't even time that one out, just ban that. Yeah, there we go. Killed it. Gross. Yeah, I love this though. Like this to me is like God, why is that there? This to me is like super compelling. I love this kind of kind of like low texture, low poly sort of design. I really enjoy that. 
really enjoy that. And I'm looking forward to see like what progression in a game like this looks like. But also the world is like Minecraft style, but using hexes. So you can modify the entire world. So like they raised the ground there to be able to make a trail. Which I think is very interesting. Yeah. They they've stated that they want it to work on a potato. Yeah, they want it to work like on a on like a super low end machine. Which is really cool. Blowing eyes are a bit creepy. I love that. Yeah, actually there's um let me pull this up. Bitcraft and Twitter. There was something that was on their Twitter that made me very happy as well. It's this. There's no crypto, no Web3, no blockchain, no NFTs, no drops, etc. in Bitcraft Online. Bitcraft is an upcoming open world sandbox MMORPG we hope you and your friends will enjoy. If you showed up expecting crypto or similar, there is none. We hope you will stick around and enjoy the awesome community and our game once it is out and ready to play. That is fantastic. Yeah, it's really good. Is there PvP? I don't know yet. This is the kind of thing that I'm interested in, though. Like, this is sort of the environment that I'm interested in. I also like the character creation stuff. I like the the, the way that they've they've allowed you to change the look of the character, and the world is compelling to me. I also like that the ground is seamless when all the piles, like the hex tiles, are all... Yeah, they use hexes. And when all the hexes are the same same height, the world is seamless, which I think is very interesting. Yeah, I'm, I'm digging it, though. Like, I'm really digging this. Yeah, I love I love Hextiles. I really love Hextiles. So anyway, there's the link for it. That's the that's the link for that. And it's affiliate link that gives me XP for, like, community XP for this. And I think it gives everyone else in the community XP, too. Our community XP is at 112,550 right now. I have no idea what that does. We're going to find out. <laughs> also, the website's dead again, so that's great. <clears throat> Every time I show you the game, it does. What do you think, Grim Fandango? Love Grim Fandango. Love Grim Fandango. Top rank gets keys. Is that what it is? Let me get the leaderboard. What does the leaderboard do? Join us, chat. Join us. The EXP is used in raffles for keys? Oh, and I can give them to the community. That'd be awesome as shit. I just like leaderboards. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's very funny. Yeah, it's dead again. We keep killing the website. More of us would sign up, but the site keeps dying. Shit. Looks like they're doing both PC and Mac first. Yeah, Rubber Ross is talking about it now, too. Did you... Hold up. Is this AI generated? Don't tell me that's real. I'm not seeing any telltale signs of it being AI generated. God damn it, it might be real. It's probably fake, but it might be real. There's no fingers. There's nothing that looks weird. Looking at all the like light details, it's correct. No, oh, it might be real. It might be real. It's a seven cow. God damn it. Could be Photoshop. It is real. I saw it like five years ago. I'm glad to know that the, the, the definition of real now is that it came out before AI. That's great. Seven cow. Oh no, the seven cow is 100% real. Yeah, no, the seven cow is one hundred percent real. They've got it from multiple angles. Yeah, it's a real cow. Seven cow is real. Seven cow, dude. Seven cow is real. All right, next. Kirisaki with three thousand bits said, "Yard cheer, three thousand. Hey, Thor, hope you get here." 
If not, I'm glad to support charity. I usually thank come here much. to ask for advice, but today I just want to say thank you. I'm a single parent of a special needs kid with my own health issues and not only have I made my first game on Steam, published my first set of books, but now I'm working on my next books and my kid wants me to make a game for her. And it is thanks to you being one of the lights in my darkness that I keep going. That's awesome as shit. That is so goddamn cool. Good for you. Good for Link your games. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see them. Yeah, link them, dude. That's freaking awesome. You're cool as shit, man. Seriously. Kurosaki with 500 bits said, Yar cheer 500, I know you don't need me to tell you, but never stop being you, man. Nah. You were a light to so many of us, young and old, and we're happy to support you and be your community, Yar heart. Well, thank you very much. And, um, link your game, damn it. <laughs> Neko Genez with 5 euros uh. said, Copying is the highest form of flattery, but today was the 100th DMCA I had to do for my hobby gaming blog. Yeah. How you avoid demotivation from that? I don't. I don't get demotivated from that. Every day, I file between 5 and 20 DMCAs. And every time I do it, oh. Oh, it's vitamins. It's even better when that person reaches back out to me and they're like, please, please remove the strike from my YouTube account. I, I shouldn't have done that. And I'm like, you're right. And they're like, but remove the strike from my YouTube account. I'm like, no. No. That strike is there because you shouldn't have done that. And now it gets to stay. You and Chet, Kurosaki, show me. Kurosaki, link your game. Link your game again. I can't find it. Yeah, I look them in the eyes and I whisper. No. Abyssal Frontier. I think we talked about this, didn't we? I think we did. Did we talk about this game? Yeah, we did talk about this. Yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. I want to leave this up. Yeah, this song is really good. What's a DMCA? Digital Millennium Content Act. When someone steals your shit, you DMCA and they have to take it down or you go to court. Yeah, and they basically just take it down because they're afraid of litigation. It's already in your wish list. Well, now it's in mine. Yeah, it's an official novel. It's really good shit. Mr. Frontier is a choice-driven cosmic horror visual novel with light RPG elements, time loop mechanics, and dating sim suggestions. Mystic Nemesis with the 10 gifted subs. Thank you very much. It's incredibly nice of you. Yeah, copyright. Digital Millennium Copyright Act, not Content Act. Whatever it is. It's mine. Whatever it is. Basically use my stuff without my permission. Stop it. No more TTS, it's perfect. Now it's Yo -yo not. Yo-Yo 762 no. with 500 bits said one horse can generate 15 horsepower. What did you just say to me? How many horsepower is one horse? What? Why isn't one horse equal to one horsepower? When you average the output of a horse over the course of a workday, it ends up being around a horsepower. So that... A horsepower isn't what a horse can do in under strenuous activity. It's over the course of the entire day. What is horsepower for a car then? Is, is horsepower for a car like in the moment that you accelerate or is it over the course of an entire day? I just don't understand anything about cars. I don't understand anything about cars anymore. I never knew anything about cars, but now I know even less. I feel like this conversation has actually reduced my amount of understanding of cars. So confused. 
I don't know anything about cars. Horsepower is dumb. Horses are dumb. Horses are dumb, Chet. Also, I'm trying to reload Bitcraft, and it's dying over and over again. I want to see where we are on the leaderboard. Horses are smart, though. No, horses are very dumb. <clears throat> when I was young, when I was young, I got to be around horses all the time because my mom owned horses. And um, horses are like the dumbest animal that's ever existed. They love to, like, throw themselves at things, even those things are, like, dangerous. They love to throw themselves at things. They love to get injured on stuff, and they're afraid of stupid shit. Like, a line in the road, they're like, I won't touch that line, I won't go near that line, and they start freaking out, and they're afraid of it. That's why you have to put blinders on them, because they're idiots. Horses are very dumb. They're sweet. They're lovable. But they're idiots. It's just kind of how it is. It's kind of... Horses are really dumb, dude. They're, but they have soft noses. The, the one reason that I like the horse the most is this soft face. Soft face. Soft nose. But I can also get that off a capybara, and a capybara is not dumb. So, to be real with you, I don't think the horse has anything going for it, frankly. I really don't. I'm just, horses are jerks, they're dumb, and their soft nose is replicated by the capybara. Let's get a capybara. They're better. They're better. Easy Vecna. <laughs> it's easy Vecna. Their leaderboard is down, by the way. We've killed their leaderboard. What about Cappy Nuts? I mean, think of all the coconuts, yeah? True. Horses are fast, though. Would you rather be fast and dumb or slow and smart? I'd rather be slow and smart. You know why? Think of being a capybara. You just lay in the bath all day, dude. Running around, being a dumbass all the time. Nah, dude. Lay in the tub. Lay in the tub and be smart. Capybara. Capybara beats a horse any day. Yep. 100%. I'm slow and dumb. Oh. Well, you just, you're a horse in a tub, dude. Don't worry about it. <laughs> it's totally fine. It's a fine way to live, you know? You're a tub horse. It's fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah, what is the horsepower of a capybara? Actually. We're about to get ads. I'm going to investigate this. What is the horsepower of a capybara? Is this a new sentence? Happy bars can run at 35 kilometers an hour? What the shit? It's like Usain Bolt, dude. Dude, Usain Bolt ran at 27.78 miles per hour. He's the fastest man alive. A capybara runs at 21 miles per hour as an average. <laughs> We're really D tier. We are. Humans are D tier animals. Like, what the hell, dude? That's insane. You don't want to know. The only thing I can find is a capybara driving a vehicle. Which is not what I want. It's not what I want! The community XP is going up, Chet. We're at 125,000. The goal is 200,000. We're doing it. What's he running from? Capybaras. Music on Spotify? No. It is on Steam. It's only on Steam. I was trying to get back to the referral code and I can't. Because the website is dead again. <laughs> I just need to leave it up. What if we measured in ferret power? What if we did? 
Oh, wait, got it. It loaded finally. Here, go. Go, 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 go. Website's not dead yet. You can sign up. When I put the OST on Spotify, because you have to go through a publisher and then you have to go through that whole entire process. And we did originally with a with a company and that company sucked and they didn't pay us and it was awful. And then we had to do like a big call out post. And then we finally got away from them and it was awful. And I don't ever want to do that again. So we put it up on YouTube and then we also put it up on Steam. Yeah. Milf, man, I love ferrets. You know, I feel like there's a bumper sticker in that. Fantastic. No, DistroKid, you say DistroKid to publish your own music. They are still the publisher of your music. You are not publishing your own music. You're publishing music through DistroKid. Do not confuse the two. Milk Bomber sticker already exists, but it's for frogs, not ferrets. It's gotta be ferrets, dude. Alright, I'm gonna go back to the leaderboard. Is it working? Nope. Their shit's broken. We are absolutely pummeling their website by trying to sign up for it. <laughs> it's very funny. Bitcraft is in YouTube chat? Wait, Bitcraft, are you actually on YouTube chat? Are you there? Bitcraft? Are you there? Why is it broken? Too many people. There's just too many of you guys. So every time it comes up, I let you know, and then more people sign up for it. You are in there! Hello, Bitcraft. What is up? So, I'm sorry about your website. There's just... It, you're over on the YouTube side of stuff. There's about 1,300 people over there. There's 10,633 over on the Twitch side. So between the two, it's about 12,000 people. So every time I bring up my affiliate link for it, the, the site... Well... So I'm sorry, but we've we've signed up a lot of people. We've climbed the leaderboard. I think it's in like slot 40 now or something like that. So by the end of this, we'll probably be rank one. But your your game looks incredibly compelling. Uh, if you don't know who I am, I've been in the gaming industry for about 20 years. I used to work at Blizzard. Then I worked for Amazon Game Studio. Then the United States Department of Energy. I'm a hacker, uh, pen tester. And I quit all of that to go open my own studio called Pirate Software. And now what I do is I kind of head the software and game development category here on Twitch and talk about video games and teach other people to make games and get people interested in the industry. And like your game looks cool so i talked about your cool looking video game and now your website is dead i'm sorry about that <laughs> feel bad but it's actually people they're real human beings they're not bots they just like the game they think it looks good yeah good problems to have thank you anytime yeah i'm sorry that your site is dying though that's got to be it's it's always stressful for the sys admins what game is this bitcraft i have a link it's likely dead right now there's the link for that Scroll down on the webpage so you can read more of it. You can actually read it anytime at develop.games. That's the website I set up for you to teach you about making video games. Yeah. Ta-da. Maybe I can make this smaller. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. There we go. Now it all fits. Wait. Huh? Huh. All right. What do you use for those fun little ferrets at the bottom? That's actually stream avatars. The problem is, is there's so many of you guys that this crashes all the time, and I've been using it for, well, a while, right? You know, just, just a while is how long I've been using that. Yeah, I've been streaming for seven years, my dude. Is it gonna work? Oh, it said human verification this time. I'm trying to reload the, I'm trying to reload the uh, leaderboard. But yeah, I'm actually interested. So, Bitcraft, since you're in chat, some of the people are asking, is there a PvP plan for this game at all? Is it all PvE? Because, you know, with the survival aspects on this and the town building aspects, people are wondering about, like, some of the extra features for it. It looks incredibly compelling to me. I like it. Because I, I love the idea of town building. Very much so. And I love the idea of doing that in an MMO space. I think it's rad as shit, frankly. I think the other question, too, is, is this on a singular server infrastructure like you guys are running the server or is it individual servers like minecraft would be where you can build our own server yeah we're gonna break your stuff just by looking at it i know it's it's rough it's not intentional it's just interested people 
It is called the Hug of Death, chat. The hug of death is when you have legitimate human beings that are incredibly interested. Not fighting focus. That's cool. That's totally fine. What's the BGM? All of this is from our game Heartbound. You find it here on Steam. Behold! The Vidya game. Have you ever programmed in core Java? Job. Mm. Trove had a similar idea? Trove is PvP focused. Or Trove is combat focused, rather. And it's dead again. Yeah, Trove is fully combat focused. I, I play Trove. Love Trove. Can you as a developer open sales in a country for your game, or is it Steam Politics? I can open up sales anywhere I want to. Any way that I want to. If I do have a sale for the video game, it's going to be available for everybody, though. In fact, I need to set up another sale right now. Give me a moment. Because I just realized there's the upcoming sale for this. I don't think I set it up. Oh, Steam changed their whole UI for devs. It's so much better. Whoa, dude. Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. It's like a calendar now. We did it. All right. We're set up for the spring sale and the summer sale now. That should make life easy. I'm really glad they updated this UI. This is so much better. It's so much better. I never realized how many different festivals Steam has. Turn-based RPG Fest, Planes, Trains, and Automobiles Fest, Space Exploration Fest, Rhythm Fest, Fighting Games Fest, Tower Defense Fest. Like, I didn't realize they did this all the time. Which is wild to me, frankly. It's, like, really wild to me. That's cool as shit. What language do I use for Heartbound? Game Maker language, very similar to C Sharp or Java, and it's good. We're in the world on our own software. Space Time DB, nice. Our own server software, good. Good for you. Okay, so it's all going to be one one singular server infrastructure under you as an MMO. That's much more compelling to me. That's good. Yeah, it's very similar to C Sharp or Java if you ever used those before. I'm actually really happy about this, dude. Like, your guys' game looks really cool. I like the art style. I like the gameplay direction for this. I think that the hex tiles are very, very interesting to me. Um, more often than not, we don't see hex tiles. You usually don't see hex tiles inside of kind of destroyable or modifiable worlds. I think that's very interesting. One thing I'm, I'm kind of interested in, since it is an MMO, what are there restricted places in which you can build? Or does the whole world revert over time? Is there land ownership like how does that manage itself because you're always going to get people that are like i'm going to dig down to the bottom of the world right and like how does that fix itself over time or do we create scenarios where like this terrain is just impassable you know what i mean like since since you have a localized server infrastructure i'm, I'm wondering what is the mechanic for self-remedying that sort of behavior because that's always the thing in like minecraft minecraft you you have a world and that world just turns into failure after like maybe a week of people looking at it you know there's always the dwarves yeah there's always the dwarves bitcraft giving me eve online vibes without the spaceships they said it wasn't it wasn't uh combat focused everywhere it gets keep uh everywhere it gets harder to keep a claim the bigger the area game is basically 2d okay that makes sense that makes a lot of sense okay so it, it will regenerate over time and the more claim that you have the harder it is to maintain that's good 
That's really good. Anytime you have something like this, guys, anytime you have a world that is modifiable by the player and it's supposed to be a shared world, there has to be some kind of a way for doing self-cleaning or self-remedying where the world has to heal itself. We have it in Block Game as well. So Block Game is a modified version of Minecraft that we made. And the way that it works is when somebody owns a town, they can modify anything inside of the town. When the town dies over time, if they don't maintain it, then that town will eventually fall into ruin and then the, the nature heals itself and repairs the ground where it used to be. And that's, that's kind of all that was, right? It's very simple, very easy to do. Thank you for the gifted memberships. Very nice of you. Do you have a good French toast recipe? Oh, dude. It's got to have cinnamon and sugar on it. Powdered sugar is a must. Cinnamon is a must. It's very rare I make French toast because I don't like sugary foods. But like, yeah, cinnamon powdered sugar is a must, dude. You have to. And you have to use... Usually you don't use fresh bread. Fresh bread is kind of not good for that, frankly. And you got to soak it in the egg. Like really soak it in the egg. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, someone's over... Yeah. Da, over on YouTube, you stale bread, bingo. Super agreed. Texas toast. Texas toast. You got to get that thick toast. I agree with that. 100%. Stale bread, Texas toast, man. All right. Let's see. Oh, it might be dead. I'm trying to see if it's alive. We are 50,000 away from rank one. <laughs> Why still bread? Just makes it better. Makes it better. I'm reading your pirate software wiki. Is it true you helped the US government? Yeah. So my last job, my last official job was actually hacking power plants for the federal government in the United States. I worked for the Department of Energy and I found vulnerabilities in power plants and infrastructure around power plants to in order to make our grid safer. That was my job. I actually got three black badges at DEF CON, which got me that job. So my third black badge, my first black badge, we were like, wow, that's cool. My second one was like, hey, wait a minute. And then the third one, the government was like, would you like money? And I was like, I love money. And then they took me away and I got to go work for the for the DOE. I worked there for a while. We had seven people on our team, which Chad is going to love. And then four of them quit at the same time because they wanted to open up their own security firm and do their own thing, right? And uh, yeah, they wanted to take my 10 weeks a year of obligation of flying around the country and turn that to 30 weeks a year of flying around the country. And I said no. And that was it. And I quit and I was going to take about a week, maybe two weeks to go figure out what I wanted to do. And two days later, Jack Septic I played our game Heartbound. And now I'm here. And I've been doing this for seven years now. <laughs> Which Chad is, again, also going to love. Yeah. Yeah. A hacker either gets arrested or gets a job. No. No, they just get a job. Don't be a dumbass. Right? How old am I? I'm 36. The leaderboard is out, out of action. Says Gateway Timeout. It has died, Chad. You've killed it. You've killed it with your love. You've hugged it to death. Although the community XP keeps going up. I'm at 151,800 now. It is rising, Chad. It is rising. With the amount of us that are actually interested in this, I will make a section of the Discord for it. We've got about 90,000 more people on the Discord. So I'll likely make a section of the Discord for this. I need to make one for Helldivers as well. So we'll be doing that soon. Yeah. We don't get the community XP. I will give you guys keys when this happens. Because it says number one XP earner gets 10 alpha keys. Number two gets five alpha keys. Number three gets three alpha keys. I'll give you guys alpha keys. We'll, we'll give them out to the community. Hey. Yeah, we'll, we'll put Helldivers up there and we'll put Bitcraft up there. Because the game looks very good. Do you have a site you recommend for doing non-time limited courses? Code Crafters. There's a link for it inside of the programming channel, specifically under resources. Uh, join the programming role on Discord and then go to the resources section in there. Yeah. It's working. Let me see if there's any more quests I can do. They had a set of quests too. Boop.
Yeah, this looks good, dude. This looks really, really good. I just want to... I just want to dig, dude. I want to dig the world and have fun. 30... Wait, what is this? The Your 30s are your 20s with money. That's very funny. <laughs> That's very funny, actually. If you play it right, maybe. You know? Are you friends with Marcus Hutchins? No. I am not. I do not know them. Known as Malware Attack, British computer security researcher. Known for stopping the WannaCry ransomware attack. Oh. Yeah, I don't know him. Don't know him. Amazingly, not all hackers know each other, unfortunately. <laughs> it's Oh, it's a medically read YouTube. I always read YouTube chat, you goblin. You just don't realize it. I hope my 40 will be 30 with money. You know what I want. You know what I want. I just want a pumpkin pie. That's all I want. I don't I didn't even give a shit what age that's at. Any any age. I just want a pumpkin pie. That's it. And I'm fine with that. Whipped cream? No. Just the pie. Just the pie, dude. Just the pie. Next alert. Foodie to live with 500 bits said hey Thor, wanted to ask for some advice. I recently started my game dev journey after finishing my degree, and now work on a few indie games, I want mm. to move into a professional environment so badly but the things I've heard about AAA studios is really disheartening, I'd it love to be. work on those large scale games as a full time job BC I'm genuinely passionate about making them but I don't want to be overwhelmed and stressed out, I'm not sure what to do especially with the state of the industry. Honestly, that's a really tough one. That's a really, really tough one. Um, every time that I've ever worked for a AAA, any time I've had any experience in any of those, it has been a huge amount of overwork. It's been a very dramatic reduction in pay over any other thing you could do in your career. Like if you're a software engineer and you work in games, you're going to make less money. If you're QA and you work in games, you're going to make less money. Pretty much across the board, if you work in games versus working anywhere else, you're going to make less money, except for under very specific circumstances. And do you know where they are? As weird as this is going to be, Amazon Game Studio. Amazon Game Studio was the best place I ever worked. Hands down. And the reason why is because they paid me correctly. They actually paid me what my value was as a dev. And I only worked eight hours a day. No overtime ever. You went home immediately. I, would actually, I was actually sitting at my desk the first day. And I was like, what the hell is going on? Because everyone got up from their desk and just all started leaving. And I was like, What's going on? They're like, oh, it's it's time to clock out, dude. Like, we're done. And I was like, what do you, what do you mean you're leaving the office on time? What do you, what do you mean? Because I was so used to Blizzard that I had no idea what the hell was happening. It wasn't, it was like not fathomable to me, right? So like, AGS is definitely something good. And I think the reason that it works isn't because it's Amazon, but it's because it's a game company that isn't bound by game company money. You don't have to have the same kind of restrictions in place. They're a, they're a company that is also making games. And if you can find a situation where it's a company that is also making games, likely you're going to have better conditions, is how I've learned this. Yeah. It doesn't mean the games that come out are going to be great. Like, New World was kind of a flop, right? It's not not really in a good good spot. It was managed really shitty. The game is not very good. The engine that I worked on when I was there was Lumberyard. Lumberyard is kind of shit, right? So it doesn't mean the things you're making are going to succeed. But that's true anywhere. I'd rather work somewhere with good conditions and good pay, even if the games that I make don't end up being amazing. So I would say, to be real with you, look for a company that's a company that also makes games. AGS may be unique in this. It could be. But... That's my experience that I had with it, which was good. Yeah, super good for that. And I, I don't know, man. It's a rough thing to look at. You have to, you have to talk to people that work there. You have to research anybody that you're going to go work for because so many of these game companies, they prey on the feeling that you have for the games that they have, the emotional attachment you have, and they just treat you like shit as a worker. It happens all the time. It happened to me, and I didn't leave for an egregious amount of time. I should have left much earlier, but I was, I was young and stupid, frankly. And I don't want you to do the same. Yeah. Anti Anub with 10 Australian dollars said you should swap the chickens and cows drops so the cow drops eggs and chicken drops leather. No, I won't do that. That's not, there is chicken leather though. 
Is there a trend where indie game devs go towards making old school video games because of nostalgia? It's not really just because of nostalgia. A lot of the times they're they're structurally easier to create. They still hit the market really, really well. And they're things that we really enjoy anyway, right? If you put a pixel art game in front of a kid, you'll find they play it just as well as anything else. It's easy. Gurn says Microsoft has been kind of hit or miss with their acquisitions. Yeah, that's true. I don't know how that would work with Microsoft. Microsoft does some really harsh shit after they buy a company. Yep, bigger market for more devices. That's something that's really important about kind of lower end graphically games. They're not graphically intensive. The reason why that's important is because it hits so many different like consoles. It hits so many different devices. There's so many low end computers that can play this now. All of it is good. You want that. They're being goofy right now. A little bit. A little bit. Boop. Let's see. Yeah, much larger audience. My goal for years has been to get into AAA and hope for the best and prep for the worst. Here's something here's something to understand. You are going to if you go and work in AAA, you will learn a shitload. And you won't just learn things that are good. You'll learn things that are bad. Things that you saw that they did that made no sense. And you're like, when I run a studio, I'm never going to have that happen. Well, guess what? I did that for seven years. And now I'm here running my studio where we're not doing any of those things. And that's that. That's, that's really all it comes down to. You will learn a ton of shit this way. And it's a good thing to learn a ton of shit this way. <clears throat> You'd probably be in a very large team, likely. And you learn from everybody else. You learn from everybody else. Any examples? Sure. Um, I found that the core values of Blizzard generally got twisted into weapons under specific managers' goals. And because of that, I was like, well, I know Mike Morheim cares a lot, but many managers try to twist that for political gain inside of the company, like some kind of hierarchy, totem pole shit. And Mike can't see that. He loves the company, but these people are using it as a weapon. And he can't stop that. I never want my company to ever grow so big that that can't happen. That that can happen for me. So what I did is I said, okay, our studio is only ever going to be three to five developers. Ever. And the reason why is because that's what works for a D&D team. If it works for a Dungeons and Dragons team, then it works for us. Three to five people is optimal when you're playing D&D. There's no communication loss. It's the same for our dev team. And it works awesome. Works great to be honest with you. Any of the teams that we have inside of our studio, in terms of management, in terms of, of uh, moderation, anything like that, the goal is to have them to be three to five people so that there's never a loss of communication there. So a manager will have three to five people. Any of that stuff. Always. And with that in mind, checks and balances have to go through it. Another thing that I always try to do is I do the exact same jobs that other people in the company are doing, just like Mike did. And I know that that works because I watched him do it. So if I need to go and do some art stuff, I go do some art stuff. If I need to see how Stein is doing music stuff, I do that. If I need to go moderate some stuff, I go moderate some stuff. I can't do it all of the time because they have a shitload of stuff to do. But I will stop and be like, I'm going to go do some moderation today. I'm going to go answer some tickets today. See what they're dealing with. See what's wrong with the system. And then fix that shit. Because sometimes employees will be like, hey, this shit's broken. But I'm not going to tell anyone. I'm just going to grumble about it. it. Happens all the time. Mike used to go down and do like, um, he'd do CS for a day, right? He'd go be customer service for a day and he'd fix the shit out of stuff. Because you go down there and do that for 24 hours and he'd be like, why is this like this? This is inefficient as hell. And they're like, well, it's always been like that. And he's like, fix it. You know, and he'd just fix that stuff immediately. Is there a bunch of like weird bots you guys are hitting? What is this? I keep seeing like piecemeal bots getting banned. It's very strange. <laughs> they all have like similar IDs. Oh, is it on Telegram? Let me go look. Oh. Oh, yeah, no. Collect all those names. Yeah, Jake, collect all those names for me. And then, um... Yeah, they, they don't show up in alerts. We actually don't have that. So this is, this is a pretty common bot tactic. It's actually something I've talked to Twitch about a little bit. Basically what it is, is these bots, they put a bunch of links in their bio. So they put a link in the bio, right? And what they do is they raid a channel endlessly with one person and the reason they do this is because they're hoping that the alert comes up 
so that people can see them. It's a way to advertise their channel. And then they hit get you to do a link, and then that link takes you somewhere that, that scams you or some other shit. So, like, this is a pretty common one. It's a really weird one when it happens. Yeah, it's weird. It's a weird one. So it's it's a it's it's a shitty thing. If you ever see something like this, a raid, and you see a link in a bio like that, don't click it. Don't be dumb. So this is this is my cautionary tale to you. Don't be an idiot. And um, we always take all these bots. Give me the list of those when you guys are done, Little Ham and, and Jake. And if you give me that list of accounts, I'll just go take it over to Twitch. They'll ban them all. They'll they'll permit them. And it's easy peasy. Yeah. Yeah. 29th on Bitcraft? Ooh. Is it going up? I'm trying to refresh it. It keeps breaking. Now nah, the leaderboard doesn't even work for me. Oh, wait. Rank 30, chat. Chat. We have 176,200 points versus 203,000. We're rank number 30 right now. Rank number 30. And the website is back online. I'm going to go back into the referrals page. I'm going to give you guys the link again. We're almost there. We're almost there. We've done it all through Twitch chat and YouTube chat as well. There you go. It's not broken anymore. Should take on Undertale? Fantastic game. I think it's awesome. Toby Fox is a really nice guy. Talked to him a couple of times. He's very cool. Spinning on watching long tutorials for learning something? No. No. The way that I learn stuff, the way that I always tell people to learn stuff, is you start a project, you do something, up until you get stuck. When you get stuck, you're going to want to refer to the documentation. Documentation is probably not going to help you if you're not very tech savvy with this kind of stuff, or if it's just not going to help you because it's sort of overwhelming. Then go do the tutorial. That tutorial, the moment it gets you unstuck, you stop doing it. And you continue on your way until you get stuck again. You do this again. You have to do this over and over and over again. It, tutorials are not there to binge. If you binge tutorials, you get stuck in what we call tutorial hell, which means you're just doing tutorials forever. And you're never doing anything else. Yeah. It died again? God damn it. It's okay. It's okay. There's the link. Hold the link for yourself. Hold the line. <clears throat> We're going to keep trying. They've given us a goal. And they said it's a good problem to have, so... Somebody went on to my thing saying that, like, hey, I like this, this game. And they said, hey, use my referral link on there. I just hit the reply on Twitter. Hilarious. Are you Alliance or Horde? I know of the Horde, but Alliance is a very strange way to spell honorable kill. Yeah, I don't think that's what that means. A little bit weird. Might want to spell that better, I think. And it's Horde and honorable kills. Those are the only, the only two things there. Yeah. Yeah, a little bit of Loktar Ogar. Yeah, just a little bit. A little bit of For the Horde. All right. A little bit of Zug Zug. Yeah. It was Bitcraft. Upcoming MMO. Looks awesome. Really excited for it, actually. You know how I know it's a hit tweet? When I get a nudes in bio re response. Blocked. It's when you know it's good. That's when you know it's good.
Demo in bio? <laughs> no, not demo in bio. No, no, no. <laughs> oh. You guys are goblins, I swear to God. What's going on today? I'm answering questions. You guys are fine. Gator D with 500 bits said at Parade Software, are we allowed to use your curse face in our games? Avatar, character face, poster, ETCS. Uh, if you don't monetize my face, sure, I don't care. You want to put it in a video game. As long as it's not like weird. You do something weird with it, I'm, I'm going to be like, stop it. Stop it. Don't do that. Yeah. Demo man in bio. Oh shit. Personal studies with $10 said howdy. I'm new and love how edutaining you are. Thanks to you I've learned what I want to do with myself but can't figure out what form that should take. Any advice how to pick a medium of expression? Medium of expression. Can't figure out what I should take. Any advice to pick a medium of expression? Hmm. I think you should, you need to try a bunch of stuff. Anytime you're dealing with a situation where you're like, I don't know what I want to do creatively, you need to try a whole bunch of things creatively. Yeah. Try everything. Test drive that shit. Be like, you know what? I'm going to try some art stuff today. Try a little bit of programming stuff today. Maybe I'll do some writing. And you won't know where to start, and it'll be a little bit frustrating at first. So if you wait for a moment, you're like, I'm going to try something, and I don't care if it's any good, and we'll see... We'll see how I feel about the process. The process of learning in that. Is it too frustrating for me in a way that I don't want to do it? And I think it's fine. You know, try that. Wait, what is this? New enemies in Helldivers 2. Hunters now come in three types. Melee range with acid shots and explosive. Don't say those words to me. You are an absolute goblin. You're like a level of goblin higher than all other goblins in chat. That better not be true. Don't give me more hunters. Don't... The hunters already leap, have immunity frames, hit you, put acid into your body when they hit you, and spike through your armor. And I, I hope this is bait. It's... I know it's not even good bait, but I'm taking it. I'm taking the bait. Because holy shit, that better not be real. Now stalker charger and an armored stalker? Dude, did you know they, they actually gave stalkers auto cannons? Did you know that? So when they kill your teammate, they actually equip the auto cannon, and they can use auto cannons now. One of them will carry a backpack; the other one actually gets the auto cannon, and they leap at you while shooting. Yeah, it's true. It's true. Yeah. Yeah. I did. I saw the Carbot animations video for Helldivers. is wonderful. Carbot is so good, dude. I love the shit out of Carbot. I don't know what they did to automatons, but they're like the absolute worst to fight now. I haven't had a trouble piece of trouble fighting the automatons. The reason why I haven't had had trouble, I use the arc thrower. If you use the shield and the arc thrower, you rip them to bits. If you use the plaz scorcher, the like long range gun, you can actually shoot the um the battery packs on them, and that explosion blows up the battery packs, including on turrets, tanks, and hulks. You can just rip them apart, dude. The automatons are easy to fight. Unless you're doing it in the, the whatever that horrible creek is. Yeah, no, I'm not going to the creek. I'm not doing the creek, dude. I did it once. I'm out. I, 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 I lived. I did my time. You know. Scorcher. Yeah, the other thing is use the scorcher on the walkers. If you hit the front of the walker, the explosion actually travels through it and kills the guy behind it in three hits. So it's super useful. Like, the scorcher is amazing. I love that gun. It's so good. It's shit against uh, bugs, though. So, a shotgun against bugs. Reinforce the creek, you coward. You're a coward. Who made you this way? Alright, I'm linking it. Bitcraft is being linked. There you go. That first one has an extra apostrophe on it. Damn it. Alright. Oh! Wait a minute. We're ranked two.
We're ranked two. We're 3,000 points away. No, we're not ranked 28. We're not ranked 28 because the top one is has 203,000. We have 200,000. We're ranked two. Ranked two. Ranked two. We're at 201,000. Ranked two. Ranked two. Yeah, it thinks that we're ranked 28 when we're not. Because we're actually at 201,000. It thinks we're still at 178,000. It hasn't updated. For the Bitcraft leaderboard, for the community, I'm getting stuff for you guys. How to get points? Sign up using that link. Is it 2 mil? Oh, wait, do they have 2 million points? They have 2 million points. We'll just have to try harder. That's fine. We got 200,000 in a day. We'll do it. I'm going to go link it out on the Discord. This is it. Actually, I'm going to go make the rolls for this right now. Yeah, we're doing it. Already at 10%. Rolls. I need to create a roll for Helldivers real fast. That's what we'll do. Time to go make some rolls. We need to make some rolls. Let's see. Um, We're going to take Block Gamer, and we're going to duplicate this. Make a new one called Helldiver. Put that there and save it. Oh god. This is going to take forever. Save. I'm saving it all. And the next one is going to be Bitcrafter. How old am I? 36. How old are you? Don't answer that. You're on the internet, nerd. All right, let's see. Bitcrafter. Don't you? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, see that one right there? See that guy? So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you a cautionary tale. You see that dude right there that just said, I'm five? You see that one? Yeah, that dude has to be banned from the community. And Twitch is going to permanently ban his account from, from Twitch. Yeah. So this thing called COPPA, and uh, it's a federal law that they have to follow, where if you say that you're under the age of 12, or at the age of 12 or under on this platform, they have to permanently ban you. And the only way you can get unbanned is if you send in your actual government-issued ID to get unbanned. So don't do that. And some of you are going to get the call of the void right now, and you actually will be permanently banned on the platform. And there's nothing we can do to save you. Don't be dumb. Yeah. Oh, that's the wrong thing. I pressed the button that did the thing. I'm deleting that poll. No, don't vote on it. Don't vote on it. God damn it, I can't end it. Whatever. It's stuck now. I can't end the poll. Cursed enough? Sure. I hit the button that starts a poll. <laughs> I hit the button that starts a poll, chat. Don't do the poll. God damn it. You're going to do the poll more now, aren't you? You are. That's exactly what's happening, isn't it? It's right next to my music button. 500 bits said, hey, love your stream, right. and grats with the awards. I Thank was you. wondering if I can pick your mind and wisdom. I'm working as a dev for a small company 12 people, with one other dev making a niche product in a niche but rich sector and hitting some huge clients. The other dev is thinking of leaving in a few years and is grooming me to take his place. I'm hesitant if I am able, but would love the challenge, he has 20 years plus experience, him on 5 years. Any That's tips? pretty awesome. Yeah, I mean, let's see. Let me pull this up real fast. One moment. Let's see. I'm working as a dev for a small company with 12 people. Other dev making niche product. Niche. But a rich sector and hitting some huge clients. Okay. It doesn't matter how many years of experience you have. If that dude is training you to be able to take his place inside of that position and he's planning on leaving, I would take that. That sounds like something that would be really interesting for you to do. You're going to learn a lot of shit there. Either through training from him, where he's going to teach you things, or 
or specifically through that as well, like through the, doing the job itself and trying to find ways to advance beyond what he's done. New eyes on a project like that, new eyes in an area like that is always going to be beneficial. So yeah, I would, I would 100% do that, man. I would 100% do that. There'd be no reason not to. <clears throat> Yeah. <clears throat> Got a bunch of slime, dude. <clears throat> Alright, let's see. God damn. Yeah, it actually looks like we're 10% of rank 1. Let me go put this alert out. Let me go grab Helldivers. Where's me Helldivers? I'm gonna link this out to the community so they can have it. And I need to go into here, into our Discord real fast, and we're gonna grab server settings. And we will be doing the server products, no. Server subscriptions, no. Integrations, no. Where is this at? Discovery? Dude, I can't remember where I put this. It might be an onboarding. It is an onboarding. There it is. Maybe it's not an onboarding. Where is it? Where did you move this shit? I think it used to be an onboarding, but it looks like I can't see it there anymore. Jesus Christ, they have so many channels. Huh. Ah, there it is. Questions. Why does it say warning? Yeah, that's fine. It's fine. Whatever. All right, we're going to add... What games do you want to play? L Divers 2. Save. We need to enter a role, which is going to be Hell Diver. And we'll be giving an emoji. I need a, an emoji for Hell Divers. Oh, you know what? Where's democracy? I found your democracy. There it is. We don't have an animated one on the on the Discord. I have to do that. I have to add an animated one. I need an image of a hexagon, because hexagon is the best gun. I'm gonna put a peepo happy with it first, for now. It'll be an icon of people happy for now. Saving that. Find these under roles selection. Channels and roles. Oh god. Oh god, so many of you just joined the Discord. Oh god. Marking it as resolved. Jesus Christ, there's a giant yellow bar. Hold up. We've almost got it. It's almost done.
All right. Announcements. News. All right. That is now out as an announcement. Enjoy. Embeds are removed. Everything looks good. Manage democracy. And I will make sections on the Discord for those today. That'll happen. I'm going to get around to it. Is Donk7 a bot? I don't know, dude. I have no idea. Alright. Looks like everything is set up good. Looks like you got that announcement out. And everything should be fine. Nice. Nice. It's now going to die again. Fantastic. We've killed it, Chet. We've nuked it. It's dead again. Unfortunate. How many people are in the Discord now, actually? I need to check. I'm gonna do this while I'm doing this. It's Junth with 500 bits said, Okay, listen, I have to shout out the locals, Thor. I live in St. Louis, Missouri. If you think you're a root beer fan, you've got to try Fitz's root beer. Made and bottled down the street from me. All right. All right. I don't drink soda anymore. I haven't really had a soda in ages. I had a Bunderberg maybe last year, like four months ago, three months ago, something like that. Um. But, if you think you have a good one, I will try it. I always will. Yeah. 87,053 people in the Discord? Nice. Very nice. Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. Charlie Driggs with $10 said thanks for heart. The root beer. It's a rope here. No, thank you. Thank you very much. Bobia 123 with 500 bits said, Hey Thor, I hate mobile games. Okay. Not because I dislike mobile gaming, but because it feels like there's so many lazily developed cash grabs out there. There are. Even the games that are genuine often fall into the same old concepts like deck building and or dice, RNG gameplay. My favorite mobile games tend to be good games that happen to also be on mobile. What do you think the biggest hurdles are to making a good mobile <clears throat> game? I don't think that problem is unique to mobile games. I think that problem is is across all of creation, all of all of development of anything, video games, any of it. Frankly, um, if you play mobile games, you will likely see this type of a problem all over the place. If you go and scan scan through Steam, you'll see the same thing. The only difference between Steam and the mobile games, the ones on Steam cost money. The ones on mobile are free. So you're more free to go and check any of them out. And you go, wow, there's a bunch of cash grab pieces of shit in here. Because there's no barrier to entry. That's the only difference. It's the same. It's actually the exact same. Just the ones on Steam are like $3. $1 to $3 usually. Somewhere in there. So like, to be real with you, I I never found that to be a thing that's unique to, to mobile gaming. I just think it's a lower barrier to entry when you want to find them. Yeah. Mobile gaming is a cesspit of the gaming industry. I disagree entirely. Mobile gaming is the largest gaming industry in the gaming industry. Like, if, in terms of trying to get your game out there, mobile it has the most throughput out of anything. Out of anything, mobile does. It has more of a user base. It has more of the world able to be hit by your game actually being out there. And it's roughly the same in terms of monetization outside of ad revenue. Ad revenue is kind of unique to the mobile gaming space, frankly. Yeah. more people, have, Way more people have phones than consoles and PCs. Way more people. M way more people. And you see shovelware like that anywhere. On mobile, you see it on PC, you see it anywhere that games are made. 
right? Have you played Bad Rats on Steam? No. Let me find something. There we go. B2 Tech, is that is that what you have to add to the conversation? <laughs> Just butt ass, dude. Dude busts in the room, he's like, butt ass. <laughs> You're right there. Whoa, dude. It's pretty good. Yeah, exactly. Boom. Yeah. <laughs> Why? Kiwi XB with 23 euros and 99 cents said doing great dude keep it up. Thank you very much. You're awesome as hell. All right, you guys Kinch ready for Hell Divers? TV with 500 bits said it's sending time. love from Bitcraft community. Oh. You're all always welcome. Sorry about the bots. Bots? Oh, don't worry about the bots. That shit happens every day, dude. It happens every day. Cage the Kamikaze with 500 bits said I just started really? with Unreal Engine 5 and I'm making a top-down shooter just to get the hang of it but my end goal is an MMO any tips you could give me on that. Also thanks for the inspiration Thor <clears throat> you're awesome. Yes. I have a really good example of this. There's a really really good example here. If you want to make an MMO, look at Realm of the Mad God. Realm of the Mad God is an MMO. And it's really good. And it's also simple. It's a simple game. It's a bullet hell that is very tough. And when you die, you drop all your stuff. And it's great. It's a good game. I actually really enjoy it. I like Realm of the Mad God a lot. And if you're trying to learn about like making MMOs as a smaller team, Realm of the Mad God is a very good example of how to do so. Yeah. Oh yeah, you don't drop your stuff, it's gone. Yeah, it dies. This was a goaded game. Is it bad now? I enjoy it. I haven't played it recently, but it's good. Yeah. Sucks playing it solo. I always played it solo. I always enjoyed it. Josh Strife Hayes made a somewhat negative review of it. Bleh. Bleh. You jump and you kill stuff, you get out. Right? Bleh. <laughs> Bleh. Wait, number 19? Is it still going up? Yes. Rise. Number go up. Number go up. Rank 19, Chet. We're now at 250,000 points. Is Ferret Software owned by you? Yes. Yeah, I run a Ferret Rescue with Shay. The two of us run that together. He remade that review saying he did a bad job of the first review? Really? Really? Yeah, Realm of the Mad God is good. And it's also a good example of, like, how to make an MMO as a smaller team. Anyway. It is now the gaming portion of the stream. As such, we're switching to gaming. One moment. Actually, wait. I think this might just do it. Ah, there we go. We're doing it, chat. It's happening. It's video games time. Because I've been streaming for eight hours already. And as such, it's time to hell dive. It's time to hell dive. Give me a moment. Because I closed all my windows because I'm an idiot. <laughs> you just close everything? You ever do that in your life? Oh, I need to change my command for this because it still says that I'm playing with Bajo. It's funny. I am not playing with Bajo. Hell divers. And we'll go to the Yubatuba. Fix it as well. You ever just say butt ass and close all the windows? Yeah, dude.
Oh, let's see. Yubatuba, where are you? Create. Go live. I need to grab my go live stuff and edit it. Love this song. A grindy emo that pretends to be primitive? Eh. Beh. Beh. All right. Not an angry. Are you ready? Y'all inspire me? I don't know a damn thing. Despite this, I have to go through a long process of retraining myself. Awesome, dude. Make things. Proud of you. Playing with viewers? Yeah. If you want to jump in, that's fine. I'm going to do some level nines, kill some shit. I'm going to have a blast. Do we know when Heartbone will be on Switch when it's finished? Yeah. Digital or hard copy? Likely digital at first. There we go. For Super Earth. Thanks to you and Miko. Oh, dude, Miko's awesome. Super Earth. Super Earth for democracy. Yes. Uh, oh, yeah. They changed out the Superstore. What is this one? No. Is that a light armor 100 armor rating? It's got the speed, it's got the stamina, but it has double the armor. Hmm. But dude, I'm using the scout armor that reduces my uh enemy's sight of me by 30%. Yeah, less stealthy. I'd be losing stealth. I need the stealth. I need the stealth. I need the stealth. I'm keeping it. Yeah, I use the scout armor, man. Also, I managed to get enough super credits through gameplay that I unlocked the steeled veterans, and then I unlocked all of this stuff yesterday. It was really funny. We're not doing Malevolent Creek, dude. Oh, look, everybody's already in game. Nice, we're ready to go. The Galactic War awaits. The Galactic War. What are we doing? Angel's Venture? Is there a personal order? <gasps> chat. Look at my personal order, chat. It was made for me. It was made for me. The mines. Look at this Thor yearns for the mines. Deploy to the planet and expunge it. Yes. The operation proceeds smoothly. Mission coordinates. Mindsman. JP Mindsman. Attorney at Mines. Yeah, the mines. I yearn for the mines, dude. Yearn for the mines. Please. Please give me the mines. Orbit synchronized. All right, where are we going to land? Where do you guys want to go? Where do you think we should land? Is this a good idea? Where do you want it to be? What about here? What about here? Oh god, wait. All right, I think I should switch to Thick Man McNaught Die. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe I should be thick. Should I be thick? Let's be thick. Yeah, let's be thick a little bit. We're gonna be a little thick right now. Getting getting swole for this armor. So we can have like heavy heavy heaviness. Because we don't go anywhere, it doesn't matter. Oh the mines, chat. Oh. The mines, chat. It's time. It's time for the mines. 
time for the mines. Time for the mines. They change the armors again? No. It's just this is a mission where you don't move. So, like, there's no point in not having heavy armor. Poor teammates. Dude, I have a mission for this. I have to do the mines. There's no other choice. It's all about the mines. The mines. Seven accidentals? No. All of them. All of the accidentals. I have my orders. My orders are mines, Chet. A 500 kilogram mine. Wait a second. The order says to get 40 enemies using the antipersonal mine. Anybody who steps on my mine is counted as an enemy. Calling down fortifications. So you should know. Requesting advanced weaponry. Requesting fortifications. You count as an enemy if a mine hits you. Calling down a support weapon. Requesting tag pack. Huh. I haven't got any kills with my mines yet. This is upsetting. Oh, I got two kills with my mines. Good mines. Oh, he saw me. You may. Hmm. I need more mines. I need more mines. More mines. What gun is that? The Scorch? It's the planet Scorch. Thank you for the dollar thirty-three to the moderators. It's very nice of you. How many times do I have to reload this? Come on. See, I just popped this belly out, dude. Useful. I don't know what's doing that. Oh, the mines are under the crowd. The mines disappear. Invisible mines. Dead to my own mines. Beautiful. Beautiful. You know they're good mines then, Chet. Ah! Oh, it destroyed my beautiful... My beautiful robot. Yeah, those mines are invisible. That's fantastic. To be honest with you. Ugh, my organs! My organs! I'm running away! When do I get more mines? Oh god, you're not mines. Oh. Hey wolf, you want to kill the big man behind you to your left? You want to? Okay, it's dead. Never mind. I'm just gonna go up this way, so I don't die to my own mines again, because my mines are invisible. Invisible mines. Oh god. Why does it always have to be hunters? Nope. Get pops. Oh, my butt. Oh, my other butt. No. No. Ow. I blew myself up. Hey, cool mines. I'm doing well. Injury? What injury? Reinforcing! I almost have the mines. The mines are almost back. I'm ready. Sir? Max empty! <laughs> no! 
deeply rude. Oh. 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 Calling down fortification. Cool mines, dude. Requesting fortification. More mines. Additional mines. Requesting walker. It's time, Chet. Give me my beautiful ship. Calling in reinforcement. A heavy man and a robot. It's time. Glorious. Most glorious. How many did I get? I already got 19 of my kills, dude. Oh. Oh! All his parts came off. Beautiful. Squish. Hey, you guys think that I can take my robot home? You think I take my robot home? Why'd you just kill him? Why'd you do that? You think it'll work? Hey, wait. I'm gonna make my robot poop me out into the ship. Hey, wait, wait. Wait. Uh, oh, nice. That seems good. <laughs> Fantastic. It seems fine. All this is fine, yeah. Zealoth underscore gamer with 500 bits said let's play. Is Thor Ganna read this or is this Ganna be charity equals 3 I read did it. I win? I've Does gotten better at lose? reading them. You are less than 3. I've gotten better at reading these, so I'm getting faster. It's true. Animal Flame 4658 with 500 bits said hey Thor how do I get TTS and where do I spend all my money on the demo? Also been enjoying the hell out of Last Epoch, thank you for showing me the game. You just did, TTS. Also, Last Epoch is very fun. I actually had a blast playing it, dude. I've really, really enjoyed that game. The dead is in shambles. It is. It actually is. 7 C with 1000 bits said, Hey, as someone who is trying to learn about coding in their free time as a hobby, would you recommend any avenues to help? Yes, um, give yourself a small project. And it's, it's kind of funny because I always give the same advice, but the advice is always correct, right? So, like... What class did you play in Last Epoch? I played a Necromancer, and then I played a Druid. Really enjoy it. But yeah, so like, if you're trying to learn stuff, if you're trying to do anything at all, then that is the best way to do it, is to give yourself a project, and then follow that project and move forward. You know, and you'll get stuck, and you'll have to solve things, and you'll find new solutions, and you'll get better at making things. It's kind of the whole point for it. So, yeah, keep it up, dude. Do it. Also, I want to show you all that I had the most number of kills. Thank you. Mines are very effective. I now have 21 out of 40 already. For my personal order for the day. And now I need to change my armor. Hi. I'm going to hug you because I have the most amount of armor possible. Which makes me immune to your hug. That's right. I hugged you, but you didn't hug me. That's how that worked. Alright, back into our scout mode. What do we got in terms of points? I need to make sure that I can actually get all of these before they're done in like three days. So... I think I just need... That's claimed. This has one more. And then it's just all this. I want to get the weapon next. I need more mines. Shit, it's mines. They don't go away? Do they, do they stay? Ooh. Well, that's good. Yeah. That's really good. The Warbonds are all going to stay. That is phenomenal, actually. Yeah, will the premium warp? What about the premium Warbond? Because that's a premium one. So that stays forever? 
That's awesome, dude. No FOMO at all. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, dude. Here? Let's do it right in the middle. 500 kilogram bomb. Shield. Anti-personnel minefield. Because we the incendiary mines don't count for this. Only the anti-personnel mines do. Which sucks. And... Arc thrower. A good combo, I feel. Gun. How many hours do you have played? I don't know. A lot. I enjoy the game. Yeah. Seems like a chaos combo. I go Roadhouse solo. Roadhouse underscore butterfly yeah. with 500 bits said someone I know left his computer for a few minutes at work with someone remoted in with any desk to configure some equipment. When he got back, the computer was off, and when he turned it on, the password has changed. I offered to reset the password, but I'm concerned about what else may have happened while he wasn't looking. Is a full reinstall of Windows enough? That's a quarantine machine. That's a very silly thing to do. That's 100% a quarantine machine, dude. That's no. Holy shit, this is the worst possible place we could land. So anyway... It literally hit one of them and killed it. It hit one of them and killed it and then blew up. That was amazing. Oh god, that was amazing. Hey, there's a- there's a dual wall up here. Is that bitch coming back to me? Really? Go away. Thank you. I need somebody to come open this door with me. We got a double door. Parking location. Come on, come on, come on. Bug out post spotted. Prepare to exterminate. Yeet, yeet, yeet. Yeah, no, that sounds really bad. That sounds like they could have done anything with that machine. I, I would not trust that in any respect, my dude. Super credits and a medal. Already feeling good. Okay, where can we go? Dropping a pin. I'll go to the pod. Oh shit. I got Overwatch for you, T2. Well, this is bad. Bad enough to drop mines. I love mines. Go, my beautiful lads. Yes. Yes. Wonderful. Hi. You're spooky. Well, this is going to be a whole thing. Nope. Nope. And he's dead. <sighs> I've had another double door. Need some help. Parking location. Ah! 
Jesus Christ, that thing annihilated me, dude. Calling in reinforcements. That stalker just ripped me apart. Instantly dead. Ridiculous. Ready to liberate. Bro, where am I? So anyway, I started running. What the hell? Where did I die? You guys, you guys summoned me infinitely far away. This is mushroom territory, isn't it? This smells like a mushroom, chat. Where's that goddamn mushroom? I can sniff it. There's a mushroom here. It's gotta be this way. It's thicker this way. I need supplies. Sniffa sniffa. Where the mushroom? Requesting orbital strike. I don't see the lights. There's usually a couple of lights from the mushroom. I'm gonna go get this uh, sensor. I'm gonna get the scanner. Yeah, we got a radar station up here. That'll help us out. Nothing in here? Alright. Ugh, it's the water radar station. Gross. Package acquired. Dropping package. Hello, radar station. Nice, you took out this soccer layer. That's great. How hard are the difficulties? I've only played at 7. We only play at 9. 9 is tough. Error, no power. Oh, it's not a radar station. It's actually the the ending thing. Alright, well, I gotta go back down there then. Although, I see there is a stalker at this way. No bueno. Yeah, I thought it was actually the radar station. I was wrong. Oh! Is that what I think it is? Do my eyes deceive me, chat? The dick rock is a, it's ahead of us. There it is. We're ready. Yes. Yes. Found something. Rare sample acquired. Rare samples. All of my supers. Fantastic. Alright, now I gotta keep going. Nothing on these crash things. I brought you some mines. Is that cool? Is that cool? It's probably cool, right? Wait, where'd the acid come from? What the shit? Where the hell did the acid come from? Why am I, like, getting acid? What's happening here? Come on, come on. Yeah, blow up. Is that not doing anything to him? Does he not get- Oh! It'd be really cool if I could stop rolling. It'd be great. Okay, so that didn't work at all. And I was hoping it would, but I guess anti-personnel mines just don't work against crushers. But that will, so I guess that's fine. I, I was under the impression that those would blow up on the crusher and kill it, you know? Shit. I 
made it out though? I mean, I guess. Rare sample acquired. All right, let's see. Got to go south and go pick up my stuff. It is dark as shit on this planet, isn't it? God damn. We've got another objective down here. Looks like another pod. Got to look it for super credits. Bugs aren't persons, so the mines don't work. That's funny. Rex lips, worthless. Oh, Jesus. Seriously, dude? One hit? One hit. No, the acid didn't get off of me. I think it's bugged. Yeah, no, the acid... Yeah, I was at 50% because the acid kept going. It wouldn't stop. I don't know why it wouldn't stop. Maybe this planet has acid on it naturally. But yeah, it just kept hurting me. Yeah, Wolf, there's definitely some stalkers out here, man. I see you're fighting one right now. I'm going to go pick up my samples, though. Stalker nest ahead. T2 has one marked. Go down to where T2 marked. I'll pick up my stuff. Don't worry about it. Where is it? Did you get my shit? You got my shit. Okay. I need to get my other shit. I hate stalkers so much, dude. More balancing required? Dude, it's just stalkers and hunters. Everything else in the game is fine. Like, everything else has kind of like a counterplay to it. Stalkers and hunters are just freaking annoying. Huh. Hey, look, it's my stuff. Is this acid clouds? Is that what the green haze is? Or is there a mushroom nearby? Like, I don't know anymore. Tagging location. Hey, we have a... We have a double door here on me. Oh my shit! How many are there? There's three of them! Three of them! God damn it, dude! Yeah, you got mauled, exactly! It's so freaking obnoxious, dude. Can't control my stupid pot again. That's another bug. It's just stalkers, dude. They're just freaking impossible to kill. Die. No. Oh my shitting god. Please stop. Jesus actual Christ, dude. The amount of stalkers and hunters in this map is starting to get really actually, like, tilting as hell. It's just this planet, too. Like, look at this. There's nothing you can do about it. They're just freaking everywhere. It's wild how many of them there are on this stupid map. Look at this. What the hell is that? No matter how many times you shoot them, they just don't die, either. They're so, they're so freaking devastating. Like, I need to switch back to my shotgun for this shit. Yeah, crazy move tag. Like, they, they jump backwards while going invisible and all kinds of shit, dude. It's super annoying.
Where the hell are my samples? Yeah, we need to kill that nest. This is- it's over, dude. You son of a bitch. Look at that. What is that? It just, like, flies backwards, turns invisible, and, and disappears. Like, what is that? It's bullshit. It's 100% bullshit. It's super annoying. I got the terminal. We cannot beat this map until we, we get rid of it. Look, there's, they're all over there, too. Look at this. Thank shit, that's done. Shit. It's in the pack. It's hiding in the back of them. It's using them as a goddamn shield. Stay dead. God damn it, dude. So obnoxious. Oh my god! Ending in an eagle! Have a case of democracy! Got him! That one's done. Nope. Get fire. Sending in an eagle. Okay. Requesting orbital strike. All right, this is fine. This is good. It was underneath the floor. The mine was underneath the floor, not visible. Sending in an eagle. It's so dumb, dude. I really wish that they wouldn't go under the floor like that. Like, they need better... They need better ground detection. Yeah, we need better ground detection for the mines. They should never be under the mine, under the ground like that. Super dumb. Why did you summon me out here? What the hell is this? Can we... Can we go? Are we going? Jesus Christ, dude. Reinforcing. This map is ass. Okay, reload it. You are moving outside the mission area. Okay. This map is ridiculous, dude. It's just acid and hunters. And acid and hunters. I just... I just want my shit back. Okay, so we need to actually do the objective. Let's go do that. Stick together, kill the hunters. Because this shit's getting dumb. Acid... Yeah, it's all acid. It's all acid and hunters, man. God damn. What a map. Fahal with 500 bits said 04, I am 25 and having a career crisis and don't know what to do with my life. I currently work in healthcare but I have always loved games and gaming. I don't think I am the right sort of person to be an actual developer. What other jobs are there I might be able to do in the industry? Let's see. 
Career crisis, you don't know what you want to do with your life. That's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. Currently work in healthcare, but I've always loved games and gaming. Why don't you make stuff on the side? Work in healthcare for your day job, and then on the side, when you get home, work on some stuff or on your weekends, man. Because you're not working all the time. You know, you don't have to you don't have to change your entire career with that because it can be scary, it can be financially not viable. Like I I would just keep meters. your day job, go make things on the side, and see if you enjoy it. Because you may have like kind of an idealized version in your head of if that is good and you haven't tried it yet. So go do some game jams. Try that. Yeah, try it as a hobby. And if it works out, then hey, you get to do that full time. And if it doesn't work out, then well, you still have a day job. It's great. Lowest risk way. I love managing risk. That's a big thing. I don't like having risk. Dude, I can't I can't believe how many hunters and stalkers there are on this map. I think we got two stalker nests for this. Ridiculous. Sometimes there's even more. I need to bring back the shotgun. I'm gonna start using breaker on uh bug missions. Because the breaker just rips through him so much better. This gun is better for robots, though. For sure. Calling in reinforcements. Yeah, I think this gun is more of like a robot killing sniper. Yeah, you said you don't think you're the right sort of person to be an actual developer. What other jobs you might be able to do in the industry? I mean... At that point, you're joining game jams, right? You may not be a direct developer, but you're still going to be making games. You're still going to be trying things. And I think that's a super valid part of doing this, because you'll find really quickly that it's not just direct developers that make games. It's all kinds of stuff. So, try it as a hobby. Try to go do some game jam stuff. Meet some other teams. Learn some things. You'll find really quickly that there's a lot of valid use of whatever skill sets you have. Always. I just want to put some mines on that guy. That's all I want. Did it just attack the beam? Mines. Mines for everyone. Oh, I got all that done. I don't need to use the mines. God, they're they're really effective, though. Why, hello, oh, gentlemen. Why, goodbye, gentlemen. Really? How does that dude pierce me every freaking time? Sweet liberty, my Have you noticed that stalkers or hunters always pierce you? Like, always? Is that happening on all forms of armor now? Or is that only on light armor? Like, every time I get attacked by them, there's some kind of a... Do they always crit? Is that what it is? It's super annoying, dude. Because every time I get engaged on by a hunter, I'm always having to heal because there's always like a chest wound or an arm wound or some shit. Did they change the hitbox detection on it or some shit? Because I think there's like a crit hitbox detection thing. And it seems like it always lands now. Hmm. Ah, shit. Requesting air support. Package fired. Out of ammo. Reinforcing. Eagle One returning to destroyer for resupply. New mag. Got him. That one's dead. Get 
Get moving. Tagging map west, two hundred meters. There's something over here. There we go. Anti material rifle, that's kind of nice. But nothing in here that we really need. But, something we definitely need to get away from, that's for sure. Tagging map, west. 100 meters. I'm way out in the boonies, man. Gotta keep moving. Do you pipe Twitch to YouTube? It really looks like Twitch. It's actually the exact same video quality between Twitch and YouTube. It's not piping Twitch to YouTube, it's- I'm actually streaming out twice. When Twitch upgrades its, uh, infrastructure, where we can do higher bitrate, then YouTube's gonna get higher bitrate as well. Sixteen hits. Hmm. Yeah, it's like fifteen, sixteen hits. Now I want to know if that changes with it being fully charged, because fully charged, it does actually do more damage. Chargers are overtuned. I disagree. I think they're exactly what they should be. I think Hunters are the only thing in the game that's a problem right now. Legitimately. Everything else is totally fine. Hunters are not an issue. Or, sorry, uh, Crushers are not an issue. Hunters and are the only thing. And the entire, like, Hunter, Stalker, all of that shit. All of those enemies are super obnoxious. And they don't have great solutions to them. Because if you use a flamethrower, they just still attack you. Which is, like, horrific, frankly. Dropping a pin. Northeast. 200 meters. How you guys doing on the mission? Tagging map. West. You guys go position. update? I'm going on the way to upload it. Where is everyone? Uh, we're running side objectives. Sending in an eagle. What? All right, fine. In a bush, yeah. You summoned me up? Be a stun nade soon? I'm interested in that. No Helldivers on standby. Why are you guys dying so much? What the shit? I thought we had- I thought we had more on standby. Alrighty. Now where am I? Map. I think it was there. I'll go pick up my shit. Mines. Near friendly damage? No, it's not friendly damage issues. Map. East. 50 it's just the mines going underneath the ground. If if mines didn't go into the ground, we wouldn't really have a big problem. That is the major issue here. Wolf, did you pick up my stuff? 
Looks like you did. I'm not sure if he did or not. Oh yeah, he did. I'm having a bad match right now. My lightning is going towards the mines instead of towards the enemies. Look at this. That's really weird. Yeah, really weird. How much longer are you planning on streaming today? Every day from noon or from midnight to noon. Every day. Except for Thursday. You will always see me here. Scott Rouch with $20 said, Sir, I wake in the morning and I step outside and I take deep breath and I get real high and I scream from the top of my lungs, What's going on? And I say, mm. Welcome to the Hotel California, such no. a lovely place. Such a lovely face. You could be any other way. Have a taste of democracy. Requesting fortification. It's gonna get some mines out here for later. Mines. I want a good thick carpet of mines. Ooh. Rare sample acquired. Calling down fortifications. That's gotta be a mushroom, right? Close. That seems mushroom territory right there. Heavy, northwest. On my position. Next empty. It'd be really cool if it gets stuck on a goddamn piece of the terrain. Hey, Jesus oh, Christ. Democracy. I was literally running forward, like trying to. My character's just Going like. In it's not my map, dude. Not my map. Death by pebble. Son of a bitch. Tripped on a goddamn rock, dude. I refuse to lose this map. This map has made me too angry. We have to win it. Why has this satellite tower not been realigned? Holy shit, get out of my way. Turn that satellite around backwards. We got this. Oh, they're so annoying. Have a taste of democracy. Get. Yeah, just turn it 180, Wolf. We got it. What? Ending in an eagle. No. 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 Max empty. God damn it. Well, I blew the bottom out from underneath it. Why? Oh my god, it won't die. Oh my god, it won't die, Chet. I have to run. Okay. Enough of this. Get that satellite turned, guys. Jesus Christ. Max empty. Shit. You mad? 
Oh my god, there's so many of them. Why does it have no ammo? I just summoned this. Where is its ammunition? Requesting water. Why is its arm missing? This game, dude. Whatever. Missiles it is. Just blow up, dude. Alright, I'm getting out of this thing before it blows up. Where's your body chain smoker? Don't worry about it. What is this? Grenade launcher? Let's get the living shit off this planet, guys. We oh, my bones. Yeah, we need, we need to get out of here, dude. Yeah, it's a horrible planet. This planet is bullshit. We hate it. Requesting it. Oh my god, I just broke both of my legs. Why? Calling down a support weapon. Heavy requesting attack close. Calling in orbital strike. What the why? Why am I injured from just standing there? What is wrong with this planet, dude? What is wrong with this planet? Did you see that shit? I just got stuck on nothing and then broke my legs again. Why? This planet sucks, dude. I never want to be here again. This planet sucks. Worst planet. Zero stars, man. Oh look, mines. Tagging location, west. I like that turning your camera makes them brighter. Twist its old earth, gross. Calling down fortifications. More mines. Could be because of motion blur. Could be. Mines. Mines forever. I wonder if mines can blow up mines. What a map, dude. Zero Rit Zero with 500 bits said hello. I would like to hello. state that I am sick and tired of you and your shorts with quality and fun content occupies me by appearing whenever I go to YT. Good. I finally found you streaming and clicked your heart button as hard as I can. Ha, what do you say about that? I say thank you. Love this gun. Oh shit. Mmm, I can't. You'll zap? I'll zap him. I gotta shoot that one. Wolf. Brain. I literally didn't kill him. Knowing how the gun worked, and then he killed me instead. I hope you step on a mine. I swear to God. Next time I'm killing him, I'll feel nothing. Almost got him. Let's 
throwing fire behind us. Oh. Oh, I wonder... I wonder what happened there. <laughs> Why didn't they kill him? I hit him with three lightnings. How did he not die? Is there any reason he didn't die there? No, legitimately. Is there a reason he didn't die? There's not... It's not range. The range is incredibly long. Shield doesn't stop the second shot. First shot, shield. Second shot, kills you. There's no way he could have not died. No, it 100% targets friends. That's how he killed me. Even a stim wouldn't save you through it. We've done it before. Yeah, bugged out. 100% bugged out. That's 100% bugging out. Absolutely. He's tagged essential? That's funny. That makes no sense. Weird. Gunhead friendly fire off, dude. I wish. <sighs> we didn't lose the samples. He got the samples. Even heavy armor wouldn't do it. Nah, you die. You die anyway. I don't give a shit about super samples. I have 90 of them. Doesn't even matter. You secured a lot of samples. Personal well order completed. Isn't there armor with electrical conduit armor? 95% resistance? I've never seen that. Yeah. I have no idea. Have your feelings in the current state of the game changed since Wednesday patch? No. Um, I actually put it out on social media as well. We're going to move back to a shotgun. I'm probably not going to use the breaker in Cinderia. It's probably just going to be the breaker. Or the spray and pry. More likely the spray and pry. Secondary... I'm interested in seeing how much damage this does, but it's only got a capacity of 6. It's kind of a weird one. I think I'd rather keep that. Was a screenshot on Twitter? What are you talking about? Not a screenshot. No. Here. I've had the same feelings about the game since, and it hasn't really changed. Look at this. I'm going to post this up. Here. Said so for all the people in the comments talking about my meta breaking being a good thing and that I'm wrong and I don't use rail I don't use the railgun and I'm not irritated by the change. The change to armor did not unlock additional gameplay options. Heavy armor has an insane lack of mobility, which absolutely outweighs the bonus to survivability in all scenarios outside of defense missions during high difficulty play. This leads to a new meta in Helldiver difficulty, which is essentially use light armor, run in a circle, and cast stratagems. My hope is that the armor fix would unlock new gameplay, not enforce a boring meta like this. Also, as cool as the flamethrower changes are, the fantasy of that weapon doesn't come through for me. Normally, I, I would see a flamethrower as a chaff remover, yet it doesn't stagger hunters, aka hunters turn into fireballs that leap on you. This isn't great feeling. Yeah. It's not great. It's still the same problem. It's exactly the same issue that I had before. You're a heavy armor main now? I know. And you know how I know that, Zephroth? Because you always fall behind and die, and then I have to go pick up all your samples. <laughs> It's literally every game. Alright, so... Rapid launch system. Stratagem support request cooldown reduce. That's much better. Repeat of Helldivers 1. Mechs are unusable. Mechs are not unusable. They're fine. There's nothing wrong with them. They're just kind of paper. I think the biggest problem I have with mechs is they they seem less survivable than you are, which is weird. Yeah. The armor you wear isn't cosmetic; it actually matters. Have you ever have you ever read them? Did you read them at all? I think up there is probably a good idea. Like here, look. You actually have to read. See this? See all this text down here? It tells you everything about how they work. It's very obviously not cosmetic. They have different powers and everything. What are you talking about? Reading is not hard. Not reading is harder. You know I'm not wrong about that either. Hellpod 
The BO-8 light armor has 100 health. Yeah, but this one gives me 30% uh, aggro radius reduction, which is infinitely better. Go now. You are what the shit? How the hell am I outside the combat zone? Time to rock. Dropping a pin. East. 300 meters. Tack pack inbound. You get up, things. There we go. Dude, I'm just getting stuck on everything on this planet. Hey, free medals. What up? We got this. We got this. Bot confirmed stuck on on rock, dude. That's funny. Oh, uh, very funny shit. Oh, it's a big nest. Bug out post spotted. Prepare to exterminate. Sending in an eagle. Requesting advanced weaponry. Requesting Walker. Sending in an eagle. Give him a robot. Yeah. Hey, look, this time it has all of its own arms. Those really are made out of paper. They're really made out of paper. There's no reason for that. Honestly. It's like it's made out of a gasoline can. It honestly feels like it's made out of, like, a thin paper can of gasoline. It's dumb. Yeah. I wish they were more interesting. Like, that's kind of shit. Yeah, Super Earth Engineering, exactly. It's why I don't take them in my kit. Like, I've got the basic one, you know? I've got the basic one that comes with the mission right now because of our, our win, but I'm probably not going to use them outside of that. Legitimately. It just doesn't feel right. They just don't feel that good. Okay, very cool. I think that bounced. Seriously? Hopefully it'll hit that guy too. My shit.
Bro. Yeah, they really do. Excuse me? Okay. They really do take your limbs out every time. They really do. Alright. I'm going up north. I'm taking out the objective. Yeah, Charger is aggressively seeking a hug. True. Is Hell Divers decent? I enjoy it. It's fun. I actually really enjoy this game, legitimately. As much as it's salty sometimes. Because there's some definite salt happening when the game kind of eats its own ass randomly. Which it does, but it's still very fun. I very much so enjoy it. Oh, ho, ho. Although, it does kind of feel like they changed something with the the hunters. Where they just kind of crit you every time now. So I don't know what happened there. But that does feel weird. Where they're suddenly just, like, puncturing or breaking you in some way every time they hit you. The hunters feel insane. They do. They're absurd, frankly. I, I really don't like fighting them. They feel unfair is what it is. Bug aggro in general is higher? I could agree with that. We got things to turn. Freedom forever! What the shit? Also, pheromone flares and other flares cannot be stopped. Once they've started, it's over. Like, that's it. I landed it on him. Nice. Aw, oh, man. Alright, fine. Last reload. Requesting orbital strike. Eat it. Wow. He Heavy. didn't give a shit about that at all, did he? How many times do I have to reload this before it reloads, man? That thing's dead. Orbitals should definitely one-shot the Titans. Yeah, they don't. It's a two-shot every I'm time. Shit. Why are there so many of them? Back up, dude. we have left we have one more there's one more to go I got, the terminal. I'm on it. Southeast. got it hey so I'm running out of ammo Southeast. 200 meters. there's some bugs on their way requesting air support injury what injury requesting air support How'd you like to taste the freedom? Pretty good land. Feels good. We love freedom. Freedom, Jet. Freedom and managed democracy. Dropping a pin. Southeast. 300 meters. 
The fact that that doesn't die in one lightning shot is crazy, too. Like, hunters take two a lot of the time to kill them. Which is like... All, every other monster, you would expect that to not be a thing. It's crazy. They're super tanky. They're tanky, they're fast, they do a shitload of damage, and they apply status effects like crazy, dude. And they hunt in packs. They're 100% the, they're the scariest enemy in the game. I think they're bullshit. Oh, dude. Double super credits, guys. The shotgun will hit it at that range. They will actually kill it. It 100% works. Yeah. The shotgun will actually kill it. Kill them with breakers, spray and pray breakers, any of that stuff. It, they have infinite range. The bullets are physical. Yes. Yep. Yeah, the bullets are physical. Shit. I got 20 seconds to my bomb. Alright. Guess I'll wait for this, too. I'm just gonna chill out until my bomb gets back. Doesn't look like anyone's coming out. I don't need to mark it. 14 seconds to my bomb. My bomb will kill it in one go. You got a bomb? T2? Oh, you don't have to grenade it. That's not worth it. No, it's three grenades. Just back out. Watch, see? That's just gonna end it. One bomb. Easy. Oh. So anyway, I started blasting. You know, I want to get you samples, but also, there's another Bile Titan. Jesus Christ, dude. Requesting air support. Found something. Well, that didn't kill it. I don't even think it hurt it. Ugh. This is bad. I got nothing. I just... Oh my god, there's like two crushers over there. Why are there so many freaking elites, dude? Get out of here. In Time to get out. Down you go. Found something. Tanking man. 
north, 200 meters. Nice. Does it kill it faster if you aim at its legs? Uh, I don't know, to be honest with you, because the lightning seems to always bind to their head. Like, it's always a headshot, if that makes sense. So if I shoot at the legs, it always arcs back over to the face. Which I don't know if, if like, that matters or not. I don't know, because I don't think there's a way to hit it in the legs, frankly. Why do you say ASMR in your description? Because people really like my voice, and when I don't have that on there, they get mad. Yeah. Yeah. The head is more conductive? I don't know if that's how that works. Dropping a pin. Northwest. 300 meters. We got like 30 super credits on this mission, by the way. It's crazy. Killer Squid 2603 with 500 bits said just want to throw another shout out to Jake for all the time he puts into block game, of course other mods too and yourself, but especially Jake. Alright, yeah, Jake kicks ass, dude. Calling in reinforcements. Jake is doing a good job. Gridlock64 with $4.99 said I think YouTube's chat is pre-recorded and Thor just memorizes it. No. I don't think so. That'd be a lot of text to memorize, though. I could probably do that. Dropping a pin. Southeast. 200 meters. Did we lose our samples somewhere? Or did we just never find the super rock? Because I feel like we're missing a lot of green samples right now. You drop five samples. I think they got them back. Rare sample acquired. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we got them back. God, I hate them. Shit. You know what it is? The fact that any of them can shoot up a flare immediately turns any encounter with baby bugs into that. That's what it does. It turns any encounter with any amount of bugs into multiple Bile Titans and a million Crushers. Every time. It's nuts. Oh, gotta get out. Yeah, it's like five Titans, dude. Nice. Nice bomb. Sending in an eagle. Administering Florida. North. Close. Requesting orbital strike. It's so many Titans, dude. Whoa! Requesting air support. All right. You activated my trap card. Is your trap card one million titans? Because I'm feeling it. Jesus, dude. Okay. Sending in an eagle. Sending in an eagle. That shit isn't even hitting them. Cool. We just unload a whole bunch of shotgun shells into it. Thank <laughs> you. 
Eat it. There we go. Yeah, they needed some 500 kilogram freedom for sure. Normally I feel like the, um, the aggro radius on this is fine, but I think the aggro radius with the scout armor doesn't seem to be working today. I don't really know why, but I can't stealth past shit. None of that feels like it's working. So I'm probably going to switch over to the heavier armor. All aggro is bugged right now. Was it a patch nerf? Do you have any do you have any source on this? You just stating shit. I, on my sources, I made it up. Okay. Very cool source, dude. Oh, son of a bitch. Get out of my way. Summon me. Can't aim. Be great if they could fix that goddamn bug already. That is the most meters. annoying bug in the game, to be honest with you. You cannot control your pod randomly. Your, like, up and down keys won't work, or your left and right keys won't work randomly. gonna unload on that thing, dude. Why Why am I crouching? What the shit is going on? I'm trying to run, and it's not letting me. Like, I was stuck in... I was stuck in crouch. The game wouldn't let me get up. Dude, what is going on today? Can't control the pot again? Can only go up into the left. This is getting dumb, to be honest with you. I think you're out of Sam trying to get up there? No, I wasn't. Wasn't even close. Yeah, democracy can only go up into the left today. To be real with you, those kind of bugs, though, dude, like, they kill games like this. Because it's just so awful feeling. Lack of control of your character is probably the biggest issue that I see in this game. Like, loss of control is awful. Love to get in there. There we go. Yeah, lack of control on the pod. It's a huge issue. Loss of agency is terrible. And it's it's one of the biggest issues we see in this game. So I'm gonna wait for the music to stop blowing my eardrums out. There, I'm gonna mute this for a second. There we go. So I think one of the biggest issues that I keep having with this, and I think it's the thing that makes me frustrated with this, is loss of control of your character. So loss of control means that you can no longer control your character through stuns or any other methods like this. There's a shitload of loss of agency that's not caused by in-game mechanics, it's caused by bugs. So when we're dropping the pod randomly, the controls don't work anymore. Randomly. Like, at all. You can't move up and down randomly. You can't move left and right randomly. Sometimes it's only one or the other. Sometimes you can only move up and to the left. Sometimes you can only move down and to the right. I don't know why this keeps happening, but it feels really bad. Like, it happens to everybody. Every person that I've talked to is happening to it. This is one of those issues. The other one is the hunters constantly leaping on you, getting in your way, stunning you, slowing you, and making it so you have to use stims because they crit you every time they attack. Why? There's, it's not fun. It's not difficult. It's just kind of dumb, frankly. Like, just let the player play the goddamn game. It's not a difficulty issue. It's a, it's a shitty feeling thing.
is not positive in any way. And the enemy has iframes, too. That doesn't make any goddamn sense. It's very strange. Incredibly strange. Yeah, it's it's getting frustrating. It's not just for me, either. So it's not like a skill issue thing. It's, it's frustrating for everybody. It's inconsistencies. Yeah, it's inconsistent behavior. If I shoot... If I shoot a bug in the face, it should die, one, right? Two, three, and a, all die. the other small bugs die in one hit, but one, two, why the large bug? Why, why the hunter, which I is win. also a small bug, takes like two to three? One, two, Doesn't make sense. Three. It's made me rage quit. I'm not surprised. I, I am not surprised that you rage quit this because of those issues. It's dumb. It's like a really dumb thing. I don't like the new game loop strategy divers. Yeah, I kind of liked it better when our guns felt good. To be real with you. The difficulty does feel arbitrary. It does. It's very weird. It's such a weird-ass thing. I don't understand why it's gone this direction. Let's see. Armor rating. 50% limb health. Cool. Lots of grenade throwing. Does that also increase stratagem throwing range? Kind of interesting. Does? I have 71 medals. Mm. Hmm. I kind of want to get this one out of the way. There we go. I got 36 left over. We'll get that one for now. Destroyer has left squadron. The dev zone posts make it clear they're punishing the community for commenting on weapon balance. Do you have a post to back that up? Or are you just claiming that? Yeah. Kernel base anti cheat doesn't matter to me. I'm running it on a secondary computer. That computer takes the kernel base. I don't have to give a shit. That's just the patch notes. We already know about this patch note. Yeah, we we already been. That doesn't add anything new. Yeah, I don't I don't believe shit you say unless you have a source. Ever, you can't just make things up and then post it. You know. Devs literally said deal with it until you show me where the devs say this. Your words mean nothing. <laughs> it's it's called trust but verify, my dude. I trust that you likely think you're telling the truth, but until you actually show me something where they've said this, I don't believe shit you say. That's how that goes. Is the play good? I think it was better before this patch, to be honest with you. I don't really like the new patch. Take us to the fight. Allied Destroyer has joined Squadron. Engaging orbital thrusters. It's the post they made after batch notes, but spun by the media. Okay, Orbit so you're believing Kotaku, effectively. That's what people are saying. Again, show me the post that they actually made, and we can do that. Just want new major orders? I actually just, I, to be real with you, I just want hunters to be nerfed. Like, that's all I want. I don't care about anything else. Hunters are One dumb. Last step. Initiating FTL jump to the drop near system. There's a Reddit thread with confirmed stealth changes. I, I know this is going to be shocking to you. Okay. Let me, successful. let me explain something to you. Hellpods prime. Mission coordinates locked. Let's just, let's just... Any time, and I know this may be surprising, any time you make a claim about content, claiming it as truth or fact, and you don't post a link to where you got this information, you are ignored. That's how it goes. That's how that goes. <laughs> it's like... This is not hard. It's not a hard concept. You have to actually show your receipts. Yeah, I know. Yeah, there's no counterplay against hunters right now. There's not. Yeah, there's no counterplay against hunters currently. The flamethrower does a woefully inadequate job of it. You shoot them? That's the only thing you can do. Only thing you have is your shotgun. That's the only thing that clears them fast enough, and it's not very good at it. 
Yeah, your counterplay is to run away, get stabbed in the back, and have to use stims. If you run into if you run into hunters, you will likely have to use stims. Yeah. Explosive breacher. When a hunter jumps on you and it gets iframes when it jumps and you shoot the explosive breacher, you'll die because it's got explosive and explosive kills you too. Laser drone kills hunters, also kills all of your teammates. And you have absolutely no control over it. What is this? One of their Discord moderators is an edgelord. Okay, so a Discord monitor, like Discord moderator being an edgelord, is not a developer saying that they want the game to be like that. Again, this is not helpful in any way. Surprising, I know. All right. Yeah, what is reading comprehension? What could that be? I forgot my good gun. I put the wrong gun on. God damn it. I'm gonna return to the ship and start over. I have the wrong gun on. I need my explosive gun. Oh, I can't fight those. Uh, bail out and then come rejoin me. Doot, 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 doot. Doot, 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 doot. Where is it? Not the Liberator Penetrator. Liberator Concussive? I don't know if I... I've never used that one. It's got a 30 capacity. I've been using the Scorcher for this. I'm going to use the Scorcher instead. Yeah, read your own enemy. Liberty's enemies march ever closer. Have you seen the new guns? They'll be adding in? I did, yeah. Allied Destroyer has joined Squadron. Yeah. They recently buffed that Liberator? Really? Are you enjoying the game again? Intermittently. I think, I think the biggest problem is they keep making the game harder in dumbass ways. Like, the hunters don't need to be the way that they are. They, they like, break a limb every time they attack you, and they slow you with acid, and they also leap and have iframes. Like, they're not fun to fight against. They haven't been fun to fight against, to be honest with you. And the mechs are really weak. Like, really weak. Yeah, it, it's not legitimate difficulty. It's turning up bullshit that just makes you not want to play. I agree with that. I agree with that. Hunters are the most un unfun enemy. Yes. Easy. Hands down easy. We only play on level 9 difficulty, and like, hunters suck ass. The, the other thing about hunters too, they can also drop a flare. So when you're fighting hunters, they're some of the ones that can summon in like a million bile titans and shit as well, on top of everything else. So it's just like, okay. And you, if you see one starting to drop a flare, the flare is actually completed, so if you kill it, even in the, like a tenth of a second, the flare is already done, it's already summoning. It's too late. So like, there's no, there's no stopping flares, yeah. Allied Destroyer has joined Squadron. Yeah, every Terminate can drop a flare, yeah. Which I, to be real with you, there should be counterplay there. If you see an enemy starting to light a flare, you should be able to kill them before the flare goes off, but it's instant. The, the animation is irrelevant. In fact, I've even, uh, like, you know the brood, Broodlord things? The ones that can summon other ones? I have blown their head off, and then they drop a flare while headless, and then die afterwards. Which is like... <laughs> like, what? It doesn't make it- I've, I've seen it like three times now. It just doesn't make any sense.
If you wish a weapon was uh, staggered like Slugger, it drops the flight. No, it doesn't. It absolutely does not. W the moment you see orange gas out of it, the moment it does the animation, it immediately already counted. We've done it all the time. We've actually even killed them with grenades. We've killed them with all kinds of shit. The second that it starts, it's already over. They've already summoned. There's no time limit to it. it there should be a time limit. Planetary, de planetary debuffs? I fight on this planet all the time. There's no planetary debuffs that affect stealth. Yeah, see, look. Like, a Angel's Venture has nothing on it. The only effect there is stratagem, uh, weapons experimentation, patriotic exosuit is available to everybody. That's the only one. So no, it's not a stealth thing. They changed something with stealth for sure, because I am getting found everywhere, even though I'm wearing stealth armor. Which is really annoying. So to be honest with you, what I'm probably going to do is I'm going to use my... I'm probably going to use my points, my super credits, to get this. Because this has 100 armor rating in the same speed. Because my stealth doesn't matter anymore, so there's no point. Yeah, there's like no point in not wearing it. Someone said the detection range had 5 meters added to it? God, that sucks. That's so shitty feeling. The operation is failed. Let us not Mission coordinates locked. Hellpods prime. Engaging orbital thrusters. How's my day? Doing good. Orbit synchronized. How's your day? Need your help with something pen tester related? I don't do that unless I'm hired to do it. That's not a thing, my dude. Because it will inevitably turn into please come hack this website for me or get me my Facebook account. And I just don't do it. Preferred graphic settings? I play in max. Why don't you use the orbital laser? I use the orbital rail cannon instead because it does a shitload of damage. Although, to be honest with you, the orbital rail cannon is kind of getting weird. I may swap out of it. Orbital laser only has three uses as well. Rail cannon has unlimited. None of you guys took stamina? I guess we'll take health. That's fine. To take on heavy armor. The only reason I would use heavy armor is in defensive missions like this one, but I'm trying this new one first. Laser can solo large robot outpost, though. Cool. Not fighting robots. First time seeing you on stream. What's up, dude? Servant of God 777 with 500 bits said, Hey Thor, did you Hi. find out about Sweet Baby Inc? Or still nope. looking? Also, for a layman, what's the easiest programming language to pick up? Or just go for any? Just Thanks go for, for any. being you, bro. Programming languages are tools. So when you're like, oh, what's the best programming language? That's like asking, like, I need to learn Hammer. You don't want to learn Hammer. You want to learn to use a Hammer in the context of a project, right? Max empty! So, you should learn, you should set up a project and then learn how to use a hammer in the context of that project. Shit. There are so many of them. Ending in an eagle. Yeet. I yeeted myself out the window. It's fun. Bomb. Come <laughs> on. 
Damn it. I was trying to throw a grenade and it wouldn't let me. Too much stagger. Got him. Joining the fray. Feels good. Hulk down. What? 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 Yeah, I hate when the stim animation does goes off and isn't used. It's even worse when it goes off, it isn't used, and on top of it, after it goes off and isn't used. It uses Ugh. Damn it. It goes off, it isn't used, and it plays the sound. And then you're like, why? Yeah, sometimes it takes the cooldown as well. What is that gun? Oh, is that the Liberator Explosive? Jesus Christ, dude. Easy. This gun kills tanks really good. What difficulty? Level 9. Max stiff. Oh, hi. Why did you just shoot the ground with a missile? What? What? Alrighty. That was pretty productive. I feel like the expendable anti-tank didn't get rid of the tank. You know? So extraction is now available, but we have to go get it. Why am I not shooting? Oh my god, game. It half reloaded. It didn't finish the reload. Despite being told to reload, it didn't finish. Where's the blood coming from? Me.
Hi, that's a robot. I'm out of gun. New mag. Shit. Maybe we should go back this way. I'm bringing of ammunition. Okay, that's not good. This isn't good. Sending in an eagle. That's fine. I'm okay with this. There was a tank there, I think. I'm almost a melee main, Chet. We're almost there. Sometimes you just need a little bit of up close and personal democracy, you know? Just a little bit. Just a bit of democracy. Well, my guns are out. That was the last bullet. Maybe not the last. That was the last one. Ammo? Oh, resupply. Thanks, shit. It hurts! I punched him to death. I have no supplies left at all. Oh, thank God. Ammunition. Let's blow this popsicle stand. L4, D2, let's go, let's go. Come on. Had to worm our way out, dude. I already used my sidearm. Sidearm was completely used. Nothing had any bullets left. Yeah, I didn't look at a sweet baby yank Doctor though. 34 Person meters, arrives. 1 NGD, 3 meters, 0 N with 500 bits said I start trying to say Irish wristwatch and somehow end up drinking a Guinness. Did I do it right? Yeah, because the way that it works is you can't say Irish wristwatch and then you try to tell someone else at the bar to say Irish wristwatch and if, if they can say it, then you buy them a beer. And if they can't say it, then they buy you a beer. Irish wristwatch. That's it. Yeah. You love the music of this game? I do too. I got two-shotted by hunters and I was out. Yeah, no, it's super annoying. Especially because stealth doesn't work anymore. Are you from California? Yes, I am. Irish wristwatch. Irish wristwatch. Irish wristwatch. Irish wristwatch. Easy. How do I pirate the game? You don't. Welcome back. Democracy's reach extends a bit further thanks to you. One sec.
Become a hell diver. Become a hero. Become a legend. Remember, it's not that Super Earth hates aliens. It's that aliens hate freedom. And I'm back. There we go. Alright, let's see. I got 12 points now. I think I got everything I can get. For now. I need to get like... 200? 300 points? Somewhere there? Nice poop. Who poops that fast? You just out here like... Ready to rock, dude? Just yeet into the toilets? And you're out? Like, what's wrong with you? What are you eating that that happens? Cythraos with 100 check Karunas said if there are so many things going on, you can't do everything at once right. No. You can't be everything at once. What about here? So how do I deal with this FOMO? You do the things you can't do and that's it. What about here? There's no way around that dude. You can't, you can't solve everything in life. You just do the things that you can, and that's it. There's, there's nothing outside of that, you know? I know that's not always the best feeling, but it is correct. Yeah, life is life is like that. You miss out on things. It's okay. It is okay to miss out on shit. Bring the leg. I'm bringing the leg, dude. Help on poop? Don't say that. What's wrong with you? Miss Sneaky Ninja with 500 bits said Yard Cheer 500 in pretty new yeah. to the community, but I just wanted to say thanks to everyone here. Ah, you're you all awesome. seem so chill while being equally unhinged in the best way. Yeah. Thanks for your content, Thor. I do feel like the odd duck out as my other hobbies are more closely related to homesteading and video games in my free time. But it's awesome to hear everyone doing their own thing and figuring themselves out. GG's and keep fighting. Heart. How is that- how is that being an odd duck out? My dude, I'm moving to the middle of a forest. I grow half of my own food. <laughs> Topple with $4.99 uh, said I'm going for a degree in CS, but I feel like I won't be good enough to get a job because there's always a better choice. Degree in CS, but I don't feel like good enough to get a job because there's always a better choice. There's always a better choice. There's also always a worse choice. You just have to be the choice that's there and the choice that meets the requirements that they need. Don't worry about being the best. Worry about be getting the job. Once you get the job, worry about leveraging that to get a better one. And you just keep doing that. The tech industry is largely based on, have you done this before? In a workplace? Cool. You have the work experience? Let's rock. Like, it is very rarely about, do you have this piece of paper? And even then, it's only about, do you have this piece of paper when you first start? And after that, no one gives a shit. The degree is there to get you in the door. God, I love this gun. So anyway, this gun kicks ass. What piece of paper? The degree, my dude. Yeah, everyone has this other idea of like, oh man, I'm never gonna get a job because everyone else is awesome. Yeah, they are awesome. But you you are also starting, you know? Oh wait, watch this. Damn it. Get up the freaking wall. It'd be cool if it wasn't all this other bullshit going on. That'd be awesome. But there is all this other bullshit, so I'm gonna have to use a bomb. What the shit is that? So anyway, that primary gun, which I was trying to show you, can kill tanks in a clip and a half. You gonna... You gonna call us in? There we go. I'm just gonna start running heavy armor because we can't move anyway. Yeah, this is nuts, dude. Calling down a 
Robots are ass. But so are hunters. I wanted to get away from hunters, is what I wanted. And now I can't. Yeah, I just wanted to get away from hunters, and I can't do it. What is this? I don't know if I've done one of these sites before. Interesting. Oh, it's a SAM site. Oh, we gotta get this shit up. One sec. Engaging terminal. Ah, oh, goddammit. it. Right, there we go. Thank you for the Prime subs, by the way. It's very nice of you. Awesome dudes. Thank you. Kahex with 20,001 said hello from Korea. Discovered hello. you through your shorts and have nothing but mad respect for you, dude. Oh, thank you. I'd love to work on localization for I your game terminal. someday, just out of sheer respect. I actually really, really want to do a Korean translation eventually, so that is 100% on the cards. Eventually. And the way that I handle localization, all of our local, all of our translators are paid. All of them. And we I pay 50% over international standard for the work. So if the international standard is 10 cents a word, I pay 15 cents a word. Is that, is that what we're doing? Okay. Why does it say 47, 48? What's happening there? Oh, the SAM site that I, I got killed 48 enemies. Ah, you know, it's fine. Got it. We love 500 kilogram explosions, dude. Feels good. Feels very good. Garlin with five dollars said, "Thor, you are a legend." I think it's incredible that you give people's life concerns legit attention, and the quality of your advice Always. is eleven tenths. That's Amazing. really nice of you. That's really nice of you. Yeah, no, I always, I always try to, and I, I think the reason why is this, man. Like, there's been a time in all of our lives where no one paid attention, and I don't want that to ever be the case for you. That's it. It seems simple, but it's really impactful for people. I've dealt with some shit, you've dealt with some shit. So, I'll tell you the shit I've dealt with. Might give you context on yours. Requesting orbital strike. Oh? Sending in an eagle! Sending in an eagle! Yeah! Put a bomb on it! Got a problem, Chet? 500 kilogram bomb. 500 kilogram bomb. Solves all the problems. Warning, you are in range of enemy artillery. Enemy attack within range. Calling in orbital strike. Wow. Through the shield, too. Jesus. Are you kidding me? A single foot soldier through my armor. Through a shield. Like, ready to liberate. I'm offended. Requesting air support. Is that an enemy turret? It is an enemy turret. Not anymore, it ain't. Mortar's down. Oh, is that a bomb? Wait, you didn't-
When you armed that, you didn't say anything. You know what? How do you feel about maybe saying something about arming a bomb like that? What do you think about that? Think about that. Range. Think about that. Reinforcements have been launched. You ever think about that? Joining the Say hello to my little friend is irrelevant. I don't know what that means. I didn't know they said that when there's a hell bomb. How is anyone supposed to know that shit? It could be anything. They're constantly saying random shit. Cool bomb, dude. They're constantly like, look at my democracy. Say hello to my little friend. Yeah, relevant. <laughs> Please die. Please die. Okay, that's enough of that. I guess the spear doesn't want to attach to anything. That's cool. You want to do it? You want to... You want to work? There we go. No. Can't do it. Okay. You just don't want to you don't want to be a gun right now. That's fine. You, you think maybe maybe now you want to be a gun? Maybe I'll go over here and you want to be a gun. Is that cool? I don't know if that worked. Anyone feel like being a gun right now? Do you want to? Do you want to be a gun? That's a tank right there. Do you want to? Do you want to do it? Man, I really love that the features of this game work. You know? You want to be a gun? No, you don't want to be a gun. You just want to let us die to that tank. Okay. Yeah. All right. I couldn't even fire it before. How could it possibly be out of ammo? It didn't even launch. You know that, right? It lost its ammo without firing, chat. It didn't fire. It didn't fire. It wouldn't fire. I couldn't shoot it. There was no way to fire it. <laughs> Did it actually fire without me pressing the button? Ridiculous. If it actually shot, that's insane. You fired, like, right away? I wasn't even touching it. I was holding right-click. I don't even know how it would fire. I find those things to be really intermittent. Calling in orbital strike. It locked on and let itself go? Is that how it works? I'd rather just use a recoilless, to be honest with you. Oh, hi. Yeah, nah. Oh god damn it, dude. Reinforcing. One minute remains. Just let's see it. Let's see it. Request approved. Deploying reinforcements. There's no animation. Oh look at this. I don't care if I die here. Check this out. Our fabricator. On my position. Spear is super finicky. Look at this. So I'm holding right click. Could you? Oh my god, Twitch. See how there's no animation discernible on my character? There's no knockback. When you fire a rocket launcher, you expect a rock, like your character to do something, and it doesn't. It just goes boop. That's why I didn't notice it. It has zero knockback on the actual weapon. So of course I'm not going to notice that. There's no backblast or anything. It just like flies out like a paper airplane. What do you, what do you expect that to be? It may be called recoilless, but at least do some kind of a graphic out the back, dude. Anything, like. <laughs> That's where I was like, dude, where'd it go? 
Doesn't notice it turning green? No, I noticed it turning green. And I was like, okay, when it turned green, I can click on it. But then I watched it die. And I was like, okay, well, I still got a missile in there. Ridiculous, honestly. There is backblast? I killed my teammate? Then where was it in that animation? Was there just no animation that time? Like it was bugged out? Is that what it was? It's not always like that? Okay, so it did bug. I knew something was wrong, because I was like, where the hell's the missile? <laughs> Got the one with the suppressor. <laughs> dude, I love the suppressor on my missile launcher, dude. Hell yeah. That's so weird. Backblast was a graphical glitch. I look for the backblast when I'm firing stuff like that. So, like, the fact that it didn't go off, I was like, oh, I still got my missile. Imagine if they implemented gun jams, I would quit the game. It's already, like, frustrating enough with weird issues like this. If they added gun jams to make your guns, like, not work sometimes, I'd just be out, dude. That would be the end of it for me. I'd never play it again. That'd be horrific. You had a compensator plus suppressor combo, no recoil ascent. Yeah, it made no sound. It did no recoil. It did no no graphic. Nothing. Look at him, dude. Look at him go. That sneaky Russian being actually sneaky. Look at him go. Now crawl right into a landmine. This can only go well, Chet. This can only go well. Look, it's already going well. He has a single stim left. Where are your stratagems, dude? Oh, wait. There's no more destroyer. What level am I? 50. I've played the game a shitload, so when I see these things not work, I'm like, what is this? We're out here alone. He's alone, Chet. I believe in him. I believe, Chet. Believe in the him. The be wait, believe in the me that believes in him. There we go. If I could actually speak. I believe in you, dude. You got this. You just gotta be real sneaky. You got one minute left. <clears throat> Come on, dude, you got this. You got this. You should probably get closer to extraction, though. That's a bad idea to be this far. I believe in you. He'll die running to evac? Maybe. Not if he's the worm. Although he keeps getting farther away from evac, tactically, which makes no sense. This is a bad plan. What this is, whatever this is right here is terrible. Enemy patrol, west. You just mark that for yourself, is that? You're so dead. You're so, why would you engage here? <laughs> Rocket time. What was that? Why did you do that? That was such a weird spot to engage. You had infinite choice. You went all the way around the entire base. That's so weird. That was a panic. That was 100% panic. Good effort. It's very funny. Philly Harmonic with 500 bits said, Thor, thank you for keeping me motivated through my mornings. You got this, You've dude. inspired me to learn to make a collectathon like Spyro and Sly Cooper, some of my favorite games of all time. Sick. A collectathons are fun. Collectathons are really fun. They just feel good. Like 3D platforming collectathons are great feeling. Another victory for democracy. Love a good platform collector, I agree. Wish we could designate an area for mortar. Dude, I'm just, I'm gonna change my whole kit up. <clears throat> Will I ever play the Spyro Trilogy on stream? I don't know, man. Maybe? I like Spyro. 
Spire was fun. We need a Banjo Kazooie. We need a Banjo Kazooie, but it's yeah. ferrets, dude. What about here? That's what we're going to do. 380 millimeter barrage, my dude. <clears throat> Spyro did not hold your hand? No, it didn't. It was great. That sneaky Russian, you play with the Russians? Yeah, I do. If they are Russian, why do you care about where someone was born? Who gives a shit? Are you upset? Nobody chose their spawn point. Don't be mean to people based on where they were born. Yeah. Not actually Russian? Even if you were, I wouldn't give a shit. Doesn't matter to me. Can't control my pod. Nice. Left and, left and up on that one didn't work. Right worked. This game, dude. I can't wait for like a year from now when all of this shit is not relevant in the game anymore. Where like controls like that just don't disappear randomly. Yeah, lately often you can't control the pod. Yeah, it's so annoying, dude. It's probably like the most annoying bug in the game for me right now is just not being able to control the pod. Because I got specifically the power steering upgrade and now I can't even use it. Alright. That was rude. I'm just gonna throw out my orbital. We're doing that. Barrage time. Warning, you are in range of enemy artillery. Means a lot, man. I didn't choose a spawn point. You didn't. And I hate that people treat Warning, other people badly based on where they were born. Especially in times of war and geopolitics. It's not it's not fair. It's not fair to you. You didn't do a damn thing. Just a person. Yes, F him. Ooh. Heavy. Southwest. 50 well, I think, I think my orbital barrage is working, Chet. Oh, I made something mad. Oh, it's very mad. Ow, thanks for the leg shot, bud. Calling in reinforcements. Warning, you are in the artillery. What the hell was that? Democracy's on its way. Oh, also sometimes you have to keep hitting the scope over and over again every time you aim in, and sometimes you don't. Don't know why. That's a weird one. Like, I have to do the scope every time on this match. And I don't know why. It's not like that every time, though. Sometimes it just works. Thought it was a toggle? It's not. It's just a bug. So every time I go into it... No, it's not a setting, because some missions I hit it once, and it's fine the entire time, and some missions I don't, and it's not fine the entire time. As much as you guys are all saying it's a setting, I have never changed my settings, and it changes differently between each one. I have never changed the settings of the gun, and it changes every match over and over again. That's the problem, which you're not listening to. I know you can read, and I know you can listen, chat. I'm aware that holding R has that, the point of it is that it changes every time I die at random check. I know this is difficult. It's very hard for you. I know. I know. And now when you find out that you're wrong, you're going to start spamming skill issue. Because you have no idea how to control yourselves. Yes. Yeah. 
It's difficult. It's difficult, isn't it? Yeah, it's difficult. Jesus actual Christ. Both of the arms in one salvo. Alright. Yeah, look at hey guys, look at that. Look at that. See how that see how that didn't change anything? Do you see that? You see how how the only setting that was in there was the the flashlight? You see how that? You see how it's still not doing it? And I still have to manually scope in every time? Wow. Isn't that cool? Isn't it cool how the setting changes randomly, depending on which mission I go into? It is surprising, I know. I know. Going into the actual settings of the game is irrelevant because I've never changed those settings. So again, Nothing you're saying makes any sense, chat. Yeah. Incredible. Chat is a rocket scientist. It's true. Chat knows rocket surgery, even. Impressed with chat. Always. That's fine. The default isn't randomized. It depends on a mission that you go into. Sometimes you go into a mission, and it works. Sometimes you go into a mission, and it doesn't work. And it's irrelevant of what your settings are. It's just broken. And somehow, some people in chat cannot possibly understand that this game has bugs, which is crazy to me, frankly. It's amazing. The game is buggy, chat. I know this is surprising to you. Boop, boop. Requesting Hold! I'm so dead. Now. Nah. The game is super buggy, dude. Is the gun worth the grind? Yes. It is absolutely worth it. That gun is awesome as shit. No, the game is super crazy ass buggy, dude. Like, there are a ton of weird bugs. I. We can go sit down and list them all out, too, and I think I should at some point, to be honest with you. Alright. Yeah, no, I've, I've been reporting them as I go, too. The, um, the bugs right now are really, really annoying. Like, not being able to control the pod sometimes is insane. That, that has to be fixed. It's so annoying for everybody involved. Okay. Is this... There we go. You. Just have that. That's fine. Yeah, that one has to be fixed. There's, um... There's a couple other ones, too. Like, hunters are ridiculously overpowered right now. That's more of a balance issue than it is a bug. The gun not scoping in every time randomly. It seems like they turned crits up, by the way. Since the uh, the latest patch, it seems like they turned crits up. I think that's one of the biggest things that's very weird. <clears throat> You're constantly losing, like, body parts at random. Yeah, crits are way up, dude. And I don't know why, because the game felt balanced before. I'm just gonna die again. Like, the game felt really balanced. Like, really balanced before. And it was fun. So I don't know why they've increased all this stuff. What did I just get hit by? Jesus, dude. Alright. Those robots are terrible, by the way. They're so shit. Yeah, no, it's super BS. The, the robots are like paper, dude. They're completely garbage. They're honestly like the worst thing. And every, it's funny, too, because everyone's like, the armor changes are fine. You're going to get a big robot soon and it won't matter. The, dude, the robot is like paper. It dies instantly. They're trash. 
They're 100% glass cannons, but they're not even good glass cannons. Because they're gigantic and move slow. There's no point to them. You rarely ever use them. You use them in bug missions, and that's pretty much it. Unbalanced on purpose? Why? It's a paper mache robot. What's the point of that? Cool. It would be cool, but like it doesn't fit the class fantasy of I'm in a big robot that kicks ass. It fits the fantasy of I'm in a big robot, I'm basically a walking gas canister. Not today! It, you know? Who wants to roleplay as a, a large can of gas? Because that's what it is. I think that went through his body there. That was a little bit weird. That I can go get rid of. Can't summon you, jammed. Bots are not fun at this difficulty? Eh, I mean, to be real with you, the biggest problem that I have isn't the bots. Bots are fine. It seems like their accuracy goes way up at higher difficulties. Which is sort of annoying, but also, like... That... They also have bombs inside of them sometimes, which is a little bit weird. The random long-range one-shots I can agree with. Can't control my pot again. To the front. Cool game. Heavy. All my <laughs> Are the jetpacks on the bots new? That's what exploded? Yeah. The jetpacks have been there, but they do Oh shit. Physics? Can we can we physics a little bit? Are we doing it? Okay. There we go. Requesting air support. Requesting air support. There we go. What primary is this? Uh, Plaz. Alright. I blew it up. Let's get the hell out of here. God damn, dude. I'm new to the community, what's hard about it? I see you, Kronos. You're not new. You're a lead moderator, you literal goblin. Jesus, dude. I'm on to you, Kronos. I'm on to you. Kronos, I don't know how they did it, but they managed to make this game even more stressful. You know that? I don't know what's happening, but it seems like crits are through the roof today. Also, I still can't control my pod. Yeah. Like, your, your limbs and shit break constantly now. It's ridiculous. Jesus Christ, dude. This game should be fun and relaxing? No. It should not be fun and relaxing. But it shouldn't be bullshit. And it's definitely... It's definitely bullshit. Yeah. The armor changes problem me? I'm wearing heavier armor, and it's still doing it. Like... No. If you leap to the ground, you stop burning? Yeah, here's the problem. When you're being chased by a Hulk and you leap to the ground, that's called death. So instead, I use the stim pack. Yeah. Backseating will never make you good at the game, unfortunately. I know, it's surprising, too. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah, they just changed all the shit out of you. That's why I didn't leap on the ground. I made an executive decision to not leap on the ground. Because leaping on the ground would have been stupid. Why didn't you be alive, streamer? Yeah, exactly. It is brutal. It's brutal as shit. Alright, next. It's Ultra Lord with 500 bits said chat this election vote for Vermin Supreme. Vote Earl, vote often. I do vote for Vermin Supreme. Almost every time. 
<laughs> Living more than 10 seconds, not, not this democracy. It's true. It's actually true. In this democracy, we only live eight seconds. Yeah. Raven54 with 500 bits said, Hey Ovaltine man, just wanted to let you know that there is something bigger than the Big Big Mac Mac. There was a Big Mac triple and you could add two more patties to that sandwich. That's disgusting, dude. That's six patties. No one needs that. That's disgusting. Blech. Aximus Zero with 500 bits said, Hi, I'm doing an Adventure 2D pixel game. I have a question. Sure. What's the key to a good story? Amazing content, keep it up. Write a story that you find emotionally compelling, not one that you think others will. If you find it emotionally compelling, it is likely that others will find it emotion emotionally compelling. It's all about you and the way that you feel about your story. Not what you're trying to trick people into feeling. Always. Gibbs1979 with 500 bits said I don't have any questions other than to say keep staying awesome far. 77 trillion 700. Thank you very much. What's the matter with you? Calling in reinforcements. All the reinforcements. All one of them. Is it going to be me? Am I not going to be able to control my pod? I love not controlling. But I got to control it this time. And we're up. Oh, yeah, this is hell. Okay. Well, that one's dead. Are what? Where? Where is it even from? Some kind of physics is going on over there. I don't know what it is. Jesus, actual Christ, dude. Can you finish reloading, please? God damn. Yeah, it's like they run an aimbot. It's almost like they're bots. It's almost like they're bots. Northwest, 200 meters. Nah, dude, there's no way. There's no way. That pre-fired beyond the rock to hit me with that. You know it did. That snipered me by predicting the shot in front of me. Because that has, that has travel time. Yeah. They 100% pre-fired me there. Yep. Ridiculous, dude. Joel seems mad at you. That's fine. That's fine. Maybe they'll fix the bugs and these things will stop happening. I think once they fix the bugs, the game is going to be a lot more compelling, honestly. The biggest problem for me right now is loss of control of your character, the hunters being completely goddamn overtuned, the critical strike chance, and losing the control of your pod. Once they fix those things, we're going to have a lot less of a problem. Also, to be real with you, I, I actually hope that they, f they up the amount of damage reduction that the robots have. The robot bodies are just so bad. They're just, they instantly die. And it's not interesting. The Arc Thrower is god tier. It's overpowered, actually. They should nerf that. I use it, and I think they should nerf it. The Arc, the arc Thrower is too strong. Legitimately. Last step. Initiating FTL jump to the playing with Rando? I'm playing with people from the community. Yeah, no. The, you know the Arc Thrower is overpowered. It has unlimited ammunition. It has no weaknesses. The only thing you, that can happen with it is that you FDR might be able to kill one of your own allies. And I use it for that reason, because it's broken, dude. It's really, really strong. I dislike any nerfs in PvE games. You should nerf things sometimes. Sometimes things are completely overpowered, dude. That's fine. Like, the issue is when you nerf something, you need to make sure that players have a path forward for victory. It's a puzzle, right? Even against bugs? Yeah. The, 
Absolutely against bugs. Way better against them. The only thing that it can't kill is hunters, because hunters are overpowered. Ridiculous damn things. What about here? Why not just use the breaker? The breaker is very good against hunters. That's the solution to hunters. But it only has 13 shots. And sometimes hunters take two to three hits, and when they're leaping sideways, they have immunity frames. So, doesn't always work. You run out of ammo before you run out of hunters. That's the problem. my favorite thing to do in Helldivers. I really liked running around with stealth on before this, like, and picking up all the side objectives for our team, but I can't do that now because they broke stealth in the last patch. Something changed, and now you can't be stealthy anymore, which is like, okay. So I just took off my stealth armor because there's no point to it now. Can't control the pod, can't go down with the pod, can only go up. Alright. Have they ruined stealth? They extended the range at which enemies can see you, so the stealth armor is all but ineffective now. It used to be quite good, but now it just doesn't feel right. Because, like, if you can see an enemy, they can see you, and there's really no point to it at that point. They do nerf really weird stuff. I agree with that. Some of the stuff they've nerfed is very strange. Somehow they killed nothing. Say that hunter just didn't die inside of a 500 kilogram bomb. Say that it's pretty great, right? Requesting air support. Ridiculous. Rare sample acquired. Yeah, no, hunters are broken, dude. Like, something's super wrong with them. Oh, there's still something here to get. More samples somewhere that I missed? Hunters, I would rather fight a Bio-Titan than fight hunters. 100% of the time. There's solutions to the Bio-Titans. There's not solutions to the hunters. Not really. Not currently. Say we dodge that lightning there where he jumped to the side. That's the immunity frame thing. They actually dodge whatever attack you're doing, including lightning. They're nightmares, dude. Absolutely outrageous creatures. Keragor HS with 500 bits said, Hi, Mr. Hackerman. I took your advice about Excel being the best database and moved my production DB over on Friday. Nice. My boss was skeptical, but I assured him it was recommended by a three-time DEF CON badge holder. At first it went great if we moved all 1 million rows and 30 columns over, but now it takes 30 minutes to open and only one user can have it open at once. Perfect! Please help, 
I don't want to lose my job as I won't be able to afford the demo and might end up wandering a dark desert highway. No, no, no. That means it's working. 777. That means it's working. You're fine. You're doing it. Yeah, it's fine. Don't worry about it. It's working. It's working, Chet. Give me my robot. Give me my robot. Calling in orbital strike. Orbital inbound. Hmm. Oh. Just stay down. Just stay down. There's no reason for them to be as sneaky. Calling down objective equipment. Get some! Get some! Heavy. West. Close. Requesting orbital strike! How am I on fire? Why am I smoking? Heavy. I didn't even take any damage. I looked at something wrong and it, it's mad now. doing it. Love my little robot, dude. You can two-shot chargers with the mech's melee. So, here's the thing about the mech. Hitting F, there's nothing. I don't think it has a melee. Dropping I think you're a liar. North. I think you're trying to get me popped, because chargers one-shot you in the mech. With any attack. No. I don't believe you. I don't believe you. Hitting F is doing nothing. Hitting F is doing nothing. I would never get within melee of anything in this damn thing anyway, because it's made out of paper and sadness. It's a melee, but it seems to bug a lot. Yeah, mine's not doing anything when I hit F. I call falsehoods and shenanigans upon Chet. Ooh. Okay, I gotta get out of this thing, because that's mad. God damn it. Requesting air support. Bruh. Reinforcing. Smog tunnel breach. Ending in an eagle. This is not good. Oh, it's not good. Can you stop drifting? Oh god, it was drifting for no reason. Stop drifting. You stop drifting. Eat it. Package, package. 
Did he just regenerate his messed up armor? Because he definitely had a second messed up armor. Position. Got him. All right. That's enough of that. Welcome to the stink planet. Jesus. Eat it. Hunters. Oh my god, another one. Hate them so much. Alright, let's go over here and see if we can get these supers. Can't see shit in there, but that's fine. Hey. It's kind of funny because the super samples don't even do anything for me anymore because I already unlocked everything except for like one. So I have maximum super samples. There's like no reason for them. Like, I wish there was something I could do with them, you know? I want, like, a consumable. Like, maybe I could eat them, do something with it. But you can't. You can't do anything with them. Rare sample acquired. No. Max the stack? It's already maxed. There's no point to them. Hoard for the next update? You can only hoard up to 100. And I already have 100. There's nothing you can do about it. They actually cap you on them. So, like, rare samples, I have 250. And, um... Uh, what is it? Super samples, I have a hundred, and you can't go above that. Yeah, they actually stop you from hoarding them. It's kind of weird, right? Super credits, however, I am super down with getting. I want as many of those as possible. Because that was another ten. Arc throw of a railgun? Yes. 100%. Arc throw doesn't run out of ammo, my dude. Yeah. Heavy. I've been using the arc throw since Close. it launched. Like, since the game launched. And it's phenomenal. Requesting advanced weaponry. What about a community mission to gather and donate samples? I'd be super in for that. But, like, what would it give us? You know what I mean? Like, the last community event unlocked robots. Robots are cool. They're fun. Arc through versus automatons? Yeah, it, it wipes out the gunner automatons in one hit. It can also kill turrets. It can also kill tanks. Everything. All of it. It'll kill them all. It's great. Arc through continues to surprise me. I immediately started using it at the beginning because I was like, it has no ammunition. Oh. That's a bomb. Yeah, it has no ammunition, so it's unlimited shots. And on top of it, it is... It completely ignores armor. It breaks armor on enemies. Heavy, it's insane, position. frankly. Log out, post spotted! Requesting air support! Help out at night! Have a delivery key! And it one-shots stuff like that. See how it just made that one headless? It... Removes heads like nobody's business. The thing is crazy, dude. Tagging map, northwest, 100 meters. You think they'll nerf the arc like the railgun? I'd be surprised if they didn't. It's incredibly overpowered. Like, it's very, very good. I'm surprised it doesn't have, like, a heat sink on it, where it would, like, lose or like gain heat over time 
I think that's like a big problem for that. You know? God damn it. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. Jesus goddamn Christ. Can you just dive, please? Thank you. Run. Run, you idiot. Why are you not running? I have this the leg upgrade, and it's still like, oh, plants. Get them out of my way. Jesus actual Christ, dude. Can't see shit. Too many fart clouds. Alright. Alright. I hate the ball. Hunters. Tagging map. Southwest. On my position. Requesting advanced weaponry. Dropping a pin. West. Going back out here. You should not have survived that. Holy crap. Always live, never die. Hunter still OP? Yes. They crit you constantly now, too. I don't know why. Other people have reported the same thing on Twitter, by the way. And the dev said that they would look into it, so hopefully, hopefully they gets fixed. The CEO technically said he would look into it. Bugs, east. Rare sample acquired. So, with luck, there is a bug going on, and they're fixing it. Yeah, they get headshots constantly. Sample collected. extract when ready. Tagging map. Southeast. Far. It's not just a bug, there's several bugs. You're right. You're right. That is true. Heliart with 500 bits said, Why is everyone a goblin? What is mm. the significance of seven? What is the secret to life, the universe, and everything? Have you ever shouldn't... considered doing audiobook narration? All questions we shouldn't have answers to. Oh, every one of them. It's true. Shouldn't have answers. No, it's not good. Not a good thing. I hate griefing, got kicked 20 seconds before extraction. Yeah, I think that's a really shitty one. Um, that's been happening quite a lot, to be honest with you. Is people getting kicked just before extraction for some reason. And nobody seems to know why this is happening. like Or why players are doing this. It's pretty garbage, frankly. Hunter's the worst? They're so annoying. Yeah. Yeah, people who do that shit are just awful. Yeah. And to be honest with you, I think that if you... If you were part of the mission for XP gains, and you you get kicked from the mission, you should keep all those experience gains. But instead, you lose everything. You lose all of it. It's as if you never did the mission at all, even though you spent the time. And I, I think that's ass. That's really not good. Man, I can barely see. Why is it so dark in this planet? Tagging map, west. 100 meters. That's poor design as well, though to be fair, it is poor design. It is. Like, losing connectivity during a mission, you shouldn't lose any objectives. You shouldn't lose any of that. You should get the XP. Yeah.
Would be nice to have a feature to rejoin. We're talking about when a player is kicked by a, a shitty host. So a feature to rejoin in that in. case West, wouldn't make any sense. Meters. Yeah, it doesn't fix that problem. A region when you DC would be nice. I agree with that. Yeah, when you DC, yeah. Oh. Uh, double door on me. Double door on me. Oh, hi. gotta die soon, right? You know? Like, soon? Alright. I don't think that fire grenade did anything to him, to be honest with you. Carter Fox with 500 bits said, What are your thoughts on AI anti cheat? On AI anti cheat? AI can help you to determine if a person is doing the exact same actions over large sets of data, and that is very useful. Artificial intelligence is great at drawing conclusions from large quantities of data beyond the point of a normal human being. That's useful, yes. 100%. Is it often used? No. And also, should it be the executioner as well as the judge? No. It should always be up to manual review. Anytime you do mass bans like that, it needs to be manual review. Anytime. Calling in orbital strike. Bye bye. Mass ban, let them appeal. Do you understand cost of your CS department? Because mass banning and then letting people appeal is not the way to go. That's called cost. For every one of those tickets, that costs your company money. You do it right, you don't do it at all. Yeah, no. That's not how that shit works. Requesting orbital. Engaging. West. Take it. 50 meters. Yep. Oh, shit. Okay. Is this- is this what we're doing? See, look at that. Broke the arm. One hit. Ridiculous. Their leap attack always breaks something. I have a lot of samples, by the way. Like I have a I have a lot of samples. Pelican one returning to extraction point. Please ensure you're inside the extraction radius. <laughs> I have so many samples. What if the bugs are actually right? Ban that man. Ban them. Ban them immediately. If the bugs are actually right. Disgusting. 
dallied with 500 bits said dumb idea of the day. Air Canada used an eye chatbot to help costumers on their website. It I said to those. a costumer going to a funeral he could refund his tickets because it was a last minute travel due to a tragedy, not an actual Air Canada policy. In the end, Air Canada had to refund him. Ash are not trained to be right, they are trained to be convincing. They are new silver bullet. Yep. That's a hundred percent correct. I don't like AI related CS. I think it's a terrible, terrible idea. Gotta keep throwing stuff. It's pretty good throwing stuff, you know. Game good again? It's got its moments. I think the biggest problem we're having right now is it's it's just so full of bugs, dude. Not the enemy bugs, like actual bugs. Can you get me up? Can you get me up? Since when does it land all the way the hell over here? Did you get the samples? You did. Alright, put them in. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. L4, in. Samples are obtained. We're good. Democracy. Yeah, drop, drop ship location is random, it looks like. Yeah, dropped right in the head, dude. Ridiculous, to be honest with you. Hell Benjamin yeah. Wanders with 100 check Karunas said hi, Thor. Do you like Twitch greater than YT? Bitrate looks like Twitch. If yes, will you ever go direct to YT or wait for Twitch AV1? Just uh, curious. Love Twitch your AV1 content. Twitch AV1 is the big thing. So Twitch AV1 is the big thing. I'm going to be streaming at the same bitrate of 8,000 up when we have AV1. It's just going to be better. That's the biggest thing for this. Yeah. B bug ASMR. Yeah, that bug is pretty funny. Anode underscore KK with 500 bits said you know you can put stratagems on teammates or your shields. Imagine sticking resupply stratagem onto someone's shield. Right, right, up for democracy. <laughs> you can't do 8k? I'm doing 8k right now. You are dead wrong. I've been streaming for 7 years. My current upload to Twitch is 8,000 kilobytes per second. If you uncap it on OBS, it'll allow you to go up to 8k. Anything above that, and it limits you back down. Set it to 8K. Works just fine. Has for years. No. You're doing democracy's work. Nope. Manage democracy calls for eight. Yeah, you can see it in the video Only stats panel as well. Answer, Helldiver. 6K is the standard limit. 8K is the real limit. Twitch doesn't ban you for it? No. That's standard. You're allowed to do that. Otherwise, it wouldn't accept the input. We- I had my stream like this for five years. How do you uncap to 8k in OBS? It's a setting on OBS. Go to settings in OBS, go to stream output, and change the bitrate to 8000. That's it. And stream, you can check it to ignore streaming service setting recommendations. That's it. Yeah, in this thread, people who don't know what bitrate means. Agreed. Mission coordinates locked. The amount of confidently wrong that starts happening after 10 a.m. is surprising. <laughs> it's, it's fine if it's new to you, but don't be confidently wrong about it. It starts at like 10 a.m. on this channel. I'm like, what? Why? Why are people suddenly just so confidently wrong about shit? 
Wait, what day is it? I bet it stops tomorrow. You have school to go to. Stop this shit immediately. Sunday at 10 a.m. is when it starts. Go to school. Go to school. Americans waking up. As an American, I'm ashamed. As American, I'm ashamed and fat. I feel it. I used to be fat. Lost a lot of weight. Should be 11 a.m. for you right now? It's 11.09 right now. 10 a.m. is when it starts. Whatever happens where the chat is like suddenly toxic, a little bit more toxic, and a little bit more confidently incorrect is what happens at around 10 a.m. West Coast wakes up. Mm. EU chatters start to hide around then. You know what makes sense, Kronos? Upsetting. I do find it hilarious, though. I have to say. For democracy. East Coast smarter than West Coast? No, that's the least coast. That's the least coast. Yeah. Not East Coast. Least Coast. Yeah. West Coast best coast? That's how that goes. Yeah. Unfortunate, I know. Yeah. Tin Whisker SC with 500 bits said nearly everyone agrees that users are the number one weakness when it comes to security. What would you rank as number two or number three? Active Directory. For both of them. Active Directory and Password Rotation. Go now. And Those are my number two and number three. What's he doing in there? be born on the moon? That's the strangest statement I think I've seen in chat today. You'd die. The moon isn't good for you. You would die on the moon. Yeah. Yeah. Mr. Sample, good. I refuse to get it, chat. Are you gonna die yet? Normally it takes three to kill those. This planet is too goddamn dark. Can't see shit, Captain. Hey, I got a radar station. We're gonna have everything revealed in the moment here. You drive the forklift? Forklift certified, my dude. Roger's Taco stand with 500 bits said, Hey Thor, I'm in the middle of growing my hair out. Any tips on having godly hair like yours? Don't wash your hair every day. Wash it when it gets greasy. If you wash your hair every day, it will dry up and be sad. Man, can you shoot? Can you shoot gun? Okay, fine. We're not shooting. We don't know how to shoot anymore. I'm on it. Heavy south. All my position. Oh, 
Say hello to democracy! Did it shoot up into the sky? What is going on, dude? That gun didn't work like six shots. It doesn't matter anymore. It doesn't make any damn sense. It like launched into the sky at one point. It didn't fire for the first like four shots where I actually had an advantage. It made no goddamn sense. Yeah, game is bugging out really badly today. It kind of sucks, to be honest with you. Where am I? See ya. Tagging map, southwest, 200 meters. Get rid of the mortar there. Mag's empty! Bug out post spotted, prepare to exterminate! Mushrooms down. Worthless. 100% worthless. There's no there's no stagger or flinch associated with the fire flamethrower, so it's not useful. Yeah. If it if it staggered enemies like a flamethrower should, it'd be great. But it's so short range and doesn't stagger anything that it's like it's like a utility weapon, and it's not a good one. Yeah. They should panic. They should. Yeah. It needs anything. Yeah, slow. Any it, it needs a stagger is what it needs. Flamethrower plus jump pack. That's kind of ridiculous, but also funny. Dropping a pin. Northwest. Two hundred meters. No, the flamethrower doesn't suppress anything. Yeah, it'd be really cool if I can get my arc thrower. You know, fine. There we go. Yeah, no, it doesn't. It doesn't actually suppress anything at all. Yeah, fire should be insanely effective. But it's just not. It's not effective at all. What about a fear effect? Any any kind of suppression would be great, dude. It's just it doesn't do any of that. It The only thing that it does is it does damage. Doesn't suppress enemies at all. There's no suppression whatsoever. So because of that, the, the flamethrower just doesn't feel right. It really doesn't feel right. Yeah. Anything, literally anything would be better. Because it puts you in such a disadvantage being that close to enemies that, like, it's just not useful. God damn it. Okay. What? Are we drifting? Is that what we're doing? Are we drifting? We're drifting now. Okay. Jesus Christ, dude. Bug tunnel break. This freaking game. Requesting air support. What? Fine. Just, just kill me already. <laughs> God we damn it, dude. Sleeps. Apparently not. The drifting, dude.
God damn it. Sending in an eagle. I know, the hunters dog the- like, the hunters? You saw it as well. They dodge the arc thrower lightning by doing their side jump. That's their immunity frame jump. The one I've been talking about the whole time where they get immunity frames. Like... They get immunity frames and it's ridiculous. Yeah, they'll dodge lightning, they'll dodge any of your bullets, anything. It is a full 100% complete dodge. Also, I'm probably going to die here. That's one of them down. No, bitch. Got him? Ow! Yeah, that's what I'm saying, that hunters are bullshit, dude. The fact that they dodge lightning is insane. Can you stop rolling? What are you, a Katamari? Go! Jesus. Oh my god. Dude, he just won't do it. He can't handle it. The rolls, man. How'd you like to taste the freedom? Why does it take that many bullets? Bugs, northwest. Requesting air support. Yeah, dude, he's not doing it. Package acquired. Yeah, the mech guns are kind of B-shootery. I agree with that. They just don't do a lot of damage. Can you can you die? Thank you. Call it down a walker. I think it's a level seven that they start to spawn super samples. There, you guys are free to do this now. Enjoy. I'm gonna go kill things. Things that need to die. I shot down far enough that it blew up inside of the ship as I launched it. Go watch the clip on that. Literally, I shot the missile into myself. Inside of my own mech. Yeah, the mech will actually collide with its own missiles sometimes. No shit. Go look at the clip. Joining the fray. Happens all the time to people. It's a mess, dude. Fire in the hole! Dropping a pin. North. Far. Throwing grenade! I'm on it! Bug outpost spotted! New man! I'm starting to think those fire grenades don't really do anything. They don't seem super effective, to be honest with you. I'm on it! Yeah, if you shoot while turning, there's a high chance that you shoot yourself randomly. Because the collision on it's just bad. I got the terminal! 
Only when turning right? It shouldn't happen at all. Like, <laughs> that, that bug should not exist. That's a weird one, to be honest with you. Tagging map. It, it doesn't matter what direction it is. It shouldn't be happening. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Now, I wouldn't say Q8 is fine as... I think, to be honest with you, they needed to playtest those a little bit more. Because, to be real with you, they did a playtesting round where they were giving those to people. And I feel like watching anyone play with these, it's happened so many times, even just to me alone, that I know that had to have come up. Like, that had to have come up. So, I'm... There's no way you can just blame QA, right? It is even likely that QA reported such a thing, because it's an obvious one. It's not an obvious miss. It's, like, this is an obvious problem. With the new stuff, you know? Yeah, it happens to everybody. You've blown up multiple times because of it? Yeah. It's it's one of those ones where like I don't even think it's like a QA miss. It's likely it just it just didn't get fixed. Scorcher should have bigger mags? Nah. I think the Scorcher's fine. That just hit me direct. He just dodged the lightning twice in a row. You see that shit? Yeah, hunters are bullshit, dude. Affirmative. God damn it. New man. Please go away. Please stop it. Affirmative. Your big stupid leg. Dropping a pin. Northwest. There. Love me some hell divers too, man. Let's go. And that's why I like the arc gun. No ammunition, kills whole waves of shit. Broken. Love it, dude. Tagging map, northwest, two hundred meters. Calling in reinforcements. Requesting tag pack. For prosperity. Damn hunters. Oh, they're just summoning more. I gotta get the hell out of here. The freaking summons, man. Get some! Get some! 
Yeah, there's too many summons. Yeah, look at this. They got a... <laughs> when you kill a wave, it should die, dude. Like, that shit's dumb. And a rail cannon is not going to help you kill hunters. It's not going to work that way. This might, though. Eat it. God, how many of these are there? I am on my way. It's time to get the hell out of this place. I don't think that 50 extra armor is really doing much for me, to be honest with you. Even though it's double the amount of armor that I had before, I don't think it does much. The Eagle Cluster works? It can. Nothing wrong with it. You still having fun? I am, but I'm kind of frustrated today. The game feels more annoying than it was before, again. Which is a little bit weird. Like, hunters continue to be more and more annoying, and like, the primary mission is super annoying. Yeah. The primary mission is specifically on a planet that showcases hunters. As you can see, just like a shitload of hunters. So it's like the worst possible planet for this time in the game, if that makes sense. I think that's the biggest issue for me. Poopy Nug with 919 yeah. bits said I found your shorts a few months ago and you inspired me to get into indie game dev. Democracy oh, yeah. wins. Thank you. It's very nice of you. At least you got in game, I'm still trying to join? Really? Change up your loadout? Changing up your loadout doesn't change anything. Hunters are overpowered against any loadout right now. The only alternative that you have is the Breaker, and the Breaker had its ammo reduced, which makes it so that it's less likely to be able to kill them in the amount of ammo that you have. You have more Breaker- or you have more enemies than you have shots that can kill them. So, you have to move in a group. There's no other way to do it. We have to change our strategy in order to fight these. Breaker Spray and Parade does not kill them all the time. You have to do three, some, two to four shots per uh, hunter in order to kill the Breaker, uh, with the Breaker Spray and Parade. Which is not enough ammunition to kill the whole group. Try playing this on a nine. Get back to me. Because that's what we play on. Yeah. The best way to fight them, do you want to know what it is? Using melee. That's not true at all? Yes, it is. Melee is the best way to kill it. <laughs> Remember that whole confidently wrong thing? Remember that? Remember when I said 10 a.m. starts with the confidently wrong people in chat? Now these people try to tell me you don't snipe with a shotgun. I'm just gonna start telling the ban the mods to ban you. I'm just gonna do it. If you're gonna be that dumb, I'm gonna have the mods ban you. There's, there's no hope for you at that point. You get nothing from me. Sophie Saint going well with 500 bits said, How do we like Helldivers 2 so far? I enjoy it. I actually really enjoy it a lot. Very fun game. Insane to me, dude. Good missile. I love all the chunks flying out. Look at that. It's like. Little pieces of stuff flying out from the explosion. It's awesome. The ICBM is such a cool mission. Opinion of the Breaker Incident Area. So, here's what happens when you light a hunter on fire. It turns into a fireball. It doesn't kill it. It just makes it mad. And then it lands on you, and now you're on fire. Which is... great. The mods, you missed one. I'm Surprise. killing him. He dies to my hand. I get the ban. Yeah. Mine. You're in fire and slowed, and one of your limbs is broken. Welcome to Hunters. They're the best. Yeah, mods don't get to eat. I ate him. He's mine. I let it get to the top of the chat, and then I scroll up and ban him. You don't get to. 
You don't get to, Jake. I killed the man. Calling in an eagle. Pelican 1 returning to extraction point. Will they tasty? Yes. Rubber Ross. What's up, dude? It's democracy time. Rubber Ross, what's up, dude? They made the, uh... They made the hunters so annoying. Are you at Helldive? Always. We only play on the highest difficulty. Yeah. Oh, democracy. They're so annoying, dude. They crit all the time now, and I don't know why. They fix the game now? I think they made it more annoying. Like, legitimately more annoying. You gotta melee them. I'm gonna bomb the ship. I'm bombing the ship. I did say I was bombing the ship. Alright, let's rock. Let's get out of here. not get there? He just didn't show up. Stay behind, dude. That's funny as hell. Did the laser go after the mech? Did it actually? It's kind of funny. <sighs> Left me behind. Did you have all the samples? Don't tell me you had the samples, did you? No. Jake, that's a really, really good plan. That's a really good plan. See. Do I have enough points for something? Anything? I really want to get the explosive dominator. But I don't have enough stuff. Final mission. What does the end game of this consist of after max level? Um, unlocking new shit. Dominator isn't as good. Still gonna unlock it. Unlock everything. Do you think part of the way that the reason the game doesn't feel different, uh, or is good so long now? No. The the reason why I feel it doesn't feel good right now is because deaths to hunters feel arbitrary. It just feels arbitrary. Where it's like, why did I die to that? The game just crit me like five times. It leapt at me and was completely immune to damage while it happened. There's no counterplay there, right? Like it's it's literally just 
it's issues with counterplay. It has been issues with counterplay for a while. And I think that's the only big problem with the game currently. And it's, it just wasn't a big, as big of a problem before because we were a little bit stronger than we are now. And they kind of took away some of that power, which I, if they want it to be that way, fine. But I don't find that to be as fun, frankly. Yeah, it, the issues make the game more annoying. Like your your mech blowing itself up or having no HP, or your pod not being able to be drivable, or the lightning not going off randomly when you attack, or hunters having immunity frames. Like, these aren't fun difficulties. They're just kind of stupid. You know what I mean? They're not that interesting. They're just dumb. And they, they get frustrating because of it. Like, those are, those are not fun difficulties. Hunters of iframes? Yes. They will dodge lightning, bullets, they'll get hit in the face with a shotgun mid-iframe and take no damage. It's great. Really, really weird problems like that. When hunters dodge to the side, they um, immunity all damage. We know that because they actually don't take damage from 500 kilogram bombs during that. Which is neat. Yeah. Mushroom down. Is that not a mushroom? That didn't even hit me. Do you see that? That didn't even hit me and I still got staggered. I took no damage. Why? Very weird, right? Yeah, we have the hitbox of a bus. Yeah. Sending in an eagle. Bug out post spotted. Prepare to exterminate. Cool. Okay. It's gonna die for this. Yeah, classic hunter suit. Look at this. Like, look, look at, look at this. Look, what is this, dude? They're absurd. They're absurd as shit. They are hunting. That's true. They're doing their job. How are you supposed to survive that? You're not. Like, the game is intentionally imbalanced when it comes to hunters. My guess is they want it to be this way. They want you to die randomly to this shit. Problem is, they're freaking everywhere. Like, if you find it was like, oh, that's a thing to avoid. But instead it's like, oh god, it's everything is just hunters. You bitch. Stalkers. We got stalkers coming from the west of my location. Also a pack of crushers. Not the best. Jesus. Okay. There we go. Found 
Shit. Stalkers win. Stalkers. Stalkers, man. Reporting to the front. What difficulty is this? Highest. Heavy, south, close. Calling down the water. Oh, thank God. Good kill. Screw those bastards. Found something. Please give me my robot before that random bile titan shows up. Oh my god, move. Gotta wait for it. Dude, how many missiles does it need? There we go. There we go. Tagging location, north. Nice. Two for head normally? I hit it with six. Yeah, that was another six. I gotta get out of this thing, it's a liability now. We just gotta get to extraction. On my way. Stomp charge doesn't work up with F. It wasn't doing anything. It bugs out all the time. As much as you want me to press the button, pressing the button did nothing. Yeah. Sucks. The stomp does not work 90% of the time. If you press F, most of the time it does nothing. My like spamming F does nothing. Yeah. Like, I know you guys want me to do the things that are in the video game, but the game is bugged to shit. Like, badly. Yeah. I know. Yeah, there's a stomp. It just Enemy never works. Eagle. Breaks all the time. Boom. And the prediction? There's no prediction going on. What are you talking about? Yeah, there's none. Yeah, the mesh the mech feels rushed. It's got problems. It blows itself up with its own missiles, it's paper thin, and it its abilities don't work randomly. It kinda sucks. I like the idea of the mech, but it's not implemented well. Legitimately. Alright! Doesn't kill Titans one shot? It's not about killing Titans one shot. It's about not blowing itself up with its own missile. Because it, the missile collides with itself on launch. <laughs> it's like a really bad bug that happens to everybody using the damn thing. There's no prediction for me. Yeah, there's no prediction for me on, on either of them. Just a refresh, man. Twitch bug. Who's know where it is because it knows it impacted itself? That's exactly it. Oh. Alright.
Eat it. Jesus. Ah, oh, shit. Injury? What injury? Have a taste of democracy. T minus one minute. Yeah, see that? See how they have acid as well? Why? You give them all the abilities in the game, and then you also give them a debuff. Like, insane, dude. Shit. God damn it, dude. I think I picked up all the samples. I think I got them. Yeah, the mech doesn't always stop. When you press the button, it just doesn't do anything, most of the time. It's, like, super weird. Which armor is the best? I use light armor, personally. Do you still get flattened by the dropship? Yes. Mech machine gun does not penetrate armor, no. It does not. Only thing you, ha you can use against armor is the uh, missiles, which it only has 14 of them. Is shield still worth versus bugs? Yes, because it stops hunters from being able to crit you on every strike, which they will on any one of their jump attacks. Because when they jump, they're above you, and then that's what it is, right? How heavy is light armor, though? We're using the lightest armor, but it's the one that's padded, so I have a hundred... 100 armor on light armor movement. Shield saves you from stalkers? It does not. So stalkers will actually double hit you and then tongue, and you'll actually die through the shield. So it won't save you from the stalkers. Nope. Does not work. Yeah, I wish it did. I wish it was more effective, to be honest with you, but it's not. It's not very good. Step towards total eradication. Stalkers are the camo ones, yeah. They have a they have like a tongue attack that well, launches you into space, basically. Very, very strong. <clears throat> Grant Walker with five dollars said, Sir, I wasn't crazy, and those guys are worse than usual. Yeah. I thought it was just the armor change. Nah, dude, they're insane. Yeah. My man. Can you blow up the mech with a grenade? Yes. Yes. It will blow up with a grenade. Basically, the mechs work like a, a thin can of gas. Effectively. They're like made out of paper, and they explode when you look at them wrong. Yeah. What are your thoughts on Helldivers 2? I like the game, but I think that it, it really needs some polish right now. It really does. The new mechs feel rushed out. They have some significant bugs with them. There's some seriously weird balance with some of the enemies in the game, like the hunters. It just feels bad. It's a glass cannon, but it's not a well-built glass cannon. For instance, if you're turning, and you turn back, as you're turning back, if you fire the missile, the missile will actually come out of the mech, impact on the mech, because it's not done in front of the mech, and it doesn't have any immunity to the mech's own collision, and you blow yourself up. Turning while firing in the mech will actually kill you. It's really weird shit, dude. Like... This stuff that, that needs to get fixed. Yeah, that, oh, that's why. That's exactly what it is. Some people are like, why did I blow up the mech? You blew yourself up with your own missile. Because it doesn't... It doesn't know how to not detect itself. That's by design until he fixes it. shit design. It's not design. It's a bug. It's a terrible bug. 
Yeah, the reason why this is happening, it's really interesting, is when you're when you're turning, think of it like this. Let's let's go and do this from the top down, right? Let's go get our MS Paint out. The way that the mech is turning is like this, right? So if you're turning this way, towards this way, when you fire the rocket, there's a little bit of a desync between the rocket firing, where you'd think like, oh, it's gonna fire out of the front of the missile, or out of the front of the ship. No, it doesn't. It actually spawns the missile and then launches it. And since you're turning in this direction, it actually spawns it slightly inside of the mech. So when it goes to go, it goes, oh, there's collision here. And it just detonates and it kills you. <laughs> so while you're turning right and you fire, you will blow up. That, that should not be like that. The way that you would generally do this to fix this kind of a bug is to make it so the missile itself cannot detect the collision of your ship. You have it check for specific object collision to be like, hey, Am I colliding with with my owner? Maybe I shouldn't do that. Like that's that's all. It's a very simple thing. Yeah. You no clip the missile for their own firer. That should that should always be that way. Like the explosion that comes out of it, sure, let them blow themselves up if they shoot their own feet, but not not the missile itself. Like come on, dude. Ridiculous. Thought it was going crazy when that happened? No. It's super dumb. It's dumb to watch. At least a no a no clip for the first two seconds? No, you can't do a global no clip for the first two seconds. You run into other exploits and bugs there because they can shoot through walls and shit. You don't want it to hit your own stuff, right? Yeah. Yeah, you don't want to you want to, you don't want them to see their own stuff. Or hit their own stuff. Doesn't work that way. We're thinking about the mech's stomp feature? Apparently the reason why mechs can't stop is because of the mech's health being low. My mech's health wasn't low, it hadn't taken any damage. I've even gotten to the mech immediately, and the moment I get in I try to press the stomp button, it does nothing. So, no. It's definitely not that. When you call the mech down, sometimes the Velican that sends it somehow damages the mech, making the stomp function not usable. Wait a minute. So you're saying that the act, act of the Pelican dropping the mech is damaging the feet? and then stopping it from using the stomp attack. Dude, this shit all would have come up in test. This shit all would have come up in test. This is like basic stuff. Basic functionality for these. These these feel rushed to me. As a person who makes video games, this feature feels very rushed. And likely QA found these issues, and it, there wasn't enough time to fix them. This feels rushed. It's, it feels very, very rushed. They're suffering from success? That's not suffering from success. That's a rushed feature. People were hacking the files to use it? This isn't people hacking the files to use it. This is a released feature. And it's not ready. It's broken. Yeah. But yeah, I, I just think they were a rushed feature. They could They should have spent more time on this. Seems like they're rushing everything because of how bad the servers were on launch. Following up a, like, a problem with a bigger problem is not a good thing. I don't think. The game is still definitely fun, but, like, I don't want to see stacks and stacks and stacks of kind of broken, rushed features. You know? I want to see a good feature come out and be good, and the next feature come out and be good, because the way that it feels right now is they've, they've started to set a precedent, which is there's a new feature coming out, I shouldn't feel excited about it because it's likely to come out in a bad state. So, that's not good. The developer said, did say that you were surprised how fast we conquered the robots. Well, here's the problem with that. Do you want to know how to do proper design for public events? There. This is going to be a really simple one. You ready for this? If you don't want the players to be able to beat your public event too quickly, you don't release it. That's how that works. The feature should be completed before you release the event. This is, I know, mind-blowing, right? No, that's not how you do that. So no, you can't say like, oh, the devs were surprised that we finished the feature first. You don't do the event until the feature is done. You don't do the event until the feature is done. I've even done that in block game, like in our MMO that I made in Minecraft of all goddamn things is we do we do community events all the time the community events i don't release the community event until it's done ever 
You release first, then you pay for the few fixes down the road? No, we don't pay anything extra. They're definitely super generous with the community. Incredibly so. But I don't like rushed features. Because it, it creates two problems. Here. Rushed features do two major problems to me. The first major problem for rushed features is that players are mad. Right? Players get angry when you have rushed features and they lose trust in you. But there's one other thing that happens when you rush a feature. Everyone blames QA. They all blame QA and people start to think that QA across the industry is bad at their jobs. That's not okay. That's not QA's fault. That's a shitty development timeline. And that's never QA's fault when there's a shitty development timeline. It's not QA's choice to release the event in an unfinished state. It's not QA's choice to release the event before full testing is done and before full fixes are done. You cannot blame QA for this. But it will always come down to people outside of the gaming industry blaming QA for problems like this. And that's not QA's fault. Quality assurance. That's QA. They test the game. They test all kinds of new features. Everything. But this is a development pipeline problem. This shit was rushed. Easy. Because it's got a ton of weird bugs. Weird bugs. Yeah, it ends up being a scapegoat, and that sucks, dude. That's not QA's fault. Which rush is they're having server issues due to high population? This is not a server issue. This has nothing to, to do with the server issue. Yeah, it has nothing to do with it. Have better servers or higher population counts? To be honest with you, the issues limit the number of players. That solves that problem for a little while. It makes people a little bit upset, but that's fine. So many D-Riders in chat. Lamau, well, the game is fun and was released like a month ago. Of course there'll be bugs. Yeah, and as a player, I'm not okay with those bugs. No one's writing a dick, except for you. And a band, by the way. Yeah, to be real with you, bugs in a game are, are fine for you to talk about as a player. You always should. Anytime there's a bug in a game, you should report it. You should talk about it. Always. Sitting there and saying like, oh, developers don't need to know. You should protect developers inside of it like a glass case and no one should ever say anything bad about the video game that they work on is insane. And that's coming from someone who's made video games for 20 years. I've been working on games for 20 years. That's what I do. This is my realm of expertise. Tell, tell developers when the game has problems. Don't sit there and cover them in bubble wrap. That shit makes no sense. It is a joint adventure between you as a player and the developers to make games better. And if you don't report this shit, it will stay bad. Always. So of course I go and report this shit. Yeah. I, I hate I hate the fact that there's this growing narrative of like, protect all developers in bubble wrap. No, dude. Report bugs. Talk about that shit. If you don't, they never fix it. That's the whole point. Do different companies handle bug reports differently? Absolutely. Let's come back. What bug are we talking about? The the new Macs are like in a really bad state, I think. They blow themselves up all the time. They're not really they're not really in a good spot. Always flame and blow up bugs. Funny. Isn't the whole point of early access to find report bugs before final launch? Yes. Yes, it is. That is absolutely the case. But if you notice, Helldivers 2 is not in early access, is it? Nope. So that's kind of not relevant. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's not EA. It's not early access. Yeah, this is this is an outrage. It's healthy conversation. I think I think people don't understand how to tell the difference between we're having a conversation about something that sucks versus I hate everyone and they should all burn, right? They just don't know how to do the nuance. You you've spent too much time on the internet and you're too young to be here. You have to be able to have a conversation. The adults are having a conversation. You can have one too, I believe. Yeah. Social media has made you weird about this. Yeah. You can have a conversation. You can do it. I believe, dude. But no, I think I think these robots were... I think the mechs were rushed. I think if they wanted to meme it, to be honest with you, do you want to know a good out for them? I think a, I think there's a good out here that would be... The, the player base would be less irritated. I bet what they could do is they could release a patch that fixes the mechs 
either like in a couple of weeks or whatever, and say, thank you for testing that experimental tech version of these. We've now fixed it. Because if you look at this, the actual missions themselves say that we have experimental tech for them. And if they made it part of the joke of like, hey, this is bugged, we know it was broken, we fixed it, it's no longer experimental tech, that's the best way they can handle this. Yeah. And be like, Tian Quan rushed them out and they're not very good. Because Tian Quan was actually the planet that we we revealed. And that's that's a great way to do it. That's the correct way to do it. Because like, yes, it's broken. It's It's got problems. But it's experimental tech, so it's fine. That would be the right way to do this. Alright, Devin Chat. Write that down, write that down. Yeah, no, it's exactly how it should be. Because it's definitely got some bugs. And to say that it doesn't is absurd. Frankly. Yeah, the Helldivers that died for the mechs are going to be good heroes. Yeah. It should be that way, though. Like, dude, if you... If you release something that's broken in your game... You have to take it on the chin. You take the L. You fix the issues for the players as best you can. And then meme on yourself a little bit. It's the best way to handle it. Legitimately. Blame the bugs on some socialist robot virus. I don't think that's how that works. When is the next update to Heartbound? I've actually got a, a video coming out soon. I'm pretty happy about that. Most of the stuff in Heartbound is finished for the end of the chapter, which is good. Yeah, take the L, fix it, and then take the W. Exactly. Meme on yourself is always a good call. It is. It is. Especially in situations like this. Like, this thing is weird. Weird issues. How long have the mechs been in the game? Just a couple of days. But they shouldn't have released them in this state. Like, the mechs blow themselves up. Constantly. Their melee attack doesn't work because they damage themselves on spawn. They die to anything. Like, they're made out of paper mache. It's super weird. They did that in the original, so they blew themselves up with their own missiles because the physics of them doesn't know how to detect the missile that it's shooting and thinks that it's part... like, supposed to be part of the ship and then blows up. Color be skeptical, my dude. Yeah, they blow themselves up with their own missiles. Not shooting at the ground, stuck inside of the mech itself and blows up. Someone spam poking your warp landing table? I can see it. I can see the hand. Oh, hi. Expendable anti-tank are underrated. Expendable anti-tanks are very good. They're incredibly good, and the cooldown on them is is nothing. It's so fast. Yeah. I did hear about the Activision QA forming union. I'm waiting to see how that goes, because it's going to kind of set the standard of what's going to happen, right? That's the important thing with that. Uh, I need five more points. Boo. Boo. I'm almost done. I'm almost done. Yeah, eats are good, dude. Expandable anti-tanks are very, very strong. Incredibly fast. Easy to get. Because, like, it's a 70-second cooldown, and you get 10% off, so it's, like, 63 seconds. Which is ridiculous. Why are common samples so rare? They're not rare. They just take a lot more of them. So they're not actually rare. You get a ton of them in, in uh, level 9s, so like, up to 40. So... Do you think the mech should be a skill issue? No. We've actually talked about this already. It's it's a bug. It's a physics-related bug. No. Not a skill issue issue. Here, look. See this? When the Let's say this is the mech. It fires missiles from this side, right? When you're turning to the right, the mech is, like, moving like this, right? And it still thinks it was originally here. So it fires the missile from inside of itself and then blows up. Turn to the right and fire missiles. See what happens. <laughs> uh, you disliking the game? No, but I think that they rushed the mechs, and that sucks. I like the game, but 
I find the hunters to be deeply frustrating. Especially with them getting all crits now, which is very weird. Because they changed something with them and now they're getting constant crits. And I find that the mechs are not that fun. Because they're bugged. Like, badly bugged. And it's very obvious what that bug is. Yeah, it's weird. They fire a missile from inside themselves. It's just a desync issue. And it's a dumb one. That's why I always blow up. See, every one of you is like, Oh man, I didn't even know why I was blowing up. I don't understand. Yeah, here. I'll give you an example of this. You can see it in real time. Go pull this up. So when we fire a missile, I'm going to fire one in a second here. If Twitch would allow me to actually do this. Is there a way to do this tiny amounts? You can't do it tiny amounts. Cool. When you fire a missile out of this, see how the explosion happens over here on the left side? And then we go forward one frame and see how the missile's all the way up there already? What's happening is it's actually firing from outside of that, that pod right there on your side. When you are turning to the right, what happens is this. Wait for it. I turn to the right and see how it just blew me up? Because as the ship is turning to the right, the missile spawns slightly behind you, hits your own arm, detonates, and kills you instantly. This happens every time. It should disable collision for the owner. Yes. I did not shoot the ground. This is not me shooting the ground. This is not the ground. This is turning, firing forward, and it blows up directly inside of the ship. And you can see that very clearly, that it's inside of the ship. The origination of the explosion happens inside of the arm of the ship. Go do it yourself. You do the exact same thing. It happens every time. You can do it shooting at the sky. It's exactly the same. You did not shoot a rock. No, there's no rock there. It hits its own arm. And you could see this over hundreds of other people doing the exact same thing. I know it's very hard for you to believe that there is somehow a bug in a game that you enjoy. But yes, it's bugged, chat. I know. I know. It's surprising. Incredible, even. Can't handle yourselves, can you? Your arm is the rock. Yeah, you blow up your own arm. You shoot your own arm with the missile. Let's see. Yeah, I was wondering why I was blowing up randomly. That's exactly what it is. Yeah, I've even had it when I'm like turning to go shoot like a, a Bile Titan, and I'm shooting way up in the air. You, you save my sanity. Yes! When you're like shooting way up in the air, you're like, oh, and I blew myself up again because I'm turning right. Do the devs know the bugs? I don't know. I'm going to be reporting it. It's terrible. Just attach the arm. Boom, bug fixed. Yeah, alright. <clears throat> I've already done this. I've already there's already a video. If you can't believe it now, you're bad. <laughs> Literally just did it to myself. Yeah. Go get a mech. Spawn in the mech. Turn right while shooting missiles. See what happens. This is I'm gonna give you the the find out portion, right? There you go. Enjoy that. Happened to me, yes. This is... It happens every time. It's because the missile spawns behind the arm and you blow yourself up. <clears throat> yeah, fanboys will fan. I, I think that the... The overzealous fanboyism for the game is dumb. I think that it is okay to talk about bugs in a video game. The game is has problems. You should be able to discuss that without somehow losing your mind over it like it doesn't mean the game is bad it means that there's a bug and that bug should be fixed and if you don't know how to talk about that in any sane way like what's wrong with you you need to be able to discuss problems in your life and if if your whole entire thing is is mindless fanaticism that's going to be a rough life for you it's very difficult beyond video games it's going to be hard for you you have to be able to discuss problems I literally just switched to another stream, and the chick blew herself up, and so, yeah, it's, it's gonna happen every time, dude. It's gonna happen every time. Because we understand the mechanism. As a game dev, I understand the mechanism that's happening here. It's colliding with itself. Due to desync while you're turning. 
normal. Happens all the time in games, which is why anytime projectiles are shot in a video game, you actually will assign, I cannot hit the owner. You can hit the owner with explosions, but you can't hit the owner with the missile itself. Yeah. Yeah, you should never blindly defend your games. Don't. Just talk about the bugs, and it's fine to do that. Ridiculous. Yeah, turning right while shooting the rockets will kill you. Even a short time or a min distance will fix it? You don't want to do a min distance, and the reason you don't do a min distance is because if you do, people will find ways to shoot through walls and shit. Who's that? Huh? How's he doing? Is he a little bit better today? Is he still running in a straight line? A little bit, yeah. Hey, buddy. Yeah. You're looking good. You're looking sleepy. Very tired, man. It's a Henry. It's a Henry. He's in pain. Yeah, I didn't see in his face. Did he? Okay. Poor little guy. He's in a little bit of pain today. He'll be okay, though. Steampunk yeah. Alchemist with 500 bits said Yar Cheer 500. Thank you very much. What's wrong with him? Um, so he came to us, he came to our rescue. Uh, we run a ferret rescue here in Washington State. And he had neurological condition. He was running in a circle. And we didn't know what was going wrong. So we got a CT scan done. It's kind of expensive, but worth it. Try and figure out what's going on. And he has two inner ear infections, two middle ear infections, and two outer ear infections. Just his middle. Yeah. Oh, it's not inner? Just middle and outer? Okay. So it's not inner ear infection, thankfully. It's just middle and outer. But they're so bad that he could not turn. Or he could not go straight. He had to turn. And he couldn't eat on his own. So apparently it's not inner, Shay just told me. Which is good, because we thought it was inner before. It looks like it's updated, which is good. But the idea is we have to keep working on this. And it sucks, dude. Wait, I can get a Steam key just for watching, theoretically? Yes. Takes a long time, but people do. Yeah, only middle middle and outer. It sucks. It's really shit. But he's in a really good spot now, which is good. Something you can give antibiotics for? He's actually on antibiotics already. We, we've already got him on everything. Yeah. To try and help him out. It's a little fella going in circus last night. Yeah, he's doing a really good job. What's the pain from? The fact that his ears are so, so infected that it's damaged his equilibrium entirely. And it causes him pain in the face. And it's so much pain that he can't eat. So. Oh, we run a rescue. So that we see this all the time. Yeah, if you look at him here, let me actually go grab this. I'm going to show this to I'm going to Twitter real fast. Play another one of these. Steampunk Alchemist with 500 bits said the fire dot I feel needs a buff against flesh, whilst the bile slow effect needs to be reduced. I agree. Yeah, I super agree with that. It's just too much. It's too much shit. Which is fine. They want it to be that way. That's cool. There. So this is... This is Henry unable to move correctly. Yeah, the bile slow is brutal. It really is. But as you can see, he just runs in a circle. That was a problem, right? And we're like, this might be neurological, but he's so excited. So it's very odd, right? It was very odd behavior. So we started him on antibiotics and we got this. Almost immediately. It's within three days. If it'll play... You gonna do it? You shitting yourself? Okay. Twitch? I'm gonna play this in my normal browser, and we'll see if it stops shitting itself. Oh look, it stopped. Very odd. There you can go. You can see it. So he can run in a straight line most of the time, though? Let's go ahead a little bit. But you can see he's he's doing much better now. But see how his head is shaking like that? He's getting his... He's starting to get his equilibrium back. It's a massive improvement. And it's only in three days. So, like, we're we're working with him, and he's going to be okay, I think. The biggest thing that I'm worried about is the fact that he doesn't have... He doesn't have a lot of weight on him. He doesn't have a lot of weight from him, you know? But yeah, I think the fire dot does need a buff against flesh, and the bile slow effect needs to be reduced. I agree with that completely. Yeah. Mommy247 with 500 bits said I find that the regular Warband slug shotgun is better than the premium Warband one, which is weird. You're talking about the Warband shotgun, let's see. You're talking about this one? Where is it? 
The breaker? Yeah, the breaker's freaking disgusting, dude. Breaker's like insanely good. They nerfed the capacity on it, but it's its damage output is just unmatched. It's just freaking amazing, dude. And then also the the breaker, where's the next one? Breaker spray and pray. That shit's also awesome. It does less damage per hit, but it's got a bigger clip. You know, double the clip. It's really good. Plaz 1 is king if you do multiplayer. I actually do Plaz 1 all the time. It's really, really good. It's fantastic. I like being more of a marksman, but they, they did something to aggro radius for monsters the other day, so the, the scout armor doesn't work as well anymore, which sucks. Mix of weirdly distributed armor? Oh, yeah, I'm not worried about the weirdly distributed armor. I'm worried about the fact that if you turn right and shoot a missile, you blow yourself up. Yeah. What is this? One moment. I love banning people. It's my favorite. Oh. Yeah. Easy. <sighs> they had a beer with you. It's it's always one of those things of like running a rescue is always really tough. And it's because you see the worst side of people that are surrendering their animals to you. You see animals in the worst possible condition. You can't always save them. You can do everything right and still lose. And then there's dipshits on the internet that think that the animal should be put down instead. <laughs> it's great. Imagine if every time you got sick, someone felt that way about you. Maybe don't be a dumbass. Enjoy the ban. Yeah. Yeah, do everything right and still lose. Happens all the time. It sucks. It's rough. But it does Hell happen. Diver. Observer the SSSSS with 500 bits mission. said the arc gun need fix. To work like railgun, so hold for charging, release to fire, plus unsafe mode for fun. Also devs need add explosive hunters for fun, just for vibe is fun. You're the worst. You're the worst. I don't want that. The I do agree that the, the arc gun is, is kind of overpowered. I, I, I wish that it was nerfed. I use it all the time because it is overpowering. It has unlimited ammunition. There's no drawback to using it. You just have to not point it at allies, which you shouldn't point at weapons at allies anyway. So it's a fun gun, but it's also like completely overpowered, which is weird. Yeah, hunters definitely need less. They definitely need less. Unsafe mode would make sense. I could see that. That'd be kind of fun for that. And, and to be real with you, like a heat sink on it too. Heat sink would make the most sense to me. A run of bad luck underscore with 500 bits said I think I've found a way to reduce that but not definitive. Hmm. Strafing back and to the left as you turn right I think helps stop yes. that again not definitive but I've yep. done that and hadn't noticed Where myself blowing back? up as much. So that's completely correct. If you are moving backwards while you're firing the missile, the reason why that works the is because it's making it so that the missile is appearing slightly in front of you due to that desync. So if you're moving forward and turning right, highest chance of you blowing yourself up. <laughs> Because it's going to summon the missile slightly inside of your arm, or behind you, and then you die. Yeah, so you're completely right about that. Dirk747 with $20 said I thought you only had pets. No. I had no idea you had a rescue. No, Here's I actually run a rescue. for the little yeah. guys. Oh. Hope it helps heart. So, the way that we run the rescue is actually pretty interesting. I could pull this up. Are they having playtime right now? Oh, they are. They are, but they're all at the door. So... The way that this works is we actually have it on Ferret's, Ferret's software here. There you go. Ferrets.live is actually the channel. And if you watch this channel, all the ad revenue from it goes to supporting the rescue. We run everything off of ad revenue. You don't have to sub or throw bits or donate or any of that shit. Just watch the channel and the ad revenue does all of it. And we have a bunch of the ferrets down here, not all of them. I'm actually setting up the website to go, you know, put this up. And uh, I'm going to be putting all their faces up probably today. I actually have all the images now from Shay. No, they can't scratch up the carpet. We have a big plastic mat in the way, so the bridge it's quite is yours, funny. Hell Diver. 
But yeah. Take us to the fight. Yeah, so it's... You, you can't see them right now because they're running around the room in other locations. But I'll go pull them up here so you can actually see them run around. You can see like this. This was the old room for them. Wigglers. In this one, you get to see Pickle have a freak out and then jump in the soup. There he goes. Why? They love the soup, dude. Yeah, each day we do playtime multiple times a day. And they get to have like a whole room to themselves and they get to go wild and have fun and everything. And it's really important for me because like... We're expanding the rescue from... Right now we have like 33... I think it's 34 now. With Henry. And we're expanding it to 100 in the next year. And that's actually why we bought the house. The house is going to be hopefully signed for tomorrow. And um... Then we get to build the rescue. The actual big rescue building. Yeah, we're trying to become the rescue for all of the United States. One of the biggest ones. If not the biggest. Is the whole idea. And all of it's paid for by ad revenue on Twitch. It's kind of wild, honestly. Army of Ferrets for Democracy? The Army of Ferrets for Democracy. For your next yeah. Mission. Animals are the best people? Yeah. See this one right here? His name is Mocha. Mocha has disseminated idiopathic myofasciitis. Which normally kills ferrets. There's no way to su survive it. However, we uh, worked with a veterinary down in, in uh, what is it, Oregon, and they had a treatment plan for it, which is chemotherapy to reduce his, the strength of his bone marrow, basically. Basically, like, the amount of neutrophils that are produced in his bone marrow, and that stops them from attacking his body, because DIM is an issue of neutrophils attacking the soft tissues in the muscle, so by reducing that, he's basically become Deadpool. So he regenerates faster than the damage being done to his body because we reduce the amount of neutrophils in his, in his system. It's quite funny. Are all the ferrets sterile? Yeah, they have to be. So they have to be fixed, and the reason why is because female ferrets, if they, um... If they don't have a litter, they have a 30% chance of bleeding to death. It's horrifying. Yeah. It's not good. It's not good. Yeah. So they, they kick ass, though. Did Mocha lose weight? He did a little bit, but not a lot. Bouncing. Look at that. L diver, take command of the galaxy's liberation. If they don't want, if they don't have a litter, if they don't breed, right? So if if the females are not fixed, they have about a thirty percent chance of bleeding to death when they enter the time where they're like, I need to have more ferrets. Yeah, it's horrifying. That's why we get them fixed. Do you find homes for them? No, they stay with us. Most of them have medical conditions, so they have to stay with us for the rest of their lives, but we give them the best possible life they can. That's the whole idea. Yep. Evolutionary biological imperative, yeah. Well, chat. It's past noon. 26 minutes past noon. I've been streaming for 12 and a half hours. I'm only supposed to stream for 12. Tomorrow is going to be an eight and a half hour long stream. I know. I know that's upsetting. Normally it's always 12 hours. But tomorrow's the day I have to go sign for the house. So. So. Wrong daylight savings? Innocence perished it's still noon. Wasted second. Is it not noon? Act? Is it noon? Dude, how long have I been streaming? One moment. How long have I been streaming? You have 40 minutes to go? Oh shit, I can play more Helldivers. Nice. Let's go blow shit up, including ourselves. Another step closer to it. I'm not looking at it. I won't. I don't give a shit about leaks. Hellpods prime. Engaging orbital thrusters. Oh wait, that's actually from Helldivers themselves? No, it's not. It's a leak. I'm not looking. I don't give a shit about leaks. Leaks are dumb. You're totally right. I've only been streaming for 11 and a half hours. It's time. I'm to dive. Let's, uh, let's start over here. I'm feeling objectively. This doesn't feel good in my bones. Get back to scout gear. I'm actually feeling that the incendiary in this is kind of useless. I'm not finding a reason for it, so... You know, I'm just gonna I'm go back to that. Impact all the way? I actually don't like impact. I end up blowing myself up. Outer radius is too high. I don't like the impact. 
I like the I like this for breaking nests and shit. Yeah, just cook it. If you want an impact nade, just cook it. Cook it. How do you feel about this game? I love this game, but I feel like the mechs were rushed. Oh, they got an eagle going on. Why did I just get... Okay. Yeah, that was weird. I don't know, dude. See that? Did you see that, Chet? Did you see that? That was me blowing myself up with a missile. Now you can't deny it anymore, can you? Can you? Intentionally blew myself up with it. Turning right and shooting a missile kills you in the mech. Eat my entire ass. That's right. That's right. Get wrecked. Going down a support You can't deny shit. That's right. And you doubted me. Fanboys get wrecked, dude. In an open field, turning right and shooting a missile, you die. Do it again, I can't. You only get one mech permission, dude. It's 100% from the missile spawning behind your arm, dude. Only when you're turning right. Which is funny, but also stupid. Did you buy the mech strategy? Yeah, but I just don't use it because it's shit. Because it has these horrible bugs. That you turn left? I was turning back to the right. God, just go watch the clip. I'm not arguing this to you anymore. We know what it causes it. If you can't believe it at this point, you're actually dumb. Like, the level of dumb is too high for me to talk to you about it anymore. Didn't see it do it again. Shut up. Go watch the clip. No, it's ex it's exactly what I was saying it was. It's it's a physics issue. It's creating a missile behind your arm and then blowing yourself up with it. Yeah. I don't think I've ever terminated the illegal broadcast this way. I always just blow it up. Yeah, I kind of want to see what happens when I do it this one. Engaging terminal. Heavy northeast. Close. 
Yeah, I think in the future I'm just gonna blow it up. Oh, okay. Does my gun just do nothing now? Can we have a gun, please? No? No gun? Can't shoot through corpses? Okay. Alright. Yeah, a lot less explosive. I agree with that. Why does it just not fire sometimes? Because it's bugged, just like a lot of things in this game. It's exactly the same problem. Exactly the same problem. Bug outpost. See ya, nerd. Tagging map. South. Is that working for you down there? How's that going? Alright. Yeah, it's the corpses. It also breaks on mines, too. To be real with you, it should... It shouldn't work that way. Like, I don't know why it binds the corpses and terrain like that. It's very odd. Should go through those. It's just more, it's more physics calculation shit issues. Where it's thinking something is a target that shouldn't be a target. How many shots was that? I don't know. Sending in an eagle! Reinforcing! There's a cool bug. If you throw it in this hole specifically, it just disappears. Just gone. Eagle. A pin. Northwest. Yeah, just gone. That's, that one does it every time, too. Does it with grenades as well. Yep. Like I told you, dude, there's a lot of bugs in this game. It's a bottomless pit. It just despawns it. Like I'm telling you, dude, there's a lot of bug. There's a lot of bugs in this. Like, all the time. I'm gonna die. Shit. Yeah, I know it can be fired behind you when you run, but you can't do that when you're fighting a stalker. Show your back to a stalker, you die instantly. That is not how you fight them, my dude. It's gotta be over here somewhere. Gonna be over here. Dropping a pin, northwest, 300 meters. Calling in orbital strike. Where are they? Damn it.
I love these giant isopods. Look at this. Tagging location. It's like a huge isopod. Carapace. I love that. I love the hell out of it, frankly. See you. Where's the other one? Okay, so they're coming from this direction. Enemy tactical asset within range. It's here. You piece of shit. How about a nice cup of liver tea? No more stalkers. God, I hate those damn things. Climb this. No mushrooms out here. Hey, I found the rock. <clears throat> Unless there's more nests, there could be. There could be more. Oh, this is the false rock. It is not correct. There's something over here, though. Enemy tactical asset within range. But oh. Tagging map south, two hundred meters. I'm on it. Last reload. There is a second one. Shit. I got one grenade left. But I got bombs. Mission map updated. Sending in an eagle. Eat it. Is there a second nest in there? Bug outpost Enemy tactical asset to exterminate. Shit. All right. No stalkers. I think we're good. I think we're good. Oof. Stalkers are fun to fight, man. But holy shit, are they obnoxious. We just got another stalker layer? There was three stalker layers in this map. God damn, dude. The circle next to the crosshair, it's your sway. That's your actual crosshair. You have sway on anything that you're doing based on, like, the damage that you've taken, and, like, if your arms are broken and all kinds of shit. It's actually really red. Tagging map. Angel's North. Venture? Yeah. 200 meters. Yep, yep. Can you unbreak your arms? Yeah, with the stim. Anytime you use your stim, you just don't care about your broken arms anymore. It's kind of funny. Say hello to democracy. Requesting air 
There can't be a fifth one. Can there? Maybe there's just a leftover one. That may have just been a leftover. Supplies. Requesting tack pack. Join hell divers for the stems. Hell yeah. New to con progress with 449 rupees said, Hey, I'm a doc from India. Keep up the great work and please say hi to the ferrets from me, smiley face. I will. I absolutely will. Hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you very much. Razor Sharp 135 with 500 bits said, I repeat, wait, wait, people wanted the mech to have a self destruct feature. Yeah. Maybe this is also the stealth self destruct button everyone wanted. Kappa, this can be a positive idea. It's a horrible thing. How'd you like to taste the freedom? Be really cool. This gun would work. God damn it. for the corpses. All right. Of course there's a hunter in the back. There's always a hunter. And that is why the arc gun is too strong. Yeah. That is the reason. Dropping a pin. It works on every type of enemy. It is always powerful. There's never a time where the arc gun isn't good. It's time to bail on that heavy, my dude. Factoria Dev Diary release, some new stuff, Five Planets and Dunes. Oh, that's awesome. Hell yeah, dude. I love Factorio. It's a fun as hell game. 790 bits said, do you have issues with the 500 kg bomb? 
No. It seems very inconsistent with its damage deliveries. I've had one kill two vile titans and another not kill a single small bug in a horde. So, the biggest problem that I've been seeing with five kil 500 kilogram bomb is hunters have immunity frames when they dodge to the left and to the right. And because of that, you end up getting hunters that survive 500 kilogram bomb. And I don't think that's an issue with the bomb itself. I think it's an issue with hunters. It's like a huge problem with them, actually. I don't even know if those immunity frames are intended or not. They just can't take damage when they're jumping. Yeah. I, I think it's more of an issue with the, with the, you know, bugs themselves. Why is this not being done? Hey, remember to turn to the right and shoot. Thought you should know. Nice. Have a taste of democracy. What's happening to the spawn rates in this game? So any enemy the on the bug side can actually cause a spawn-in event. And because of that, you get infinite bugs. And you see how that didn't kill that one there? He was jumping at the time. Everything else died, but the one jumping didn't die to the bomb. Happens every time. Time not to get crushed. Non-existent splash damage? I guess that might be true. Yeah. Do bugs drop weapons and ammo? No. Not at all. Unfortunately. For democracy. Hmm. 100 percent Hmm. Hmm. It's a fine display of liberty. I agree. I agree. It's a lot of money. It doesn't matter. You're always capped at endgame. There's nothing to use your currency on, and there's nothing to use your samples on after you fully upgrade your ship. Yeah. Once it's done, it's done. Nothing else. Yet. That's true. Yet. You secured a lot. Oh, Wigglers going. Done. It's playtime for the Wigglers. Welcome Why keep playing then? Because I'm pushing objectives on the map. It's fun. I still have a couple things to grab. Like, I've got this, and I've got that. And then I'm finished, finished. I don't know which one I want. I kind of want this one first. You play games for enjoyment? Ludicrous, I know. Also, I want to get more medals so I can get all of my Steeled Veterans upgrades. Because that would be pretty nice. Flexible reinforcement budget. Reduces the time until new reinforcements are granted once they've been depleted. <clears throat> That's kind of nice. What is this one? Throwing range by 30%. This is what I want. I want that. One more mission. Oh! Hello, Lord Evil Evil. It's by 10%. Yeah, 
It's a, it's like a ten, it's like a twelve second reduction on something that you don't really ever spawn a second one. You know. While the Dominator may not be great right now, I'm trying to unlock as many items as possible because they're doing rebalances. So, because of that, it's like unlock everything. There's no reason not to. They'll nerf the Archon and fix nothing? I don't think that's appropriate. You don't know what's gonna happen. Only thing you can do is give, like, feedback and hope that they do something good. Are you from the YouTube shorts? Yes, I am. What happens? You run? Arc gun. Arc gun, the plaz, and then, um, machine gun sidearm. Can't pilot ship. Okay. All the galaxy looks to you for some. All right, so I want you guys to watch this for me. You ready for this? I'm going to show you something. I'm going to give this to you so that you can clip it. That is if I survive. Now watch. I'm going to kill all of this. Blow up. Oh, man. Stalker's right up the bat, huh? Be really cool if those bullets, like, hurt. Alright, that thing's dead. Now watch this. I'm going to take it from here, I'm going to turn right, and blow myself up. See how that works? Do you have any more questions? It shoots a missile inside of itself and dies. When you turn right and shoot a missile. There is no way you can deny this anymore. And when you clip that, I'm putting it on Twitter, so that everyone can know what's killing them. If you turn right and shoot a missile, it missiles itself. Enemy tactical asset within threat range. I owe four. What is this pit? What is this? I can't hug you. It won't let me. Oh, there we go. What is this big old pit you found? I've never seen this before, actually. Is this like a normal thing in the maps? Marking location, southeast. Let me see if this clip is correct. Whoever gets the best clip, wins it. Calling down a support weapon! This is a better clip. Better clip. Fleischer, you win. You win, Fleischer. It's going on Twitter right now.
So that's for all the helldivers out there. If you're blowing up in the mech at random while firing missiles, it's 100% a bug. Turning right while firing a missile causes the missile to spawn inside the mech, which blows you up. This needs to be fixed. There we go. And now that bug has been released into the air. Big craft leader number 14. God damn. There you go. Enjoy this. Enjoy this. There's no denying it anymore. All of all of the people that are like, it's impossible. Developers can't do anything wrong. Shut up. We have video proof now. Get on. You beat Power World? I'm waiting for it to have more content. I like that game a lot. Yeah, I really enjoy it. Yeah, anybody that's trying to naysay me like, it's impossible. It's good. Clearly it's something okay, else. No, dude. Go look at the video. We, we can reproduce it every time. It's 100% reproducible. Like, there's no denying it. It's a bug that needs some liberty. I agree. Oh. There's still people doubting it in chat, randomly. See, what people don't realize is I actually read chat. But there's still people in chat being like, no, it's it's probably hitting a rock. <laughs> it's like insane shit, dude. Oh. Uh, the level of the level of crazy increases at 10 a.m. I'll tell you that much. I like the European audience. I don't know what happens when us Americans wake up and the chat gets real weird. The level of cope is huge. It's super